it would be good if my mic was on. I am an absolute TV. <laughs> uh, what's going on, people? I said, can you hear me? I'm eating some sweeties, Frutella sweets. How we all doing? All excited? Excited to get this going. Oh, man. Can't believe I had my mic off. <laughs> mm, 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 mm. Right. Is it true that Darren G and Darren Till stole your 4090? <laughs> uh, they ain't stealing shit. They're me homies, then. Although, as scousers, we can be a little bit. You know what? I'm not even going to get into it. Not going to get into it because something will get clipped and I'll end up in trouble. What's happening, everyone? What's happening, Rory? What's happening, Charlie? What's happening, Summer Ray Photography? You sh do you shoot Summer Ray, do you? That fit beard on Instagram. Mm -mm 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 -mm. SJ, Dylan, Rory, Raichi, Dono, Lorraine Shan. Guys, I want, I want you to know, right? Let me tell you something. Oh, Frutellas are hard to eat. Lorraine Sanchez is, she's boss. She's the goat. She always donates on the channel, gives super thanks, DMs me, gives video ideas, always in the comments. She's like one of the, probably the top supporter of the Sean Jones Fighting YouTube channel. Big shout out to Lorraine. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Sean, what's the collab with EDP? Who's EDP? Hmm. Let's have a little look. Am I am I getting trolled here? Who's EDP? Is it that? Is it that black lad? The the pedo? Oh shit! Yeah. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> no way. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we'll get that sorted. We'll get that sorted for summer. Okay, for you. <laughs> I've also I've also messed with my streaming settings. Hopefully, the latency shouldn't be as bad now. So usually there's a delay. There's Lorraine. Look, there she is. Oh, Lorraine. You're an absolute legend. Lorraine Shan Sanchez with the $5 donation. Um, have you actually left a message with that, Lorraine? No? Well, big shout out to you. Hope you're having a great time over there, wherever you are in America. Uh, what was I going to say? Yes, yeah, so I've, I've improved the latency on the stream because previously I was... It'd be like a 30 second delay in between what I'd say and then it getting to you guys so it's a uh, it should be a little bit less than that now right let's go, go through the chat right there a minute mm -mm -mm. who's drinking anyone drinking i'll tell you what i've got right okay i got some fruit ellie okay and the reason why i get these right is a little hack for you guys you want to get sweets that take you longer to eat so then you're not as much of a pig, if you get me. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so I've got them. I've got one little Kinder Egg thing. A little Kinder Egg sweet. Right, one of them. I've already had three, by the way. Um, and then, look, I've got the goat. I've got the goat of all crisps. We've got the Thai sweet chili sensations. And the, the best combination of these two. Right, Pepsi Max, caffeine-free, of course, because I don't have caffeine anymore. And these, it's the best combination. And you thought I was done. I'm only getting started. I've also got Tesco's own, Tesco's own mini gems. They're amazing. I'll tell you one thing, right? Mini gems, it's hard to get them, right? Because you get, or midget gems, whatever you want to call them. Sometimes you get a pack and they're dead hard and they're dead chewy, but then ones are dead soft. Anyway, that's my little sweetie collection for tonight. What are you all saying? What are you saying in the chat? Let's see. Oh, okay, I've got two monitors. Well, what am I going to look at? Ah, bro, bro's a snack expert. <laughs> you know it, Ismail. Oh, Ismail. Is that Ismail in the chat? My editor, my video editor. Yeah, I am a, I'm a snack expert. Mm. As, a, as an ectomorph, as a former ectomorph, that's someone who struggles to gain weight, I understand all about the high calorie snacks unfortunately i'm not an ectomorph anymore i'm just i'm skinny with a slow metabolism what time does it start it starts at 11 
and I haven't even bought the pay per view or anything. Is everyone on the pay per views or is it or people on like dodgy links and all that? <laughs> I'll be honest, I've never used a dodgy link. Gonna get the pay per view up. How do you even watch the pay per view? UFC pay per view. I haven't purchased it. I don't even think I got. Oh, fuck. My card's being cancelled. I got scammed the other day. Ah. Oh. Main cards is at 3 a.m. Yeah, I think the early prelims start at 11, so in 25 minutes. If anyone's got any uh, any legit links, send them to me on Instagram because I, I, I need I need some of the legit links. I've never I've never done this before. Um, UFC.com. Right. Okay. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Page not found. What? Is that because I need a, a VPN or something? Pfft, pfft, do I need a VPN just to get onto this? Give me some insight in the chat, lads. Or send me the official pay-per-view link in the Instagram DMs. Me Instagram is literally in the description below. Because I'm trying to set stuff up and do the live stream at the same time. So I could do a little help and hand here. Kidders. I'm awaiting some DMs. Right, okay. Oh, you get them on the TNT site. Yeah, yeah, yeah. TNT. That's right, yeah. TNT Sports UFC. Yeah, you're right. Let's see. Going on the TNT website right now. I was running late a bit tonight because I was just setting stuff up with my stream and then I had the nervous poos. So I was just ages getting set up. Right. How would you buy the pay per view now? Uh, oh, let's just go to UFC pay per view or UFC 300. <laughs> Pull it up on a blad blag one, lad. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Right, yo. Nice one. I've got the official TNT link now. Nice one. Bear with me, boys. I'm trying to sort this out here. Boom, 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 boom. Do you know the next investment for the studio is going to be a mini fridge? That's what I need. I need a mini fridge. Get this Pepsi. Sorry, I haven't even looked at the chat that much, to be honest, because I'm trying to multitask here, boys. But we got a long night ahead. We got a long night ahead. And I'm in for the long haul. I haven't done this in quite a while just because I've been trying to get better sleep. But now my sleep's a little bit better. Um, it's all good. Okay. TNT. Where are we? Where are we? I'm just sorting this. Getting the stream up. Live stream. Pay. Okay, so it hasn't started yet. Right, I want to test. I want to test the delay on this stream, okay? Because what's going to happen if there's like a 10 second delay or if there's like a, a 30 second delay? Hopefully, it shouldn't be as, as bad. I'll be behind you. So, what I'll do, if any of you have done the last two live streams that I've done, is I'll count in the rounds. So, if it's like, the, I'll say, right, round one, um, four, 59, 58, 57, 56. So, then you can sync up your fight to where I'm up to, otherwise there's just going to be a delay, um, so as soon as you hear me say this, I want you to put a 1 in the chat, put a 1 in the chat as soon as you hear me say this now, so put a 1 in the chat now, and I'm counting, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 
20 second delay. 20 second delay, okay? So, all right, 20 second delay. We're on it. We are on it. Spot on. Appreciate you all. Nice one, nice one. Got yous, got yous. We got, we got 200 people in the chat. Let's, um, let's bump up the likes. We've got 33 likes. It just helps get in front of more of my subscribers. So let's try and actually get the likes to 100 likes. So do it right now. Let's like for UFC 300. Bump those likes up. Let's get them, get them up, get them up, get them up. Everyone's got a YouTube account here. Come on. Right, and I'm going to go through some DMs, uh, some messages as well. Yeah, they were quick seconds, Sean. What well, was probably closer to 15 seconds, wasn't it? Mm. Yeah, I'm not gonna get. Any, I'm not gonna go political with anything on this stream. The only political thing I do is politically incorrect shit. Sensations ruin the fizzy drink taste. Not if it's Pepsi Max. There's there's just something about that combination. I used to just play on a Dead Island on the Xbox, and then Pepsi Max, Sensations, and Jelly Tots. And that was that was me Sunday, every single Sunday. And then I'd do PT sessions again. Right, okay. Favourite martial arts? Well, I mean, if you want to say MMA, like, as its own discipline, it's MMA. But, however, like, you know, my, my roots are in kickboxing, so I'd say kickboxing. But then, is it my favourite martial art? Because I don't even follow it. So, I'll just go MMA. I know it's not a martial art. It's a dis It's like a... An, all-encompassing discipline. Ah. Rob it I disliked. That's okay. That's it still counts as engagement, so bring it on. That's what I say to all the haters. Keep 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 the hate coming. It helps. Oh damn, we got Lorraine Sanchez again with the donation. <laughs> nice one, Lorraine. Ten dollars. Waiting to laugh. Thank you for streaming. You are awesome, Lorraine. Not as awesome as you, Gail. So I appreciate you. <laughs> and don't put any pressure on me to make you make you laugh. I'm not a performer monkey. Here. I'm just a lad doing a live stream in his in his little office, eating some Thai sweet chili sensations. Okay. Which martial art do I think is best for self defense? It's it's going to be. I'm always going to bias towards the striking aspect. It's going to be either Muay Thai, boxing, or kickboxing. Like, boxing is really, really good because just learning how to throw a mean one-two or a good left or right hook, that is kind of like... That's that's that sorts you out in a street fight. Now, if you've got kickboxing or Muay Thai in the mix, it doesn't hurt you to be able to throw elbows and kicks and knees and have more weapons in your arsenal. So I'd actually put Muay Thai or kickboxing over boxing because you're learning everything. But, however, if you can do a grappling discipline with it, if you do like BJJ or wrestling and compare that, uh, sorry, and, and combine that with the, the standing discipline, then, you know, you're pretty much covered in every area then, aren't you? But I'd go, uh, or if you can just do MMA, as I say, if you just do MMA as its own discipline, that's even better. One sec, boys. I'm just trying to. I'm just trying to sort this stream. Has anything st not unstarted yet? Has he? I'm gonna make sure I don't bear myself out tonight by talking too much, too too fast. We're in for the long haul. This is gonna be a, a five a.m. Isn't it? Okay. Yeah, killing them off, and I'm so cold. Give it your coughs, you can't watch. Who's this boy spitting the bars? I'm on top. Fucking hell, come on. Bear with me. Uh, why no caffeine? Because I was getting, in 2022, I was getting really bad palpitations. I was just sitting there on the couch, and whoa, like. It was like, my heart felt like it just stopped for a moment. It was horrible. 
And uh, I was really bad on the caffeine. I was having like two, three monsters a day. I was having about three or four coffees a day. And then I was having Pepsi Max, but not caffeine-free. And there's so much caffeine in Pepsi Max. Um, so I just I just came off it. I had headaches for, for about a month straight. And then I've just stayed off it since then, really. And then now, because of the whole long COVID crap, if I have caffeine, it messes me up. It makes me go all weird. It's something to do with me adrenal system. Cody versus beheading. Cody via beheading. Do you know what, right? I feel like changing some of my predictions, but I'm not going to. Cody Garbrandt, I feel like he, he could get it done against Davidson Figueredo, but I'm gonna I'm just gonna stick with my predictions. Do I like Prohaska's fighting style? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very unorthodox. I always like the unorthodox fighters because it just makes for a little bit more uncertainty. Mm, 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 mm. Oh man, come on. Sorry guys, I'll, I'll check the chat in a second. I'm just trying to... Sort something out. Got all nice ahead. Fuck off, come on. Um. Right, okay. Any chance, Marshall? Any chance Max shocks the world tonight? I think it's possible, you know. I forgot. I've been a bit of a casual the last six months with MMA. I, I, I forgot that this was a five-rounder because it's the BMF belt, isn't it? And those five-rounders favour Max. Justin Gaethje, he's got crazy cardio, though, as well. You've got to remember, he trains at elevation. So, I don't know, man. I honestly don't know. I'm thinking Gaethje. I feel like... She uh, I feel like Max has got the chin to survive Gaethje's attacks. And I do feel like Max will make it competitive. But I just, when I was watching back that Dustin Poirier fight, Gaethje is so hard to hit. Like his distance management is really, really good. He's got so much better. So, really, my heart wants Max to win. Me head thinks Gaethje's going to win. No fights on you. Well, not that I know of. Anyway, I'm still trying to, still trying to sort me, uh, me stream. Hey, everybody, the window, the floor, is it open? Pause that. Fuck off. <laughs> Sorry, that's. I'm just trying to do something here. As you can see, the screen's flashing up in my face. Okay. Right. Uh, what channel is UFC 300 on? You've got to go on the TNT website or you've got to go on ESPN. Mm -mm. Guru, MMA Guru versus Ariel would be a good power slap gig. <laughs> MMA Guru would KO Ariel Hewani. Ariel couldn't take a slap off a 12 year old boy. Uh. Reckon Max will do well, yeah. I hope so. 
want to see Max come. You got to remember as well, Max Holloway has actually got. He's getting better. Somehow he's getting better. <laughs> right. Okay. I'm still with you guys. I'm just trying to sort out my... Uh... I'm just trying to actually sort out this pay-per-view. I had a card get cancelled on me the other day because I got scanned. Nightmare. Play some landslides by Stevie Nicks. I wish I could play some music, but I'll get copyrighted. Who do you think I'd have a good matchup against in the influencer space? Everyone kept saying Wade concept. <laughs> Guru by Mother's Milk Sub. <laughs> That's hilarious. I think we have action, right? Okay. We go. Right, I'm on it. We, we are game. Kevin George from Toronto. What up, mate? I'll reply now to some of those messages who, who do I think is the best influencer boxing uh, who's that lad who weighed concept actually sparred the black lad he was really good and you could tell he wasn't even trying whoever he is he's definitely up there Um, what's his name Dean the Great he's really good Um, how did they get scammed? Uh, I don't know. I just someone tried to make a payment on my card, and yeah, I had to base, and then they tried it again, so I had to just cancel my card. So I'm a bit screwed at the moment. Right. Okay. So next we got look at that little guy. Look at this little guy, eh? Look at this little guy. Levon Bell. That's it. Yeah, Fox the G, Fox the G, Vidal Riley, they're all they're all good. Joby Knight, yeah, I've seen I've seen him. He's really good. He's been going viral, hasn't he? On um on Instagram and TikTok a lot. Idris Vega, I haven't seen a lot of him. I've seen a couple bits of him and he's good, but not enough to really make a good judgment. But yeah, he, he seems decent. Kinder hippos and um, yeah, so nice. Yeah, come on, hurry up and start. Hurry up and start. Ah. 
how would I match up with Vidal Riley? I wouldn't, to be honest, right? Let me tell you something. I'm not good at boxing. I've never been good at boxing. I'm okay when I can put it all together. When I can mix it up, I can knee, I can punch, I can kick, grapple a little bit, make it dirty. I'm okay. And that's when I've trained. Like a lot of you see me do by sparring footage. I, I, I was an absolute mess. But it's to be expected when I haven't trained in so long. Um, so really, like Vital probably absolutely would. He'd piece me up unless I just got some sort of lucky shot. But kickboxing, MMA, that type of thing, I, I, I'd bet on myself. Also, Wade concept. Me and Wade have been talking as well. We, we spoke a little bit in the DMs, nothing crazy. Um, definitely want to try and do a collab with him. It'd be really good if I could go out there. To, um, I want to do a little bit of an America tour, maybe later on this year. And and just collab with loads of people, loads of influencers and uh, YouTube creators and that. So I'd love to do some sort of like little sparring video with Wade or training video, whatever it might be. Uh, Wade seems like a, a cool guy. He's the type of lad who you'd like to go for a pint with. That's that's what, what it seems like anyway. Obviously, I don't, don't know him fully. But he's tall as well. He's like 6'3 or something, 6'4. I always kind of find found it a bit easier to spar taller people just because that's what I've been used to over the years. I almost struggle with people who are my own height. I think it's just... From years of, you know, being a little bit more undersized. <laughs> Prime Sean Jones would beat up current Bo Nickel. You're damn right. Fuck Bo Nickel. Who's he? He stinks of Bo. Appreciate the honesty, mate. Here's the thing as well, right? When you, like, this is something that most people won't understand... Am I right also? We haven't we haven't started yet, have we? I'm still... Yeah, we haven't started. Um, a lot of people don't realise that, like, people look online expect you to be an expert in order for you to talk on something. So if I'm saying... Like, so cause all, go back and watch any of my videos of me saying, right, okay, this video... Like, he done good there because he was throwing the punch like this. One thing he could have done better is doing this a little bit more. And I only ever talk about people who are on my level or below that you can learn from. You'll never see me talking about Alex Pereira saying Pereira should do this instead or Pereira is punching wrong. Because like, who am I to critique someone like that? Now there's creators out there who do speak like that about the professionals. But um, where was I going with that? Yeah, so a lot of people will expect me to like, or expect expect YouTubers to be like a proper professional. So when they see me, they're like, I'm never listening to, to anything that you say ever again because you're not a professional. And then it was the same with, uh, what's his name? Even with MMA Guru a little bit, I seen some comments of people saying, wow, like all that shit you talk uh, and that's your punches. Uh, and then the same with Wade's concept. It's like, there's no winning. You've got to have professional fights and you've got to like, you know, and then even still then, look, the professional fighters get critiqued. So there's there's no winning really. That's why I'm just honest about my capability. And but I know that once I get back into it, I'll be uh, like I'll be a lot better. Right, where are we at? Where are we at? Where are we at? <laughs> Isaac, you said to all those using Stream East, the stream begins at six o two. So does that mean? The, the, all the people who are using the the dodgy link are two minutes behind the pay per viewers. Let me know if that is if that's right. So the the, the streamers a couple of minutes behind, are they? One minute left. Let's see if we get it redivided a bit. Okay, here we go. I've got action.
Okay, man's here. Uh, man's doing the intro now. I'm on the intro. Are you ready? It's doing the Chuckle Adel, um George Sapier intro. Oh, this is going to be so sick, man. This is going to be so sick. Do you know what? I've got some whiskey here. Oh, yeah, guys. So, also, because we're in for a long stream, there might be, like, just a couple times when I need a piss or I need to go and get something else to eat. And I've got this little scene. Let me show you. Right. Let me just turn this down a sec. So, if I put this screen on, look. Oh, wow. Look at this. Be right back. Stay connected. Follow me on social media. Whoa. I'm leveling up in the world. <laughs> that took me. This took me about 15, 20, no, longer actually, about 25 minutes to, to get this sorted. But yeah, see, I'm, I'm leveling up a little bit at a time. <laughs> uh, one second, need a shit. Ah, that's better. <laughs> Make sure I don't keep the mic on. Hey, I'd be, I'd be like that. I'd be like, back in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's, um... Pissing a cup, lads, yeah. I'll get banned. Get banned from YouTube. Because I haven't got tits. Like these um, these streamers. What are they? The e-gales. You seen them? You seen them on Twitch? The way they pure, like, have the tits out on that. Or didn't one of them have sex on stream? I'm sure one girl had sex on stream. And then she got banned for, like, three days and then was back on. Whereas people like Dr. Disrespect got banned for God knows what. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. mm 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 Look, you'll also see as well, guys, I've started putting up more acoustic tiles here as well to make just to make the audio a bit better and just for aesthetics. Let's go. Actually, one sec, I need to get something. Yeah, just wait there a sec. I won't put you on the... If anyone new comes in, just say, shawnee has gone for... Yeah, I'll tell you what. Can you pin? Can you pin comments? If I say... Can you pin shit? Oh, yeah, pin message. Boom, back one minute, literally 60 seconds. Count for me, go. So, I wanted to get some dumbbells to burn off some of the calories as we're streaming, you know what I mean? So, I'll hold these down here. And I'm being serious, by the way. Being serious. So, welcome to us. Single arm presses. And then switch it over. Just like in the brakes and that, you know what I mean? Just to... Because my body doesn't respond well to weights these days. I can do cardio, but if I just do a few reps here and there, over the course of five hours, it'll... It'll, uh, it'll help me out.
How heavy are they? I think they're only 10s. Yeah, just 10 kilograms. Okay, so we got Joe Rogan, Daniel Cormier, and John Anach on the screen. Oh man, this is going to be sick. This is be a fist bump, virtual fist bump. Ooh, just had a KFC, was wanting so bad, and now I regret eating it. Just blast out 10 press-ups in between every round. So this is what I do, right, when I'm watching the UFC and I'm, and I'm trying to diet. I do it, well, I usually jog on the spot, so I'll stand up and I'll watch the UFC like that, just jogging on the spot. And then another thing I like to do as well, this is like little hacks for you, I watch one of the fighters and try and copy everything they do this is as a workout so like if he throws a jab boom i'll throw a jab right hand boom right hand kick kick and and, and it just burns loads of calories or i'll do 10 press-ups in between every single round you just burn calories over the course of three four hours then why not i'm going to do it this stream you best believe i'm going to be doing shoulder presses curls and maybe some press-ups okay Diet on Kinder Hippos, yeah. I'm treating this as, as a cheat day. I've, I've like, restricted my calories today, and then I'm having a little bit of a cheat tonight. But I went for the run earlier. Do some curls. I'm, like, six pounds down. Six, I think, six pounds. Five or six pounds down. So it's, like, two, three kilograms. Tried calisthenics before. Yeah, not seriously, though. Done a bit. Yeah, it depends what you classify as calisthenics because pull-ups, chin-ups, dips, press-ups, that's calisthenics. Calisthenics, sorry. But, like, prop... Oh, muscle-ups. I can do muscle-ups. My calorie intake, I try and stay below 2,000 at the moment just because my activity isn't that high. But I go 2,000 to 2,200. Today, I'll pro it'll probably be around 2,700, 2,8. Um, when I'm really, really active, I'll usually be around there as well, to be honest. I'll be around like 1,800, 2,000, but I'll drop a lot of weight fast. Planches are insane. Trying to do a planche is just crazy. You don't realise how long it takes to get to that point. Okay, describe this is good, guys, right? Describe your current pay-per-view screen so I can calibrate roughly, please, Sean. Okay. Fighting for the BMF Championship. Now John Annex talking. Now with more on the UFC's exponential growth. UFC 300 tonight. Here's Megan O'Leary. Just went on to Megan O'Leary now. Three thousand one hundred and sixty-six fights. Line the streams up, boys. Line it up. Line it up. We've got a fifteen-second delay. Just through YouTube anyway. And then uh, the people who were on the dodgy streams, it might be it might be a little bit delayed from the pay per viewers. What's me go to breakfast? Usually just eggs. I like to keep it just protein based. At the moment, I'm fasting, so I don't eat until about one or two p.m. And I'll just have electrolytes. So I'll wake up, electrolytes, cold shower, straight to the gym, train my clients, train, come home. And then eat. Kevin, stop the cheating. Set a good example. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
here's the thing, right? Let me tell you something, guys, right? This idea that when you diet, you're meant to be 100% perfect, it's stupid because you're doomed to fail. You're destined to fail. If you build in the flexibility into your diet, you stick to it longer. So, okay, yeah, I'm having a little bit of a, a cheat night tonight, but it doesn't matter. Straight back on it tomorrow. You're not going to gain any fat. Am I only live on YouTube? Yeah, just YouTube for now, man. Just because um, I need to improve my internet and then I can start doing like across Twitch as well. First fight should first fight should be soon. Should be within the next 10 minutes or so. Unpin. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. The back in one minute comments. Yeah. Nice one, lads. How'd you do it? Still a beginner at this YouTube shit. You gotta remember as well, boys. A lot of these YouTubers have been going a lot longer than me. MMA Guru has been doing it for five years, uploading every single day, well, almost every day for five years, live streaming every UFC event. So he's getting like 10. 15 20k viewers on a on his on his live streams which is crazy but he's been doing it a long time i'm i'm a i'm a baby in this but i love it i love seeing i'm i'm still learning appreciate you guys helping me as well would i recommend whoop yeah yeah it's really good it just i i mainly use it for me recovery i'll show you right now Okay, first fight, Cody Garbrandt's walking out right now. See, that's me recovery for today. 95% recovery. That tracks your sleep, tracks your activity. You can do breathing, relaxation things on it as well. I'd recommend it. It's 27 a month though, so... It's, it depends if you want another subscription. I just didn't want to buy like a Fitbit or whatever or an Apple Watch for like 160 odd quid and then not like it. So I thought, well, this is a good way of getting it, trying it out a little bit. But then as soon as I got it, I was like, yeah, this is this boss. Do a Zad and Till impression. Um, okay. You know what I mean, mate? I don't care about my daughter. I don't care about my daughter. I, I, I'm not asked. I'm not asked. Shout out to Dad and Taylor. I actually went to watch him fight live against Stephen Wonderboy Thompson in Liverpool. Boss, boss event. That watch is a whoop. It's not, a, it's not actually a watch. It's to just track your recovery and your sleep and all that. Cody, knockout round one. It's a good shout, good shout. Cody's coming off a, a win, so he's going to have a bit more confidence in this fight. And we need to see Cody get that swag back. He looked unbeatable when he fought Dominic Cruz. Like that, like just hands low, dipping and slipping and ripping. We need to see that Cody Garbrandt back. I'd like, I'd like Garbrandt. I'd like Garbrandt to win this fight. <laughs> Lorraine, thank you. Oh, excuse me. How do the audio levels sound, guys, on this? All good. I'm a distorting. Does it need to go up or down slightly? Give me a one if it's perfect or whatever. Say something else if, if it needs adjusting. Carly, the fact that this is the first fight is crazy to me. I know. I, I said almost every fight on this card could be a main event or at least a main event for a fight night. It's insane. And do you know what the worst thing about this entire thing is? I'm absolutely blitzing through my sweets. I need to stop it. 
I need to slow down, guys. You, you, you need to tell me off, okay? You need to say, Sean, slow down on the sweets. <laughs> I've got to make them last all night. <sighs> Did you hear the fart? <laughs> Oh, look, I've got empty wrappers here from the other day as well. It's the uh, Easter, that's a uh, little boy's Easter egg. <laughs> Sean, do I think this is the best card ever? Maybe. It might be. I think so. I can't think of a card that's top this from... Uh, no, it is. It definitely is. Just thinking about it. Yeah, 100% is. And uh, no, I'm not on the booze tonight. I was going to, but I kind of don't want to spoil my progress. And I want to go for the run tomorrow. So I'm going to lay off it tonight. Just stay on the Pepsi Max. Slow down, Jonesy. Hell yeah. One, two, one, two, one, two. My audio levels are showing good. I'll give, I'll give it a little boost. Give it a little boost. Turn your phone up. One, two, that's distorting a bit. Bruce Buffers introducing. So when the when the first round starts, I'll count down like the first ten seconds of the of the round so you can sync up. Sean, how do you find it dealing with the public backlash and negative opinions and haters on things? How do you deal with this now? Someone who's growing into an internet figure. People have always got shit to say. No matter if if you try and be perfect, people have shit to say. If you're a knobhead, people have shit to say. So like I'm past it now. Because I always think to myself, what type of man have you got to be to sit there and comment on another man's thing? Especially some opinions that like that I get. I'm like, wow, you really took time out of your day to write a paragraph like that. That benefits me because that just helps with my engagement. It doesn't benefit you. So that's how I kind of frame it. So I laugh when people... Because co I'll comment back to them and go, haha, yeah, whatever. Knowing that then they'll keep going. But like people get so passionate. But... It's always empty profiles, people with no online presence. They say hate never comes from above. That's that's the best way to look at it. You'll never really get someone who's really doing better than you in multiple realms of life who criticizes you. Always remember that, my friend. Uh, you ever tried the Pepsi Max line? Yeah. Yeah, it's nice. So, oh, okay, we got Klaus. Is it Klaus on the Dairy Milk Pepsi... I'm walking. Oh no, you're saying that about me, yeah. Right, guys, here we go. Round one. Round one, here we go. I'll count us in, okay? Count us in. Get your streams ready. Here we go. You ready? You ready? Boom. All right, here we go. I'll count us in. 58, 57, 56, 55, 54, 53, 52, 51, 4 minutes 50, 49. There we go. Okay. Cody Garbrandt's pushing the pace. I... Cody's looking bouncy. My general prediction is that Figueredo was going to put the pressure on Cody, but Cody's came out with a, in a little bit more of a pressure style. Okay, he's going for a low sweep there. Thanks, Liz. Davidson Figueredo's coming up in weight in this fight as well. Which is more like his natural weight class. Cozy, cozy, cozy. Leonard, I'll... Nice one for the donation. I'll read that in between rounds. Any donations come through, guys, I'll read them in between rounds. Okay. Oh, nice. You see Davidson's faking that low kick. You see how he's turning the hip like Israel Adesanya. Turning the hip. Garbrandt just done it as well. We're on 3 minutes 50, 49. Ooh, clashed in the middle. Ooh. Cody hit Figueredo then. 3 minutes 40, 39, 38, 37, 36. Cody's looking decent, you know. I know he hasn't done much yet, but he's looking on. He's, he's looking switched on. 
Uh, oh, fuck, man. Okay, Figueredo goes down for the shot. Oh, man. Oh, Garbrandt. Oh, he went for a cartwheel kick. But Figueredo caught him on, <laughs> with a, a right low kick. Damn. Oh, damn. Did he actually catch him with that uh, that cartwheel kick? Uh. Look at Cozy. He looks very switched on. The fact that he even attempted that cartwheel kick shows that he's he's feeding himself. We're on 2 minutes 30, 229, 228, 227. Figueredo with the 1 2. Nothing they're doing there. 2 minutes 20. We're going to have new people coming into the stream every so often, guys. So I'll just every now and then mention where we're at in the, in the fight. Okay. Cody, Figueroa's all looking a little bit hesitant to throw at the moment. It's like he's waiting for Cody. I think the the both cards are waiting for the to counter each other. And that's typically when you see the best of Cody as well. When he counter, he waits for the shots and then bang, big power overhand right. Ah. I need to try and score as well. I need to try because I'm I, usually I just watch and switch off. But oh, oh no, no, no! That was Vigarado pulled guard there. That looked like Cody Garbrandt hit him with the right hook, but he, he kind of pulled guard. Hmm. And say Cody's winning this round up to now. Oh, Cody's looking good, man. He's looking good. Ooh. 300k bonus cartwheel kicks, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's the thing, guys. Well, 300 grand, but 300 thousand dollar bonuses. People are gonna try and give stellar performances here. Oh, nice left hook by Figueredo. Kind of stepped through first, stepped through into southpaw, then through the left hook. Cody, Cody, Cody. Figure eight or waiting for the counter. Figure eight or moves, switches to Southpaw, switches back to Orthodox. Does pull guards mean fall over? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was kind of like he fell over and then pull guards. Yeah. Good scramble by both guys. That's five seconds. There we go. Beep. Leonard, uh, thanks for the two euros, my friend. Alex Pereira gives me Bada Hardy vibes. Killer. Yeah, he does Bada Hardy in his prime. Appreciate the donation. Who got that round, guys? Who are you, who are you scoring on that round? Probably Cozy. Maybe cozy, I think. I think I said I said Davison by KO in the third round. Oh yeah, I chose the blue. We can go, what do you think? We can go red, green, blue, white, red. Red looks good. Green, blue, white. Right, okay, round two. Here we go. Okay, 455, 54, 53, 52, 51, 50, 49, 48. 
Close first round. I think maybe Cozy edged it. Nice right. Oh, Cozy's going for it. Going for a few nice right hands there. Figueredo takes us back. Okay, Figueredo got him down. Figueredo strong as well, man. So he's got Cozy in. He's in half guard at the moment. Blue. See, Figueredo might have taken him down because... Oh, he's got his full, ba full back. Got his back. Has he got the hooks in? Dangerous for Cozy, this. Early on in the round. Not that sweaty. Oh, man. Cozy needs to turn over. Yeah, arm triangle. Oh, he's got it in. He's got it in. Cozy looks... Oh, he's, he's over to the side of the body. Oh, this might be it. This might be it. Come on, Cozy. Scramble out here if you can. It started now. We're on three minutes six of the second round. First fight. Three minutes, 2.59. See, Figueredo's doing the right thing. He's circling out to his right. Which puts more leverage on that neck, on that artery. And he's use Figueredo's using his leg to create space. Garbrandt's done good. That's good. Okay, okay. Might be safe. He's safe here. Back to safety. Yeah, because. Figueredo could have burned his arms out there. Hey, okay, Cody's out of it. Okay, good job by Cody. Okay, that's it. Go on. No, Cody, getting up. Oh, man. Cody has finished. He should have retired years ago. I think it's all mindset for him. He's got the skills. Just the mindset. And so far in that first round, he looked good. This round, obviously, not so much. You have to remember as well, Figueredo, former champion. Obviously in a different weight class, but he's not facing a bum here. Cody's out. Oh, 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 no, he's on his back. Oh, he's got it. Oh, he's yeah, he's going to get it, isn't he? One minute ten of round two. One minute eight, 107, 106. It's over. It's, oh, this is going to be over. Yeah, oh, there you go. Cody tapped. 59 seconds left of the second round. There we go. Figure eight. Oh, look good there. He made the good adjustments. Cody was looking decent on the feet. Figueredo took him down. Second round. Well done. Well done. Cody visibly disappointed. Figueredo looked good there. I, I said Figueredo by first, third round stoppage. I think I said third round TKO. He got second round submission. Okay. So we'll say one on the leaderboard for sure, or leaderboard. We'll say we we'll say I got one prediction right so far. I'm gonna make notes as well, guys. I'm gonna make some notes. Good window. Let's make some notes. Who would have won Prime GSP or Prime Khabib? I don't know, you know. GSP fought a higher calibre of competition. 
Like if you if you take a look at all of GSP's opponents, they had like their combined record was like a lot more than GS uh, Khabib's combined record. Uh, I'll show you. Okay, let me show you this. This is like a classic image. I'm sure a lot of you have seen this, but just to put it into context for you. Mm -hmm. Pull this over like that. So there's the combined records of the opponents of John Jones, the opponents of GSP, and the opponents of Khabib. So John Jones, 417, 171 losses. Look at GSP's opponents' combined records. Just under 500 with only 71 losses for all of GSP's opponents. Khabib's, 114 losses, and his opponents only got 295 wins. So, you know, you talk about who's the GOAT you got to talk about John Jones and GSP. They're the, oh, we're not talking about the, who's the goat. We're talking about who would win out of them two. I'm just saying this is one factor that you've got to consider. That's all. And the crowd went mild. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna make notes as well, just just for tomorrow's video. By uh, UFC three hundred. I've noticed MMA Guru does this as well. Like he makes notes throughout his live streams. So I think to myself, how does he remember all that stuff? And then when I watch some of his live streams, he'll say something, something will happen, and he, he makes, makes a note, which is smart. Cartwheel kick, got to remember that. Bobby Green next. Set, guys. Didn't I pick Figueredo to win by submission in the second round? I can't even remember. <laughs> if it did, that's great. I don't think so. I think it said third round stoppage. I can't remember. I'll go through it all again tomorrow and see how many I got here. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah. a set of 20 in between every fight you know it's going to rack up over the course of the night isn't it <sighs> what country is the accent from anyone answer if you know I'm from England a place called Liverpool we got Jim Miller next 
Bobby Green. I think I said Jim Miller, Bobby Green. I said Jim Miller by submission, third round. I might have said... Oh, no, I think I might have even... Yeah, yeah. Third round. Yeah, good video feature for Jim Miller. I agree. Can we like the video, guys? Get the video, get the get the likes to two hundred. Try and hit some like goals tonight. Get the likes to two hundred. Twenty five away. I'm sure there's twenty five people in here who haven't liked the video. Bobby Green gonna get bullied. This is a tough one because I think Jim Miller's looking good. He's got a little video video feature on right now. But Bobby Green, he, he's got that awkward style. Did I win on entry today? Do you know what? I didn't bet. Didn't bet. Didn't go the races. Every I've never been. Never been the races. Last time I bet on the races was like 2015. I think just as I, I had my own business, I just got less and less bothered about it. Yeah, that's the thing. Take it. Bobby Green's got good takedown defence. But I did go with Jim Miller by, by a submission, I think. Can someone help out Mark Ferrell in the comments, please? In the chat. Did I ever meet Aspinall, Sean? No. Although he, he's he's in a gym. Not far away from me. About 25 minutes down the road. Sensations. Yeah, he's a, him and so Aspinall and Eddie Hall training in a gym that's not far away from me. And when Eddie Hall was meant to do that strongman fight, I DM'd him and then I, I, I emailed his team to try and go down there and maybe do a little interview. And then obviously all the fights f fell through anyway, but they emailed me back saying that the fight wasn't confirmed. And this is like 10, 10 days out from when the fight was meant to happen. And I was going to maybe try and interview... Tom Aspinall as well. I said Jim. Okay. Right. Nice one, Jordan. Jordan's can, Jordan knows my own predictions better than me. You said Jim will get the round two rear naked choke. That's it. Yeah. And figure eight, and uh, Figgy would get a third round stoppage. If there's any any fights that I wanted to change my prediction on, I think it's this next one. I don't know. I've got a feeling that, but I liked Bobby Green's energy at the press conference. He was a little bit like he, he was feeling himself. He looked confident. Jim Miller's a dog goal. Got the most fights. So is it the most fights or most wins in the UFC? <laughs> Chill out with the snacks. I know they're gonna be gone by twelve. I know. At least I'm putting these calories to good use, aren't I? Green, Bobby Green loses to Armbar. Okay, that's a good prediction. The main event. The main card starts at three. So the main event's going to be about five. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm, I'm not drinking. I'm not drinking alcohol. I'm just eating sweets and crisps. So I'm lifting weights and eating sweets. 
Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Whew. Yeah, Jim Miller, 44 fights. Donald, uh, Andre Olofsky, 41. Crazy, that. Am I collaborating with Hassan again? Uh, yeah, do you know what? When I went to Dubai at the start of March again, I was going to do something with him then, but he was in Bali at the time. So I just said, next time I'm out there, we'll we'll do something. Because we were meant to do so much more. I've just dropped the podcast that me and him done on me secret channel because it was like a business podcast and I thought loads of my audience just won't want to watch it. So I thought I'm, I've got me second separate channel for it, uh, but yeah, yeah, I'll do a collab with them again. We were meant to do so much more. We were meant to train and that, but we done this. He wants to do this like big vlog thing, and uh, which, which I want to do a vlog as well. But the vlog took up two days of time, and I was only there for four, well, four nights. Yeah, and no one behind. 15 seconds behind yet yeah, this this stream is 15 to 20 seconds behind that I'm doing the stream that I'm doing oh you watched the podcast did you Theo <sighs> yeah 10 kilogram dumbbells not crazy Good thing about having your own gym, you just bring equipment home from it. Bum, 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 train. <sighs> Do one more little set. See, this is how you boost your testosterone. Eat sensation crisps, you lift weights whilst watching the UFC. That's how you become a real man. As I am being a real man. I'm literally just doing this because I feel guilty for having like so many crisps. I'm only two seconds behind for you. Oh, that's good. I did actually set the latency on my stream up for like two seconds only. Ugh. Right, here we go. Jim Miller's walking out. I know this stream, we've got 220 people in in here with us right now. I know this stream isn't super, super crazy professional, but we have heart, we have soul, we have character here on this stream. We're normal human beings on this stream. No core activation, no athletic and real life use. Okay, we've got an armchair critic in the comments. <laughs> Chill out, mate. I'm doing dumbbell presses on a swivel chair. 12 a.m. at night, eating sensation crisps. What should expect? Relax. Oh. Hey, how mad is it that Yiri Prohaska is on the prelims? That's how stacked this card is. Mad. No, Yiri Prohaska hasn't fought yet. We've only had one fight. What's up, JD Yaz? <sighs> one fight. <laughs> We expect 260, bro. <laughs> Where's Bradley Martin right now? Where is he? It's funny, actually, just whilst we're watching Bobby Green walk out. Look, look at Bobby. See what I mean? He always comes with this energy, like... Like he's going to like do some magic in the cage. People think that I actually hate Bradley Martin. I don't. 
I just hated the way he was like challenging professional fighters and then didn't actually try and do anything about it. Like, if you're going to talk like that, at least say, should we go and have a little spar now and follow it up? But look, he's 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 more he's good at marketing himself. Does anyone like Bobby's green except Bobby? <laughs> yeah, that's good. That's good. <laughs> Bobby, <laughs> he's dancers, isn't he? Bobby Green, the way he fights, mad. He fights like this. Like, his arms are down. He goes like this. He literally, watch him, he'll be like that, you know. <laughs> it's mad. It's not even like regular fighters where they have their hands down a little bit. He has them down, you know. <laughs> Uh, nice jump and front roll there. Do you know what, right? Jim Miller's got power, you know. He could KO Bobby Green because everyone knows that he's going to go for, like, the takedown, Jim Miller. That opens up the striking for him. How long could I last with a prime Mike Tyson? Am I allowed to use kicks and takedowns? Because if so, I reckon three seconds... I met Mike Tyson, believe it or not. He's only 5'10", or like 5'11". But he's massive. Just everything's thick. You know where you just see someone and you're like, wow, your head is massive. That's what he's like. And then his elbow joints are like knees. You know like when you see a, a person with fat knees and like the knees are this wide? That's what his elbows are like. Mad. Green against Jalen Turner. That was only was it three or four months ago, and it was a vicious KO. Not only was not only was it a vicious KO, it like the, he took about fifteen shots unanswered on the ground, ground and pound to the back of the head and everything. And the referee didn't was just standing there doing nothing. Here we go. Oh, it's starting. Okay. Four fifty six, four fifty five, fifty four, fifty three, fifty. Oh shit, it clicked off the stream. Oh. The pay per view. Right, okay. Go back up. Oh, oh shit. Left hand by Jim Miller. Knocked down. Bobby Green. We're on 4 27, 26, 25, 24. Come on, Jim. Go on. Go toe to toe with him. Oh, right hook. Come on, Miller. That's what I mean. Jim Miller, don't sleep on his striking. He's got power. Bobby Green will settle into this though, and he'll he'll get his eyes and his reflexes. What are we, Team Bobby or Team Miller in the chat? Left high kick by Miller. See, look at Bob. He's just like, just chilling. Bobby's talking to him.
See, what, what Jim Miller needs to do, really, not that I know better than Jim Miller, but is to kind of keep, if he keep, he's able to keep the pressure on Bobby, it doesn't allow Bobby to settle into that flow state, because that's what Bobby needs, is to be in that flow state and to be talking crap in the fight. We're on 2 minutes 50. 249, 248, 247. Oh, oh, Bobby caught him. Right hook there. I see Bobby starting to land a little bit now. Oh, nice left hand by Bobby. Bobby faking the kicks and then going up top with the punches. Nice slip by Bobby. See, going toe-to-toe -to -toe like this with Bobby. Oh, Bobby goes for the spin and back kick. Going toe-to-toe -to -toe isn't a good idea. Because it's like having a it's like having a kickboxing fight with Israel Adesanya. It's not a good idea. You need to get gritty with it. You need to put that pressure on him. Keep him on the back foot. Make it dirty. 130, 129, 128. Uh, Bobby's, doing, Bobby's throwing that front kick and then into the right hand. Keeps catching Jim. <sighs> Wobbled Jim a little bit there. Nice left hand by Bobby again. Okay, Bobby throwing a lot more kicks than usual as well. That's probably to keep the threat of the takedown away. So by go going the, the front kick to the stomach, it's going to make Jim second guess the takedown because Bobby can easily transition that into a knee. It's a good fight IQ by Bobby there. See, Bobby's just kind of... Slowly piecing them apart. Not doing anything crazy yet, but just he's just touching them. See that Bobby does that that front kick, then right hand. It was kick, right hand. Oh, left hand by Jim Miller. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh, damn. Oh my days. Wow. Sam. Miller's putting the pressure on him. Sorry, my 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 uh, my things messed up a few times here, guys. So I'm actually on seven seconds, six seconds, five, four. Oof! Jumping knee by Bobby. Two, one. End of round one. <laughs> Who would you give that round to? Because Bobby was piecing him up for the majority of the round, but then Miller landed. Two or three big shots, the biggest shots of the fight in that round. I mean, you go off damage, don't you? So you can see the judges giving it to Miller. You can see them giving it to Bobby, though. That's, you just don't know the judges these days. I would err on the side of Miller with it being the bigger shots. Uh, so what's I say? I said uh, round two, rear naked choke. But Miller's going, trying to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with him. He might not even go for the takedown. Beam, 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 beam. Going into round two now. Right, here we go. Round two. For me, it's 457, 56, 55, 54, 53, 52, 51, 4 minutes 50. And yeah, yeah, this, this stream is 20 seconds behind or so. 15 seconds for some people, 20 seconds, 30 seconds for other people. It just depends on the internet connection. Uh, wheel kick by Bobby then. 
gyms getting in there, dirty, dirty boxing, tight hooks and uppercuts. Yeah, you know, Bobby's doing it. See what I mean? He's, he's doing that. Four minutes twenty-three. Bobby Green bringing those oblique kicks into the mix now. Jim's got to be careful as he jumps in. If Green catches him with one of those oblique kicks, dangerous. Nice uppercut by Miller, but countered by Bobby. <laughs> oh, inside low kick by Miller. Oh, Miller's catching him. This is turning into a little bit of a mini war. Close fight so far. Close. I didn't expect this, t to be fair. Yeah, two minutes behind the, the TNT stream. Yeah. In fact, what I'll do, guys, right? I'll put in the pinned comments. Keep that pinned comment there, so anyone new coming into the stream can see. Did I miss that cut, did I? What did he get cut open by? Oh, it's his nose leaking. Good power by Jim. Just missing slightly, though. Keeping that pressure on Bobby. We're at 2 minutes 14, 13, 12, 11, 10. Okay, probably not going to be a, a rear naked choke in this round then, is it? Yeah, you got to remember, my stream is slow, but the latency as well of this of the stream in general. Oh, nice right hand by Bobby. I'm streaming all this data to you guys across the internet on Wi-Fi. Of course, there's going to be a delay. Think about it. Nice body shot by Miller. Uh, Bobby Green. We're at 1 minutes 27, 1 minutes 26. If you want to line up the streams, just press pause on yours or, or rewind it a little bit to where we're at. Oh, Bobby's putting the pressure on him now. Oh, Miller's cut open. Oh, that yeah, that that's that's a bad cut. Definitely affecting Miller's vision there. You can see Miller's starting to swing a little bit more wildly now. Bobby's just walking him down, piecing him up right under the cheek. Oh, just keep punching that cut. Jabs. Bobby just needs to go with the jab. Oh, yeah, there you go. Daniel Cormier just said that. Thing is, as the fight goes well, Bobby gets more accurate. Stabbing that front kick still. Bobby's looking good here. Nice body kick by Miller. Yeah, he's doing it. See, see his hands. <laughs> 20 seconds left in the second round. Oh, he's piecing him up. Bobby Green's piecing him up. Green's just... There's the swagger now. Here's the swagger. Oh, damn. It just got banned from Wade's chat because of his lesbian mod, Nicole. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. There's no lesbian mods here, so you can say whatever you want. <laughs> uh, that's funny, though. Need to do a set, you right? Let's do a quick little set in between. So, 
Bobby Green took that round easily. So you could say one to Miller, one to Bobby Green, but it's more realistic that it's probably going to be two to Bobby Green. That's at least the way Jim Miller needs to think. He needs to think like, right, I'm coming out here now, two rounds down. I need to go all out, balls to the wall. Yeah, Miller's last last fight tonight, I think, yeah. Last fight on his contract. Got some sweat marks as well. We got two people who are banned from Wade Concepts chat. <laughs> See, he's big time, though. Like, you know, he's got like 380,000 subscribers, all built around boxing and MMA. I'm still small fry, but it's okay. Okay, so we're on round three now, last round, and we're at four minutes, 50, 49, 48, 47, 46. It's looking like Bobby Green is going to walk away with this. No takedown attempts by Miller yet, either. Which I'm a little bit surprised with, to be fair. Miller's known for having decent grappling and... Oh, a little bit of a stumble there. Bobby caught him on the way in with a, with a nice jab. Oh, man, does Bobby just lands on the one-twos. Nasty. See, what you notice with Bobby as well, they're not even full power shots. He's just peppering them. Pa, 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 popping them in the face. So he's not getting fatigued. He looks fresh. He looks like he'd go a five-round fight here. Nice exchange there as well. Three minutes, 41, 40. Woke mods, you'll get there, Sean, lad. <laughs> yeah. I feel like America is a lot more woke in general, aren't they? The UK is catching up, like, but... Yeah. I don't like the whole woke stuff. I'd rather uh, be me complete authentic self. Oh, Bobby's piecing him up against the cage. He's walking him down. Three minutes, 259, 258. Man, look at Miller's eye. Oh, look at the head movements by Bobby. Just walks him. This is a good masterclass but Bobby's putting on here. Nice right hook. There's that front kick again. Oh, that jab. You could say Bobby Green's like, he's kind of like a, a black Nate Diaz. Oh, look, this 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 could even be the end of it yet. Two minutes, 16. Bobby's just piecing him up. Body jab, go high up. Nice body jab, then right hook high. The volume. Oh, Miller caught him with a nice left hand. He's rocked him. Bobby's rocked. One minute, 55 in the last round. Oh, man, Jim needs to create space here. He rocked him. No way. Okay, here we go. All right, space is created. What's Miller going to do? Is he going to be able to capitalise? To be fair, like... Miller's put up a decent fight here as well. Like, I know he's got pieced up a lot, but he's landed some good shots. He hasn't got completely outclassed. He rocked Bobby there. Rocked him in the third, first round as well. Nice. See, Miller's he's still fighting. Fifty seconds left. Look at Bobby. He's like, "Come on, let's go." 
Oh, left hand by Bobby. Oh, my days. Miller's hurt. Oh, wow. Oh, right hook has put him down. Damn. Body shots, head, head shots. That left hand was hard. Knees. How the hell is Miller even still going like? Wow. This is this is so close to getting stopped. It's 15 seconds left. Oh, and the takedown proper slams him. Four seconds. Two. One. Absolute brutalization by Bobby Green there. Shows his respect, helps Jim Miller up. The hug and embrace at the end. That's what I like to see right there. Two Warriors. Great fight. Absolute great fight. That could have been a main event. Okay, so Bobby got that as well. Let me make some notes on this. What fights have we watched so far? Is that the second fight? Oh my word. We're two fights in. <laughs> oh, I feel like I've been streaming all night. Right, okay. Uh, who we taking in that fight, eh? Who you think won? Bobby, of course. You know what I'm saying about like Bobby Green almost being like Diaz there the, and like Holloway, the way the volume increased as the fight went on and he looked fresh. Yeah, Bobby Green. Can we push the likes up to 250? Have we got 19 people in here who haven't liked the video? 250, 250, 250. Oh. Sean said Green wouldn't survive the grappling. Did I actually say that though? Did I say Bobby Green wouldn't survive the grappling, or did I just say Jim Miller by dis by rear naked choke in the second round? I know you guys love to take stuff out of context with me sometimes. We got one right, one wrong so far. Let's see, we got ten more likes, ten more likes, ten more likes. Let's see what Green says. Well done, Bobby. Well done. Yeah, I had a little bit of a nap today, Callum. I was watching some prison break. <laughs> I had a little sleep. Let's see that punch there in slow-mo. Oh, he's calling out Paddy. Ah. Man, Bobby Green versus Paddy Pimblett. Paddy, he might be in trouble there because Bobby is a nightmare. Yes, yeah, so I think it's Manchester as well. I think they're coming to Manchester. I I'll go to that. I might do a vlog if you guys want me to. I'll go, document it, vlog it, go on a night out. Maybe do a little meet up with any of me UK subscribers. I'll be up for that. Bilal Muhammad, the most exciting fighter in the UFC. Yeah, so we got Jessica Andrade, Marina Rodriguez, 
and Jalen Tierney and Moicano. That's just the early prelims, lads. What the hell? Look at this card. This is just insane. <laughs> we are here. Well, we're here. And we've still got all this to go. Oh, my word. Damn. Yeah, I'll vlog it. Bobby, he's a hard matchup for Paddy, but I think on the ground, Paddy's got him. Yet the only thing with Paddy Pimblett, right, is he doesn't really have great takedowns. So he'll get you up against the cage and grind you down, but it's hard to get Bobby Green up against the cage. So, like, Paddy, you never see Paddy do a double leg on someone. Have you noticed? He got great grappling, but that wrestling... It's just something a lot of UK fighters don't have. They don't have them, like, double-leg, collegiate wrestling-type skills. Someone asked a good question here. How do you measure personal growth and self-improvement? How do you handle challenges and roadblocks in life? Do you think humans can ever achieve true harmony with nature and each other? The last one, true harmony with nature and each other, Definitely not, no, because war is built into us, like conflict is built into us anyway, and you're always going to have psychopaths in the world, like people who just want to see the world burn. How do you measure pe personal growth and self-improvement? It depends what areas you find you that are important to you. So for me, I call them like my three Fs. It's like fitness, finances, and fighting. But then I've got family and friends on them as well. So fitness, finances, fighting, family, friends, they're the main key areas of my life that I want to improve. So then it's just a matter of thinking, right, okay, what metrics within those categories do I measure? Fitness, okay, well, what's my goals within fitness? Building muscle, getting fitter, um, losing fat. They're measurable metrics that I can measure. Okay, am I getting stronger? Have I increased my chest size and my bicep size have i came down a percent or two percent of body fat and then you go to uh, like then you go to fighting okay well am i actually getting better am i able to go more rounds am i landing more shots am i am i blocking more shots is my defense getting better then i go to finances am i earning more money am i getting more clients is my gym earning more money like it's that it's that simple and then family and friends i'm spending the t enough time with my family I'm uh, making more friends and higher level connections. Like, you know what I mean? I'm ranting on a little bit, but you get me points. It's like, whatever area you value improving in life, just find what metrics you can measure within that area because what you can measure, you can manage. And then from there, just put in the necessary actions in order to improve them areas. <laughs> I'm more excited about the the next early prelim match. Jalen Turner, he's such a good striker, but too long for a lightweight. Yeah, like he's such a weight bully. Have you did you see him at the press conference? He's proper drawn in. Oh, like he needs to go up a weight because he's six foot three, and he's definitely got the frame to go up to welterweight. Sean, why don't you train in next generation Liverpool? Do you know what? I would, but the gym that I grew up in, I just go back to there because there's some decent upcoming lads there and I'm not doing it to to be a professional fighter anymore. I'm just doing it to be able to defend myself and to stay fit and healthy. That That is literally it. Like I'm, I'm 35 now, so you know I have bigger priorities. Right now, I want to focus on business and getting in boss shape again. I, like I'm, my app, I'm releasing my app in 
in a few months. So I've just got a lot of stuff like that to focus on, stuff that's actually going to build a better future. Like, I could go to next generation and and really train with some boss, boss lads and level up and then go for a professional, well, do a few amateur fights and that, but, you know, I've got, I've got, I've got, I've got responsibilities. So as I say, I just want to feel good to myself, feel confident, walk around with my chest held high. If someone starts on me in the street, I know I can handle myself, but then I also feel fit, like that, that's it. Mm, 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 mm. How can you last all night without any help? <laughs> I used to be a bartender back in the day. I used to be a bartender back in the day, and everyone would be getting on the coke, on the cocaine, and be like, "Sean, do you want some? Do you want some?" I'm like, "Nah." I just, I just thought it looked scatty. They'd all be like that on the minute, <laughs> snorting coke off the, off the minute, and I'd be like, "That looks proper nasty, that." And I was like 17, 18 years old. And uh, I just never, never felt like, I don't know, just never really interested in it. Plus, I've seen some people on the coke and it's just, it just doesn't look desirable at all. Assuming that's what you're talking about, but, you know, we, we kind of are talking about that, aren't we? Just never, just sort of never wanted to try. So I, I'm also used to just staying up late anyway. I've always been a night owl. I'm 35, yeah, I'm old. Just take roids like Bradley Martin. <laughs> uh. Thirty five isn't ancient, but I'm twenty one. There's people my age that look older than you. I know. But that's the thing though, just just don't don't drink too much. Don't smoke, don't do drugs. Train. Eat well. Try not to be stressed. Stay youthful minded. I hate people who take themselves too serious. I'm just doing the introductions to Andrage for the next fight. Would I do BJJ? I did actually do it for a little bit before COVID. And then gyms shut down. And then I'd done it when I used to do Kung Fu back in the day, Lao Gar Kung Fu, before MMA was even a thing. We used to do grappling. That's where I learned how to armbar, rear naked choke, get into the mount, side control in Kung Fu. It was boss. It was like, it was kind of like MMA, the Kung Fu that we've done. Right, there we go. Referee is entering the center. Okay, get ready to sync up the stream, lads and ladies. Okay, and round starts. 40, sorry, 457, 56, 55, 54, 53, 52, 51. Yeah, this fight's going to decision. Does anyone remember what I said? I think I actually said Jess Jessica Andrade by third round stoppage, I think I said. I can't remember. I might have said second round stoppage. you got two completely different styles here. Andrade is like the pit bull who throws looping shots and if she catches you with them hooks, you're getting KO'd. Marina, a little bit more like a sniper, as you can see with the, the one-twos. Very fast as well. She's definitely got the speed advantage. We're at 3 minutes 30. That right hand's by Marina. Fast. I 
服务。I like Marina's style, to be honest. Oh, yeah, yeah, nice little right hand into a left hook. Can you guys hear me crunching the crisps? Because I hate when people do that, and, and I'll, I'll, I'll turn my mic down a bit. I don't want to be like, hum, 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 down the mic. Oh, okay, she went for the kick, fell down. Jessica in half guard. Nice shots by Jessica Andraj in the hot in the half guard there. Okay, now now Jessica's back in full guard. Is she gonna let her back up? Jessica's standing over Rodriguez. If you Jessica, you wanna kinda of keep it here based on how Rodriguez was striking. Everyone's booing. Oh, a little bit of a spin. A bit of wet there. Ended up back in full guard. Alexa Grasso got your heart. <laughs> Who's that other one? There's a proper fit one. I forget her name. Brazilian one. This kick that she done kind of takes me back to when Chris Wideman threw the spinning kick, the, the wheel kick against Luke Rockhold. And then got taken, like he fell over from throwing it. And got taken down. And lost the fight. Rodriguez was looking really good on her feet there. She threw a kick. Fell over, lost the balance. And now it's not looking good for her. Oh, oh shit, she's got a do I need to pay attention here. She's got a dart show. No. No, she's okay. Gotta remember as well, guys, with the with the female fights. Because it's just because they've got less power. So because they don't hold as much power, they haven't got as much fast twitch muscle fibers, less bone density, uh, smaller joints. There's that's why there's less finishes. And it's kind of the same in the lighter weight divisions. Although there's a lot more finishes now in the lighter weight divisions than there used to be. But there was a period of time when there wasn't that many finishes in like the, the flyweight division, the bantamweight division. Female MMA is a little bit the same. But it's just always going to be like that. Shaun of the Dead. You've got red on you. Cornetto. Excuse me, Mary. Sean of the Dead's, Dead's one of the best films ever. <laughs> uh. The Winchester. Oh, he's got an arm off. <laughs> I can just quote it all day. <laughs> Cornell. I haven't watched a basketball game ever either. You've got red on you. Shaun of the Dead quotes are going to be stuck in my head all night now. Don Fry. Here's Don Fry. My testosterone just went up by 
she needs to stay stay on the feet. Don't let don't get taken down again. If you're Jessica, you're gonna try and get into that position again. <sighs> Good advice by Daniel Cormier there. So what he's saying is, yeah, throw your punch combinations and then finish with the low kick. Kickboxing or Muay Thai 101. Do I have a clock? You mean, no, that I can pop up on the screen, you mean? I don't know how to do it. I'll do that on the next stream. 403, 402, 401, 4, 59, 58, 57. 56, 55. Nice right hand by Rodriguez. I might be able to do something, actually. I'll turn the volume back up. I turned it down before when I was eating my crisps. Should be a bit better now. One, two, one, two, one, two. One, two. One, two. Rodriguez is good, man. She's really good. Them one twos are nice. Mm. If Rodriguez can stay standing, I can see her just walking away with the decision here. Because she's just touching Andraj. Hello, hello. We got, we're on 2 minute 35, 2 minute 34, 33, 32, 31, 30. 2 minutes 29, 28, 27, 26, 25. I'll see in between rounds if I can somehow get a clock up on the screen. Oh. Oh, that combination by Marina. It goes a flying knee, then into a one-two. She's actually quite good, isn't she? Definitely one of the best strikers in the strawweight female division. In terms of boxing. Yeah, this, this round's going in Rodriguez's direction. Rodriguez can do this all day. Oh, man, them shots by Rodriguez. Okay, Andrade rushes in a little bit, catches it a couple times. This is what Andrade does, though, is she runs in and just does this big blitz, but she's been caught twice like that now and KO'd. Oh. Oh, Andrade's got her up against the cage. Looks like she's going to catch her. She's going to catch her. 35 seconds in the second round. Oh, knee by Rodriguez. Oh, yeah, yeah, she's looking hurt. Rodriguez looking hurt. Jessica's going to come over the top with a, a hook. KO her. Jessica Andrade turned this round nicely. Oh, nice left hook there by Andrade. Got Rodriguez up against the cage. Rodriguez is running away, trying to clinch up. Oh, he's just rocked her. She's pouring it on. Rodriguez has got no answer to it. Throws a couple knees. Okay. Ooh, okay. Out of round two. Out of round two. Very good. Right, whilst that's on, let me see if I can download a little uh, a little thing for us. What's it called again? See if I can download like a little clock for this stream. Uh, 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 uh. 
Gettis ye. Talking scene. Nah, no, not that one. There's a way to do it, guys. So I'm. Um, do you know what? Let's just. I'll just shut up a minute. You just talk amongst yourselves while I try and do this. Uh, boom, boom. Add widget. Countdown. Three hundred seconds is five minutes, isn't it? Let's try that. Save. It's in the second round. I, I'm not watching it at the moment because I'm trying to sort out this countdown. Right, screw it. I'll watch it. Oh, spinning. What was that? Spinning back first. Okay. Right, we're on 4 minutes 28, 27, 26, 25, 24, 23. Okay. Two rounds to Andraj. I'll agree with that. Rodriguez was making good progression in that second round, but then Andraj took it over. The only problem with Rodriguez is that she just doesn't have the power. She's got that speed. Really good technique as well, but Andrade has got that... She's got the ability to just hit you with one shot that just turns the entire course of the fight. Rodriguez doesn't have that. Ooh, that hook got close by Andrade. We're at 3 minutes 40. My nice sidekick by Jessica. Bit of a blitz by Rodriguez. So Rodriguez is kind of she's putting the pressure on now. So what Andrade will be doing here? Oh, okay, took her down. Capitalized. There you go. She can probably just stay on top of it this entire fight now and win. Andrade has got that EPO advantage. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, Andrade again. Pouring it on. Okay, Andrade, she's got a second wind again now. Right, nice right hand by Andrade. Both of them are still fairly fresh. Because you got Rodriguez, who's still thrown with a lot of speed. Andrade is still thrown with a lot of power. Decent head movement by Andrade. <laughs> that comment is hilarious. Currently in my kitchen, smoking bongs and eating pizza. Let me know when this slag crap is over, bro. <laughs> Damn. Oh, man. If you're using Wade Concepts chat right now, you get banned <laughs> by the woke lesbian moderator. She got it in a, in a choke position. Rodriguez has got it in a choke. Okay, yeah, Jessica's out now. We're at 1 minute 30 of round 3. 27, 26, 25, 24. Hope you're enjoying your bong and your pizza. This 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 last round's a little bit close. A bit closer now. Rodriguez is probably edging it. If Jessica can really make this last minute count, get a few good blitzes in there, crack it again, she could turn it round. It's anyone's fight at the moment. Oh. <sighs> 
I'll be honest, a bong, bong and a pizza and the UFC sounds really good. Too bad I don't have weed anymore. I tell you what, Rodriguez is, is walking away with this, I think. Jessica hasn't really landed anything notable. Oh, just as I say it, she gets a low kick and then starts cracking her head in everywhere. Oh, my God. She's walking her down. She drops her with the low kick. It's a little too late, though. Two, arm one, and there we go. Do you know what? Not, not a bad fight. It wasn't too bad, to be fair. What did he say? Swear to God, all I said was Drake and Kendrick are both gay rappers and I got banned, but... <laughs> oh, that's great. <laughs> no way. I'll tell you what, these Americans, you know what they like sometimes. Get Trump in again, let's go. <laughs> I'm only messing, I'm not, I'm not making it political on here. Would that get a 300k bonus? Hell no. Yeah, it's over. DP, it's over. Get your, get, Put your bong away. Get your pizza out. And you can come back now. <laughs> a few spliffs better than drinking. I can't, I can't deny that. The only thing I found, though, with weed is that it kept me wanting to come back for more whereas drink I can have a, a bevy and then not have it for ages whereas weed is like because I, 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 I like the creativity side of it as well like when I'm like writing making music and that writing bars it uh, it gets the creativity juices going so and I, I think it's that that I get addicted to and then I think that I can't write then without it so I think it just it, it's all dose dependent at the end of the day. If you're having like five, I, I've got I know some mates who'll have like eight to ten joints a day, each to their own. But they're like they're like frigging mongs. They can't you can't you can barely even string a sentence together. And I'm just like, do you th you talk about you know having one to relax, but ten you need ten, do you? <laughs> no wonder you got no money. Spending about like 50 quid every two days on weed. Hey, Rodriguez, I'm going to go with this. Split decision. Jessica Andrade. Okay. Fair enough. So I got that one right, didn't I? I think I said Jessica by. Did they say by decision or KO? Got it right anyway. Okay, let me write it down. She'd done enough at the end of the first and the end of the third round. Sean, do you think weeds can be done in moderation? Good question. Ask most weed smokers because I personally don't think it can. Or it's like a inc people have it on an increasing scale. They'll like go for a few months where they just have one a day, but then it gradually creeps back up to like three, four, five a day. So I don't know. I was I started off in moderation, like once every three, four days. Once a well, once a month it started off as, and then before I knew it, I was having like three or four drinks a day. So it, it's each to their own. I was operating, I was operating my business, like doing marketing, putting ads up, like proper, like smashing life, whilst being like bad on the weed, and I was also drinking as well. So what I'd do is I'd stop if I didn't have any weed in, I'd drink. And if I didn't have any drinking, I'd get the weed in. So, like, I was bad on both, really. 
and I was like functioning with it. I was like pr- like a proper functioning alcoholic weed smoker. Um, it's just each to their own, but it all did caught it. It all ca- caught up with me in the end, and I get DMs almost on a daily basis. Maybe every like three days, I'll get a DM off someone who said they've seen my videos, they've quit weed, and like because it was just destroying their life, and they just felt like they couldn't get anything done. They had brain fog all the time. They had no energy. And they were just fed up of like being subject to wanting a joint, which is fair enough because you know for every person like that's like that, there's another person who you know is completely fine. Mm, mm. To add to that, what are you saying here? Most of my pals who smoke don't do it in moderation and struggle to stop. Yeah, I stopped about five times. Until then, I finally stopped. We all need something to take off the edge off, lads. Yeah, totally. For me, taking the edge off is... I don't even know. what I don't even know. How do I take the edge off these days? I honestly believe if, you, if you're doing something that you really, truly enjoy for a living... And you're in a great relationship and you got good people around you and you've cultivated your life in a manner that you want and you are the boss of of yourself and the boss of your own life. You don't ever really need to take the edge off. I don't I don't really t- do anything to take the edge off. I watch a little bit of prison break in bed with maybe a packet of crisp or something like that. Or every now and then I'll throw the Xbox on. But I don't even really do that anymore because I'm I'm really fulfilled right now by what I'm doing so I don't know anything you yeah Lorraine Sanchez anything you need you need every day isn't good yeah and I think the key word there is need I got to the point where I needed it like and, and then when I finally came off it that was horrible. I'd say I wasn't right for a good six months or so. Like it took about three months to get past the symptoms of of really craving it, but I just felt dead jittery for like six months. Just wasn't wasn't good. Felt like I lost a piece of me, almost from being on it. Mm-mm-mm. James Smith, no, you haven't missed too much. We've, well, how many fights in are we? I'll get it up right now. So we've had Figueredo and Cody Garbrandt. Figueredo got the win. We had Bobby Green and Jim Miller. Bobby Green got the win. And then we've just had Jessica Andrade versus Marina Rodriguez. Jessica got the win. I got this one right, and I got this one right. So what's that? Two out of three so far. It's good. It's so hard to predict. If you were to actually keep track of all your predictions, right, of every single fight, you realise like a lot of the time it is 50-50. It's so hard to be able to predict everything because there's just so much stuff that can happen in MMA. But if you're a boxing fan, it's a lot easier to predict because there's just less weapons. There's there's less ways that the fight can go down. There's less outcomes that can happen. We got Bruce Buffer introducing the next fighters now. Do I have a lot of caffeine? No, I mentioned at the start that I don't have any caffeine anymore. Came off it all in 2022 because that was the beginning of me being all over the show with palpitations and stuff. So. Playing Prison Break with the misses whilst you're cosplaying is not really taking the edge off. That's It's more foreplay. <laughs> Have I ever done psychedelics? Nah. Ne- I've never, ever liked the idea of it. I've, I've had mates who like get on the pills and all that and do psychedelics. I've had some mates who've done DMT. And they always say stuff to me like, oh, you should try it. And I'm like, nah. I'm happy with reality. I, I don't care if there's another universe with interdimensional beings who speak to you and you have the ego death and this and that. I'm happy with my ego. I'm happy with reality. I'm happy with life. I don't need to see colours shifting and morphing into each other. I'm perfectly fine. I'm actually colourblind. So, you know, I wonder if I'd be colourblind in that dimension as well. Who knows? 
don't need to find out. <laughs> right, okay, so next fight starting. Here we go. Right, this is going to be a banger. Let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. Right, we got Hanato Moicano versus Jalen Turner. I think I chose Jalen Turner to win by decision, I think I chose. Which is a bit of a, a, a weird prediction. I said in my prediction, though, Hanato is a dog, though. He's a proper dog. Oh, shit, okay. He hurt him with the front kick to the body. Hanato's clinching up. Them front kicks, man. Yeah, Hanato's clinching up again. So he must have been really winded by that front kick. It's like an up kick. Hanato's got him down. Ooh, okay. So he's in half guard. This is where... This is where Moicano needs it to be. Needs the fight to be. How many likes we on, guys? 267. Click the like button, everyone. Click the like button. Try to get it to 280. 280 likes. Let's go. 280 likes. We've got Moicano on top position. This is good for him. Recover from that kick. Okay, Jalen's trying to scramble. We haven't seen Jalen Turner on in this position much, have we? Oh, okay. He's creating a bit of move, bit of space. I was just about to say, Joe Rogan just said it. If Jalen gets up, he needs to be careful because Moicano will jump on your back and choke you out. Lorraine Sanchez said 300 likes. Yeah, come on, everyone, listen to Lorraine. Lorraine, the, the goat of the chat tonight. 300 likes, let's go. Shall I wake the missus up and get her to click the like button? Yeah. Or if you know where your password, log in on her profile for us and uh, sort it out. Nice one. Moicano dropping some elbows. Couple decent elbows. Looked like Jalen tapped a bit then, but wasn't. Okay, we're at 2 minutes 27, 2 minutes 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20 of round 1. Okay, Moicano's just controlling Jalen right now. Jalen hasn't really got an answer. Oh, he's going full mount. Moicano's almost in full mount. Needs to get that foot out. Okay, they're up against the fence. Jalen's got his right leg. He's got his toes in the fence. I was just listening to Joe Rogan there. What I was going to say is Jalen's got his right leg up to stop Moicano from getting into full mount. Bit of booing. Yeah, come on, guys. 300 grand on the line. 300 grand. Come on. Right, they're up. Here we go. I wonder if subconsciously, like... Moicano would let him up a little bit because of the booze. Wonder if ever that happens. Okay, this is this is where Jalen needs to take over. Is in these exchanges, standing up, then front kicks again. Kind of front kicked the lead leg a bit. Oh, head kick by Jalen. What you notice as well is the the. Jalen's in Southpaw. Nice body shot by Moicano. Jalen's in Southpaw. Moicano's in Orthodox. So that opens up the body kick for each fighter. And Jalen's got fast kicks. That's probably why he was able to land them two kicks at the start and hit Moicano. Yeah, so we're on 38, 37, 36, 35, 34, 33. If you're ahead, just pause it or rewind it a minute or two minutes, wherever you're up to. Obviously, I'm streaming, so there's a big delay. At 20 seconds of the first round left. 
Nice jab. Oh, he dropped Moicano. Jalen dropped Moicano. Why didn't he follow that up? What's he doing? Oh, man, he could have got that finish there. He looked at Herb Dean like, what are you... Oh, Moicano is going to survive. He's going to survive. you got five, four seconds. Three, two, one. Jalen Turner fumbled the bag a bit there. He fumbled the bag. What's he doing? So, ah, oh, man. So, Jalen hit him with a one-two. Knocked Moicano down. Moicano fell to the floor. And knocked him down and Moicano fell to the floor. Yeah, good language there. Sound like friggin' neon. Um, And then he just walked away. And went like that to the ref as if to say, finish the fight. But Moicano wasn't done. Okay, it was a knockdown, but he wasn't knocked out. Fumbled the bag a little bit there. Ah, oh, man. Wow. Let's see if Moicano can come back. T1N T1N mask DM me on Instagram uh. Woo. Let's see this replay Right okay Round 2 Here we go With a 452, 51, 50, 49, 48, 47. So, yeah, I'm just doing something here. Nice, okay. Dumbbell break. Okay, we're at 4, 23, 22, 21, 20. Yeah, Moicano's putting on a bit of pressure now. Keep Jalen on the back foot. Money's on Moicano. I think it's I think it's a good bet. Moicano looks in this fight. Okay, he got knocked down then, but he's not out of the fight. Oh, that strong right hand by Moicano then. We're at 3 minutes 50. It's a bit of a takedown. Yeah, he's got it. There you go. I thought Jalen Turner would have been a bit more dynamic and a bit more pa, 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 snappy and really put on the pressure on him. He might be afraid of that takedown though. Tim Mask, message me on Instagram if you've got it. If you've got Instagram, I mean. My link is literally in the description below. Moicano's in full mount as well. Oh, man. Tanner's messed, messed that first round up there. He could have potentially have stopped the fight. Moicano's going to finish this year, isn't he? Hey, Moicano, full mount still. Everyone's booing. Uh, no, no reason to boo. Yeah, even call me, I said, don't understand it. You gotta remember though, DP. Like, it's it's not really look what's actually happening. He's literally battering him. Okay, there's no KO happening, but like, if you're ever in this position, like you're screwed. So, sorry, I'm trying to read the comments as well. Uh, and also, we've had a big knockdown. 
And this is what Moicano's got to do at the end of the day. But I know, I know what you're saying. You want to see the action. As do I. But this is pure domination right here. Moicano's going to get a finish, isn't he? Oh, here we go, here we go. He's raining down shots. Jalen Turner's covering up. Here we go. Yeah, this is going to be over now, this, isn't it? <laughs> Moicano's doing to Jalen, but Jalen doesn't like that. There you go, it's over. Moicano by Vicious Ground and Pound. Nice. Yes, okay. Boom, boom, boom. I'm just doing something, guys. <sighs> My car note is a G, so I said so that's I didn't get that one right. I said um I said Jalen Turner by decision, I think I said. I thought Moicano would have had a good shin, but Jalen Turner's dynamic striking might have just been a little bit too much for him. But Moicano's a dog. So let's see, let's see, let's see. Boom, 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 boom. Where are we? Where are we? What am I doing here? And that's on my car, no, Jalen Turner. Well, I was going to do something then. What was I going to do? Fuck, pain in the ass, can't even remember. Hi, Sean. Love the content. Have you seen Brian Johnson? And would you ever go to those lengths to stay young? I don't know if I've seen him. Oh, yeah, I, I think I have seen him. The youthful guy. I don't know what he does exactly. TKO Jalen Turner. Oh, yeah. What am I about to Jalen say there? Uh, and that's on my uh, Yeah, I, I don't know. I just keep it simple. Watch Anato on the mic now. What's he on about? <laughs> What's he on about? <laughs> what? <laughs> Joe Rogan's his podcast guest. Imagine if Alex Pereira's English was like this. I 
Right, Moicano lost. So I'm two I'm two two. Two correct predictions, two wrong. Corners boss, and do you know what's annoying as well? Did you see the uh, the press conference yesterday? And was it yesterday or Thursday? The Moicano was the only one there with a bit of energy, and he only got asked one question. And instead, all the questions were going to all the like the the foreign fighters and the the fighters who were less well known. That Kayla Harrison, she got seven questions asked to her. Moicano got one. And Moicano was like that, I tell everybody, I kill everybody, I do, I do, I do. You know, sp I sound like Arnold Schwarzenegger at the end then. Uh, Freaking Brazilian Arnold Schwarzenegger. Like, what's going on with these media reporters? Absolutely ridiculous. But Moicano, he's got that personality. If only Alex Pereira had the same level of English. Dynamic striking versus fight IQ. Yeah, Mark. Yeah, totally right. I said that if you go and watch me prediction yesterday, I said, look, don't underestimate Moicano. Like, he's he's a dog. I just thought maybe he'd be able to stay on the outside, point, win by points, but, but wouldn't knock out Moicano because he's got a, a good chin. But Moicano done the right thing, took him down, and that's all she wrote. Jonesy, what do you think about trying to jump on the TRT? I feel like I need it working nine hours of construction, then one to three hours of kickboxing a day. How old are you? I kill everybody, I kill everybody. Yeah, sound like Hamza. <laughs> Banished Turner straight up to welterweight. You're right, ghosty. I remember you on my stream the other night, actually. Turner needs to go up to, to welterweight, fill out a little bit more, because the fact that he's that big and couldn't create a scramble against Moicano, like, it is mad, and obviously Moicano is like an incredible grappler, of course, but still, like, you just expect the lad to have a little bit more strength, a little bit more physicality about him, but it's because he's, he's killing himself getting down to that weight, he's dead skinny, if he went up to welterweight, take six months off, pack on the right size and mass, he's black, so he'll fill out his frame like that, dead easy, he'll pack on the muscle, and he won't even be small at welterweight. Right, I'm really looking forward to this fight. We got Sadiq, Sadiq Yusuf versus Diego Lopez. This is this is going to be sick. I'm actually going to take Diego Lopez. Uh, Diego Lopez in this fight. I can't remember how I said that he's going to win, but I really like his style. He's got a lot of power. He's very fast, explosive. Got a lot of weapons in his arsenal. He's very defensively responsible as well. Great sprawls. I just he's good everywhere. Sadiq Yusuf. I can't remember. What, what did he fight last? Let's have a little look. Oh yeah, Barbosa. Yeah, okay. Coming off a loss. He had two wins prior to that. Yeah, and Diego Lopez is coming off two wins, isn't he? I made him oh sorry, three wins, yeah. Oh, no, sorry, two wins, what am I about? Yeah, two wins. So, yeah, I'm going to go with Lopez. Get the video to 300 likes. 300 likes, come on. Push it up, push it up. Just helps it get into the algorithm a bit more. 300 likes. Got to be 12 of you in here who, who haven't liked the video. What are you saying? 
Let's have a little look. Squidge, Squidge. Yeah, yeah, my clown is more than a dog. Yeah, I'm not, not refuting that. He's um he's extremely skilled. I remember when he got when when he got dropped by Jose Aldo with that body shot all them years ago. Nasty body shot. <laughs> Tin Mask If you watch the Embedded Lopez spent most of his time Looking in the mirror And definitely thinking to himself Hey yo I love the business Yeah Loves himself Just fancies himself a bit does he I didn't even watch the Embedded I used to love watching Embedded Just completely forgot about it Do I think Pereira can make it to heavyweight and thrive? No. Nope, nope, nope. And I don't like this talk as well because you got to remember Pereira at middleweight was scary. He was big, impo physically imposing, 6'4", more like 6'5", really incredible power. But now, just moving up to light heavyweight, he's not actually as physically imposing anymore. Like, he's still got that power. But like jumping up to heavyweight is a whole different ball game. So that means he's going from 205 up to 230, 240 pounds. It's too much of a jump. Like if if Pereira, I love Pereira. If Pereira and Aspinall were to face, Aspinall would toy with Pereira. If I get it to 300 likes, will you do 300 press-ups for UFC 300? <laughs> I don't think I could do 300 press-ups right now, not in this state. <laughs> yeah, it's 300 likes now. So I'll do, I'll do 30 dumbbell presses. I'll be a performer monkey. I'll do an incline press. Six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. Hey, oh yeah. I'm not standing up, I'm sitting, staying sat down. Uh, okay. <sighs> what do I think of Paddy the Baddy? You seem sound compared to other biased scousers, Nick Pete. Etc. Interesting to hear. It's because I've got no stake in the game. Like, a lot of these MMA reporters and that, and people who, yeah, like like Nick Pete and that. I don't know Nick, personally, but, like, they've, they've got a stake in the game, you know what I mean? They've got to stay in with the crowd and, and stuff, whereas I just do my own thing. This is just a hobby for me. I'm just an MMA fan. Like, started off in martial arts, and I just like doing it, so if I get something wrong... I get something wrong. I'm not trying to kiss Paddy the Baddy's ass. If I see him in person, like I'll shake his hands and and that. But like you know, it's just, I don't need to be in there with with the fighters at all. I just do my own thing. I've got my, my business outside of MMA. None of my income really is based on MMA. Okay, I make money from YouTube, but like if YouTube went down tomorrow, I'm still sound. So I don't need to be an MMA journalist. So that's why maybe I can just say what I think a bit more and not have to worry about being wrong or, or right as much. 
like think about it like and the mma community can sometimes be a little bit toxic as well i've followed mma youtubers and if they get a few video like a few predictions wrong people proper turn on them like like so, oh you, you got stuff wrong you don't know you don't know what you're talking about i'm like oh my jeez like as if like using the comments are perfect not you guys but i mean like you know you guys in general like people pretend that, like they're the hardcore fans and they know it all and and these mma youtubers need to be perfect so i just hate all that like because it's just all ego <laughs> 300 second plan for UFC 300? Pfft, hell no. <laughs> He's mixing with some wrong guns in Liverpool, I heard. Nick Peters or Paddy the Baddy? I wouldn't know. I know Darren Till's obviously had a little bit of ups and downs. He's getting into street fights and all that. <sighs> the ones in the MMA community posting up loudly in the comments have to be kids. That's what I, I think sometimes. <sighs> Sean, would you interv interview Moicano? Is that something you would feel comfortable with? What about Mighty Mouse? Yeah, I, I'd, I'd love to do that. Yeah, I'd love to do it. I'm not like a good. I guess I'm not a good interviewer though. I'm I'm a, I'm a good conversationalist, so it'd have to be like a podcast format, and just like have a general conversation because coming up with interesting questions to ask, like I don't know. I feel like there's a lot of pressure usually on that. I still I'd still prepare because I've done some interviews and podcasts in the past, so I still prepared a few things. But yeah. I'd be up for that. <laughs> Ghosty says, fuck this. I'm going to get some reps in too. I'm feeling lazy now. Yeah, it's, I'm just doing it because I'm sitting I'm, I'm sitting here like an absolute slob for the next few hours. Eating crisps and sweets. Well, I've finished them now. Still got some crisp left there, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave them. I'd rather do something. Have I heard of the G brothers from Liverpool? I don't think so. Uh, big F Sean, big fan, bro. Who are you got? Yeri versus Rakic and Alex versus Hill. In my prediction video yesterday, I said I take Yiri Prohaska to win. I can't remember how I said, but I take Yiri Prohaska to win. And in the main event, Alex Pereira to win. I think Hill's got a good chance, though. You know, I feel like I feel like a lot of people are underestimating Jamal Hill. I'm. I'm on the Alex I'm on the Alex Pereira train 100% but I just feel like people are underestimating him a bit like they're completely writing him off Zerka would KO Sean yeah, have you seen Zerka punch no disrespect to Zerka because me and him are on okay terms but Zerka can't punch Zerka can't even punch with a good healthy shoulder like my boxing isn't perfect, but that's hilarious. I know you're just joking, though. Lorraine, you need to be yourself authentic. That's it. 100%. Because if you fake, it's only a matter of time before the real self comes out. You can't fake it forever, can you? Here we go. Right, okay, so we are going into the Lopez fight now, the Sadiq Youssef. It's about to start. <laughs> Answer your questions in a bit, guys. Here we go, round one. 458, 57, 56, 55, 54, 53, 52, 51, 50. Okay. Steve Yusuf looking for that low kick. He's through it twice now. Nice and fast low kick by Lopez. Did 
This could be a banger of a fight, you know. Low kick by Lopez. Nice jab by Sadiq Yusuf. Knocked that mullet back. Low kick returns by Lopez. Oh, he knocked him down. Lopez knocked him down. The, the uppercut, I think. Vicious ground and pound. Sadiq trying to scramble and survive. Lopez all over him. Trying to get round to the back. Sadiq's got the underhook on the right side. Oh, man. Nose is tingly. Body hook. Oh, he's down again. Sadiq's down again. And he's in full... Lopez in full mount. Mmm. See, he's violent, man. This Lopez is violent, and he stopped it. There you go, Lopez won by ground and pound. Damn. Did I say first round? Did I say first round? I think I might have. Jumped out, speaking to Dana White. Mark Zuckerberg's there. <laughs> This Lopez man, he's he's violent. As soon as he smells blood, he's on you. Great finish, great finish. A bit hot in here, I'm gonna get some air in. Ah, oh, it's the uppercut. And then that was the uppercut again. He went body uppercut, Mike Tyson style. Okay, make some notes. So that's three. Three correct, two wrong. Oh man, my nose. I think I'm getting hay fever. Making some notes, lads and ladies. Making some notes for tomorrow's video. Um, and then he caught him again with the uppercut, didn't he? So, clinch up. Yeah. Nice, nice, nice. So where are we? Where's my friggin' stream? Where have I put it? Oh, there it is. He's got that athletic build, hasn't he, as well? Like, just good aesthetic. Good aesthetics. Once Knox is on the job, it's over, baby. Aspinall beats Jones, what do I think? I think Aspinall's got the best chance out of any heavyweight that is right now. Let's see this in slow motion. That uppercut. Left hook as well. On the way down. Pfft. 
And then same same combination again. Bang, bang. I like this Lopez liking. Brazil is this the new wave of Brazilians coming back, eh? You know, it got to the point where it was the Nigerians, wasn't it? Kamaru Usman and Garnu. And uh, who's the other one? Israel. Now it's the Brazilians are coming back. We got Oliveira back on the rise. This Lopez, Pereira. Did I look into Kayla Harrison since your last predictions? No. <laughs> Although a lot of people were saying in the comments that she's a... Um, that she's obviously judo champion and that, but I don't follow judo. People were saying in the comments... What were people saying in the comments? How do you not know who Kayla Harrison is? Like, you... Really? So, so you expect me to watch judo, do you? I don't watch it. Everyone like expect that's what I'm saying is like everyone expects you to be some sort of like crazy know it all, and I know obviously you've got to do the research, but I didn't do the research for that one, and I'm I'm not even afraid to admit it. <laughs> DP, <laughs> don't make me get Wade Concepts lesbian moderator in here. <laughs> yeah, no, I know Ngannou isn't Nigerian, bro, but it was like the whole the African champions. That's what I meant. The Africans. Same thing, innit? It was like the African champs, and now it's the going back to the Brazilian wave. I need to take up smoking just so I've got something to do during the women's next fight. I'm actually curious to see this one. Let me go down. I'm drop back one sec, lads. I'm just going to go and grab me Pepsi. Let me just... Uh, I put it on this one. Hey, hey, hey. God, is it going to load up? There we go. Let me just grab me Pepsi. Back one minute. I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Uh. Right. I'm taking this back on. Here we go. We still here. We still all here. Bim, bim, bim. Right.
Right. Okay. Where are we? Get, get me back. Get me back. Where's me? Right. What have we been saying? Have I missed anything? Missed anything in chat? Kayla by round two submission. Right. Do you know what? Right. To be fair, this is one prediction that I'm going to change because I've got new information. I previously said Holly Holm by decision. Okay. So... The reason why I said that is because I didn't do any research on Kayla Harrison. I didn't know she was anything to do with the judo, judo champion, whatever she is, eight-time judo champion. Um, Holly Holmes on her way out. Really, she's close to retiring, and you know she does really have boring fights a lot of the time. So I'll actually take Kayla Harrison to win this one, and I'll go. I'll just go first round. Submission. I'll go with that first round submission just for a little bit of fun. But I think she's going to win it now that I know who she is. So that's one prediction that I will change right now. <clears throat> Sean, you're going to go 350. You got this. What do you mean? What do you mean, Lulu? Oh man, that Barbosa spinning kick's crazy. Do you think the skill wise Aspinall is better than a prime Gustafsson? And do you think he has a better chance of being beaten prime John Jones than a prime Gustafsson had? I'm bad with names. I don't worry. I can't even pronounce them, and I've known who they are. I've known them for years, and I still can't pronounce the names. Good question. Aspinall is better on the ground. I think technical boxing wise, Alexander Gustafsson, Gustaf Gustafsson, is better. He's he's just got better technical boxing than aspinall but aspinall's got the power also john jones didn't really train for that alexander gustafsson fight we know that he was on the coke five days out or a week out from the fight the weekend before um you know and then we see what he did to him in that second fight so I, I think you know tom's better on the ground he's obviously got a lot more power but alexander gustafsson has got better technical boxing skills, but without the power. Mm. Oh, Lorraine, no push-up stuff, celebrate. <laughs> nah, I'm not doing 350 press-ups. <laughs> Guru's stream is just as chat trolling them constantly. Yeah. That's what his audience is quite hardcore. I remember when he was doing that boxing, when he done the, the when he actually done the footage of him doing some pads. Like you'd have to scroll through about three hundred comments before you seen any other comment not talking about him being in a wheelchair. Sean, you're my inspiration for starting YouTube. Well, that's nice to hear. Thanks for that. I'm glad that I've inspired you to get started. Yo, let me see this Kayla Harrison. Oh, I do know her, yeah. Yeah, of course. How does it? Yeah, I know her, yeah. Who else was a judo champion who beat Holly Holm? Sorry, no. Who did, no, sorry. Who, who got dominated by Holly Holm? Ronda Rousey. Is Holly Holm going to employ the same strategy that she used on Ronda against Kayla? But look at the size of her. She's definitely on the gear, eh? Talking about a completely different beast than Ronda Rousey, yeah. No point even making that comparison. 
I made a joke on the live stream the other night and said that I would definitely do it after seven pints, but nah, I wouldn't. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Would you ever do Misfits Boxing or one of those YouTuber fighting competitions? Yeah, I would, I would, but it'd have to be further down the line because I'm barely even getting back to fighting now, and I've got a bang and Eddie from it. I'm not even back to fighting, really. I'm just doing a bit of training here and there. 15 minutes on the heavy bag. 11 minutes. So, once I can get a little bit of momentum behind me, I'll be up for it. Although, my boxing isn't the best. I'm more, as I say, I'm better with my kicks. When I done that, that, that sparring in Dubai with Hassan, he was like, no head kicks. And I was like, oh, damn. And that's kind of what I would rely on, to be honest. Dreads, you're very natural, that's what one, people want to see. Appreciate it. Is it just me, is this card not the best? They've had months for preparation. And there's so many names missing. What do you mean by so many names missing? Shout out to your sister, Annika. Donkey. Yes, Mark, she would. She'd do me. <laughs> Donkey bro, get out. <laughs> oh. Mate, I would love to see you destroy Aiden's buddies. They are a bunch of lazy pricks who have been given everything by Aiden. Right. If Aiden was... Did you see me latest video about Aiden? He said that he's going to be doing kickboxing. He's going to be doing like... Because he basically... He was doing the, the boxing, the, the influencer boxing to compete with KSI. But he got shut down because one of the fighters complains that they got a concussion or something like that. So now he's going to pivot to kickboxing. So I said, I'd do it 100% because he pays them. He pays the fighters or the the influencers a decent bit of money. You know, he gives them like 20 grand. I'd fly over to America for 20 grand and and do a little bit of a kickboxing fight with one of these influencers. Like, I, I'd love that. That'd be sick. And, and honestly, me with a good bit of training behind me and no rules like, oh, you can't head kick and you, you can't punch too hard. and too, Like, I... I'll be a lot better than you guys have actually seen me before. I've got good flexibility. I'm not saying I'm a professional. I'm just saying, you know, I'm a lot better than I've shown. My mic's, my mic's already pretty much right up. It's just I'm talking quiet because people are asleep in my house. I'll turn it up a little bit more. Kayla's almost men's lightweight size. Yeah, you're right. She is, she's massive. She's jacked. No, I'm not doing 30 press-ups. I've done 30 shoulder presses a minute ago. In fact, I need to do some more. I'll do them in a minute. Actually, yeah, let's go now. Let's do it. Let's go 30. We'll sit up right for this one. One, two. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, eight, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, twenty-ten, twenty-eleven, twenty-twelve, twenty-thirteen, twenty-fourteen, twenty-fifteen, twenty-sixteen, twenty-seventeen, twenty-eighteen, twenty-nineteen, twenty-twenty, 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 They're only 10 kilogram weights. 10 kilograms. Smash or pass, Kayla? I would pass. A hard pass on that one. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Oh, we got a donation. 
or by M Competition. You was in the chat the other night, wasn't you? Appreciate it. Thanks for the two dollars. Let's go, Sean. This is Sparta. Huzzah! See the crumbs on me sock there? Oh, I've got a hole in me sock. How embarrassing is that? That wasn't there this morning. No way. I'm meant to be this successful business owner and I've got a hole in me sock. Nice one, M Competition. I'll go and change my sock. Wait there a minute. Nah, I'm only joking. I'm not that bothered. <laughs> oh, man. Boom, 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 boom. Donkey, do us a favour, stop spamming so much. Right, you can ask your question, I'll get to it though, but just, just don't spam too much, please. Ah. Mm. Need to do 60 to get the rest of them half reps. Yeah, no, they're just half reps. My usual reps would be, eh, eh. but I'm just pumping some out, aren't I? Thank you. I'm a big fan. Should I use my kickboxing on my bullies on the last day of school? They are bigger, but I landed a head kick on my very tall friends before. I don't even know if this is like troll, like a troll comment, just because of how much you've spammed it in the chat, but like. Saying, should I use my kickboxing on someone? And only ever use it if, like, you, you're backed into a corner. Like, if you have to defend yourself. Like, don't actually try and... Don't, like, go in looking for a fight. You know, but defend yourself 100%. Dread, you was £225. Now you're £180. Congratulations, my friend. Right, let's, let's go through these. You want Sean to do those lights? One dollars, <laughs> yeah, one dollars a lift. Yeah, tell you what, I'll I'll do that, like that. That's that's a good little challenge actually. For every dollar or, or pounds that, that comes through, and it's not like I'm not expecting donations by the way. But if a pound comes through, I'll do ten reps for every pound or dollar, whatever. Right, we're about to start. Here we go. Damn, Kayla's like, she's just, she does look quite manly, doesn't she? Right, okay, we'll start the boys and ladies. 4.55, 54, 53, 52, 51, 50. So look for Holly home to stay on the outside and to, to circle. Like, typically, this is what Holly does. She'll just circle on the outside. She'll use a lot of lateral movement. I haven't seen any of Kayla's MMA footage before, so I don't... No, what to expect from her. I said round one, Kayla, I don't, but I don't know. That's just a guess, to be honest. Before that, I actually said Holly Home decision. The best way to win fights is to run the F away. Yes, woo true. <laughs> uh, Kayla's on that horse meet, yeah. Here and, Francis, here and Alistair Overeem share the same chef. There you go, she's down. Oh yeah, Holly's reversed it. Kayla took Holly down and Holly's reversed it. Okay. Imagine if Holly got the first round submission. Oh. Spider Reborn, if you're a Christian, it immediately shouldn't matter. Be the bigger person against the bullies. I'm a Christian myself. I am a man of God. But, however... I do believe you should still stand up for yourself. Because I think to myself, would God be really that mad at me for standing up for myself against bullies? I'm sure he would forgive me, you know? If it's affecting my mental health, not wanting to go into school, and the only option is for me to try and command respect in a physical manner, and I'm not starting it. Anyway, back to the fight. Right, Kayla's on top now, so she's reversed it on Holly. She's trying to go for the full mount. It looks like. Can't tell from this angle. 
if she can get off some ground and pound on Holly, it'll be dangerous because them big traps or oh, them punched elbows on Holly's face. She's going for the choke. She's got a back. Almost got the back. Oh no, no, she's she's got the dagger stand the daggy standy what's it what's it called? The daggy stand the daggy standy handcuff where you hold their arm behind the back like that. And then you punch the face because they can't defend. You see how Kayla Harrison's left arm is holding Holly's left wrist? That stop so that's, that's basically got Holly trapped like that. One arm behind her back. So then she can just rain down punches. Boom boom. Oh, big ground and pounds, big ground and pounds. By Kayla. Hard elbows then. <sighs> Big shots, these big shots. She's a big woman, Joe Rogan said. <laughs> That's a big old bitch. <laughs> oh, big left hand there. No one reacted to that then, but that was a big shot. This looking like domination here by Kayla Manison. You think we're in the end of times, lad? What do you mean by that? Expand on it. I'll answer it in the brief. <sighs> oh, man. Oh, big shots, big shots. Kayla's like standing up right over Holly. Yeah, this, do you know what DC just mentioned there? I'm glad he said that. We're on 40 seconds left. Holly's just got her legs crossed behind Kayla Harrison's body. Push it away. I don't get why. They, why don't they do it? Should be trying to create a scramble, create space, push away, up kick. Like instead of just because that's the compl I call it like the the complacency position. You just like wrap your legs round and just stay complacent there. No, I'm not married. And end of round one. Okay. I cannot watch women fight. I find it boring, to be honest. And I also don't like seeing women fight. I feel like it's more for men. Yeah, a lot of people say that. They say that like it feels intrinsically wrong when they watch women fight. Which, at the end of the day, yeah, they're not meant to be fighters, are they? Because, you know, it's a masculine realm to compete in a, a combat sport. Ah. <sighs> Yo, Sean, I've been thinking about going into MMA so I can protect myself. What type of MMA would you recommend for self-defense? Well, it's I don't I'm not too sure what you're saying with that question because what type of MMA? There is only really one type of MMA. MMA is just mixed martial arts. Some gyms do classes where you train MMA as a full discipline. So you'll spend whatever I don't know, half an hour on striking, half an hour on grappling. Or maybe Tuesday, Thursdays, the grappling days, and then Wednesday, Friday, are the striking days. Just start any form of MMA, or boxing, kickboxing, or Muay Thai. One of those three. Start a combat sport, though. Don't just do something like Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, or just wrestling. Because you will, um, you need to get punched in the face. It's important to get punched in the face. <laughs> nice sidekick by Holly. That's something I said. I called it. I said, Holly will stay on the outside and throw sidekicks. <gasps> oh, man. Kayla's got, like, a f fast left hand as well. Like, if you... Oh, head kick by Kayla. Woohoo! And then take down as she got it. 
Kayla looks like she's going to be a problem at bantamweight. Okay, she's got the head. She's going for the guillotine. Oh, she's cranking it. She's got her hands locked. Oh, no, she's let go of it. I know. Kayla Harrison looks like Joe Rogan with hair. Oh, damn. What are you saying? Carry a weapon. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, my days. The world's mad these days. you got little kids walking around who are like 12 years old with knives and all sorts. Oh, she's flattened Holly out. She's got her... Oh, it's over. Kayla Harrison, second round submission. Who said it? Someone said it in the chat. Second round submission. Well done. Well done, my friends. You got it right. Made easy work of Holly there, to be honest. Easy work. Yeah, she beat Holly up there. That was a good performance. Damn. No matter how good your MMA is, everyone's scared of a kitchen knife. That's true, but then also you don't want to go to jail. Last thing I'd tell any kids to do these days is to carry weapons around with them. You just ask them to get into trouble. You shouldn't really be in the situations where you require a weapon, which usually means don't hang around with the wrong people. Do hobbies that get you out of those environments. Like me, I'm from a very rough area called Walton in Liverpool. And I was right in between Walton, Fazakli, and Not a Screen. I was like like in between them all where there's constant gang stuff going on. I was never on the streets, never involved in any drama ever because I had good parents and the, and I had hobbies. That's it. As well. like, And I never got involved with the wrong kids in school. I All I ever wanted to do was just I wanted to get home and go to Kung Fu, get home and go to kickboxing, play on my Nintendo, skateboard, go out on my BMX, That's and, and I, just, I just stay outside of my house. So don't get involved with the wrong people. Yeah, kickboxing is a great sport for self-defense. Kickboxing or Muay Thai. Honestly, they all are. Like, anything that you're striking in kickboxing, Muay Thai, or boxing. Like, for self-defense, for fitness, they're all fantastic. Yeah, who's... Yeah, sorry. Who's fight reacts? I don't know them. Kayla Harrison. Well done. Well done, girl. So I changed my decision there, so I'll give that one to myself. Now that once I found out who she was, I said Kayla to win. So we'll give that one. Time Olympic gold medalist. She will be champion. <laughs> Someone said, <laughs> No, it doesn't matter. Oh, she'd dominate them. Juliana Pena, who punches like this. Let's go, Kayla. 
You got a fan in me. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm rocking with it. I'm rocking with it. I like it. Okay, right, next fight. Do, 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 do. Okay, so we got Holly Holm versus Kayla Harrison done. Ooh, next we got Calvin Cater and Aljamain Sterling. Ah, la, 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 la. Uh, by the way, as well, I forgot in my predictions video, Aljamain Sterling's going up a weight division. I still kind of think it's a little bit of a mismatch just because Calvin Cater's coming off two losses, I think. Yeah, two losses and a really bad injury in his ACL. Aljamain Sterling has fought the champ. He's only lost to the champ, Sugar O'Malley, Sugar Sean O'Malley. So I do think it's, it is a little bit mismatchy, despite it being a weight division higher. Just my opinion. Nunes or Kayla Harrison? That's a good question. Because it depends what version of Nunes shows up. Is it the Nunes who lost against Juliana Pena? Or is it the Nunes that dominated Chris Cyborg? Because I think the Nunes that dominated Chris Cyborg would destroy Kayla Harrison. But I don't know. She's retired now anyway, hasn't she? Uh, who am I looking forward to most on the card? <sighs> Let's see. I mean, the top top three fights really, Charles Oliveira and Tara Zhukian, Justin Gaethje and Max Holloway, and Pereira and Jamal Hill. Those those three fights I can't wait for. What are we on? We've got two fights left on the prelims. We're still on the prelims, lads. <laughs> what the hell? Stealing by submission, yeah. Yeah, I think I'm gonna take Aljo. I think I said by submission as well. I said I'd like to see Aljo come out and get a KO. Because his hands have looked good. Like his last few fights, his striking has got better. But I think me I think I said second round submission. Second round rear naked choke, I think I said. Kind of surprised if she don't pop soon. Here's the thing as well with that Kayla Harrison. She is 100% being on the gear, but she is probably natural now. So this is how they get around it. It's like you can spend your entire career on the steads and then come off them, maintain quite a lot of the muscle mass that you've gained. Uh, you know, so you, you you when you're getting tested, you're natural, but you're not re you're not a lifetime natural. Stalin has pillow hands, though. Yeah, he, he kind of does. And that's the question. Is he going to have more power at featherweight? Or is that power going to be offset by the fact that he's fighting bigger people? Yeah, unless K Calvin Cater is injured, some is still injured somehow. So it was a bad injury, and it was a long time ago he fought. That's kind of the, the issue, and I'll always err on the side of choosing the person who has had activity. And Aljamain Sterling has had a lot of activity, and he's not injured. I I actually like Calvin Cater's boxing as well. I think he's very sharp. He's, he's almost got that swaggery style, but it's just been too long off. So far, though, who are you giving the 300k bonus? Like, because how many of... Is, he, is it four 300k bonuses that they're giving out? So far, who would you give the bonus to? Mm. Bobby Green has a good win. 
Moicano's win was good as well. Lopez. Lopez was an animal. I'd, I'd give a 300k bonus to Lopez if he was doing the prelims as it is. The bonus is only applicable for the main card. Regardless, if he's given any bonuses for the prelims so far, I'd put Lopez in the mix. Lopez, Moicano. They're probably like the top two, I'd say. Yeah. Yeah, you guys say Moicano, Lopez. So far, Lopez. Yeah. What's a Murph? Have you ever done a Murph? What's that? Sugar is legit, though, man. Tim Welch is a great coach, too. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, Tim Welch's boss. I've watched some of Tim Welch's video, like, tutorials on punching and, and, and striking. He's very knowledgeable. Sean, if you woke up tomorrow and lost all of your money in businesses, what online business or plans would you go for right away? Assuming that I've still got all the skills that I've currently got, I'd just do online coaching. So what I actually, because I, I do business coaching with like PTs in my gym and then a few online clients that I've got in different industries and I help them basically leave their nine to five jobs and all I basically do with them is I help them build a brand and monetize their passions, interests or hobbies or whatever it is that you can talk about all day for. Like So so for me, it's it's fighting, fitness and finances I help people monetize whatever they can talk about all day for, like the passions. Um, so it would just be a matter of monetizing one of my passions again. It'd be like, right, okay, so I can monetize fighting in some sort of way, build a personal brand around that, or fitness, build a personal brand around that, get some online clients, put content out, and yeah, just show the uh, a know me stuff. Just educate people online and then just say, hey, does anyone want any coaching? Drop it in there, here and there, and then just get some online clients. That's what I do. It's simple. I've just had a lad sign up with Justin Gaethje now. I've just had a lad start with me two and a, two weeks ago. Yeah, two weeks ago with zero online clients. And now he's got like 10 online clients paying him £150 a month. So he's already making more than he's making in his nine to five job. So that's what I do. A little bit of business insight for you there. Just monetize, just monetize one of my hobbies or passions or interests, build, make content around it and sell coaching. Yeah, Moicano uh, or Bobby Green. Bobby Green has a good fight. Probably not too many bonuses. Dana's quite tight. He'll pay out one because it's 300k. Yeah, I've seen somewhere that he said he was going to pay out four of them. Yeah, four bonuses. Yeah. 1.2 million. What are you doing here? <laughs> do I think I could beat a UFC fighter in the weight class that you would be in? No. What you're looking at here, right, is like the top, top 0.1% fighters and athletes in the world. No one in the chat could. No one in anyone's chat, MMA gurus chat, my chat, Wade Concepts chat could. Like, these are the elite of the elite. Sometimes you can get you can be a little bit harsh with them and be like, oh, you know, they're not that good. But they're also fighting other elite fighters who offset their game. So that's why I always say, like, sometimes the best fighters in the world can have boring fights because the they offset each other. Like, whereas you get you take two absolute retards, get them to fight each other, and it's hilarious and it's always entertaining, and someone always gets knocked out because they're that bad. And they're that defensively crap that they always get hit. But you take two super elite fighters. So, so that's, that's why sometimes you can look at fights and be like, oh, they're not that good. But they are. They're just cancelling each other out. So 
people like us, even people like me who've trained for years and all that, okay, I haven't trained recently, but if I would have kept training, even just casually as a hobby, there's no way. Yeah, Wu Chu said it perfectly. Splash, these are uncommon among un these are the uncommon among the uncommon men. You're totally right there. It's like the one percent of the one percent. Yeah, but I'm two sixty, bro. Bradley Martin could he's two sixty, that's right. Bradley Martin can defeat anyone who's lighter than him. Yeah, see Mighty Mouse take out the six for free guy. I've done a video on it. Um, when was it? A few days ago. Or last week or something, was it? Calvin Cater versus Aljamain Sterling next. Oh, my biceps have got so weak recently. Used to be able to kill the 25s. I didn't watch Vidal's last fight. Yeah. <laughs> Bradley Martin beats a prime Jones. Feel like I'm burning off these crisps now. My mate was a paid cage fighter, nothing special, even sparred him, and he was able to just piece me up, no problem. Can only imagine what a pro would do. Exactly, because these pros would play with the amateurs. It's just such a massive skill gap. Ugh. Even like, this is the thing as well, I go back to kickboxing when I haven't been in like six months, and there'll be kids there who are like 19 years old, like a lot smaller than me, and they'll be piecing me up, and I'm like, what the hell? Like, and, and I'll remember them from last time and be like, I remember sparring you last time and I was getting the better of you. Now you're just absolutely battering me and I've got to try a lot harder. Like, you know, just, <laughs> you lose, first off, you lose it quick, but then you don't realise that just, even just an extra six months of experience than over someone can make a massive difference, let alone years of experience with professional fights under the belt. It just, pff, the skill gap gets massive. Yeah, I'll be on UFC 400 when I'm um, when I'm 39. <laughs> I could probably take Ryan Hall in a boxing match at 170 pounds. I tell you what, yet yeah, you know what there is one. There's one UFC fighter who I think I could beat. I would diet down to about 170 pounds. Um. And that's CM Punk. I think I could take CM Punk. Or Elon Musk and Mark Zuckerberg. They're UFC fight they're gonna do a UFC fight, aren't they? <laughs> How many fights are left on this uh, the prelims? Is it two, is it? 
Yuri Prohaska. Yeah, okay, two fights left on the prelims. Jamon, Jamon. Who in here thinks they could smoke CM Punk? Could you actually beat CM Punk in an MMA fight? Don't forget he's a wrestler as well. He's a WWE wrestler. Leave a comment in the chat if you think you could. Like genuinely though. Ivo, who said they have? Uh, wait there, who said they haven't had any wrestling training? I'm actually pretty decent at grappling. When I say pretty decent, you know, within reason. I don't mean like I'm 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 great, but I feel like I could out wrestle Mark Zuckerberg. Sean Jones versus Mark Zuckerberg, let's go. Talking about WWE, what do you think about it? I'm not a fan, don't follow it. I watch it and think to myself, how do people watch this? I think, obviously, I know it's entertainment and all that, but I don't know, I think just because I know that it's not real. In terms of, you know, it's it's scripted, of course, like the stunts they do is a crazy. But yeah, I used to watch it when I was a kid, but that's it really. Zucht de Koch. Yeah, it's all good, Ivo. It's all good. What's your fighter name? Do you mean fighter name? Uh, I don't know. Sean the Prawn. Sean the Sheep Jones. <laughs> Sean, Sean the Prawn Jones. Sean the Sheep. Sean of the Dead. Something like that. No, nah, obviously not. Right, here we go. Okay. 456, 455, 4, 53, 52, 51, 50. Round one. Calvin Cater versus Aljamain Sterling. Aljamain coming out with that heavy pressure. Watch for Calvin Cater's boxing. Very sharp. Good jabs. Good one twos. Aljamain Sterling likes to mix up his strikes a lot as well. He throws loads of different shots. He throws front kicks, low kicks, oblique kicks, weird punch angles. Nice overhand by Aljo. Sean Bones Jones is one. Yeah, I did consider that as well. Do I think I could take on a prime Ben Askren? In striking, yes. <laughs> Not wrestler, no, because obviously he is a really, really high-level wrestler. Calvin goes for the high kick. We're at 3 minutes 54, 53, 52, 51, 50. Aljo. Aljo looks good at this weight, to be fair. He doesn't look undersized at all. And to be fair, when he fights... Oh, okay, when he fights a bantamweight, he's shredded. He proper got a diet like crazy to get to that weight, so he looks good here. Calvin stalking him. Nice f fakes the jab. Sean Jones versus a prime UFC punk in the octagon. Who have you got? Comment below, guys. Okay, Aljo got on the single leg. 
Got the single leg. Can he get it done? Can he finish? Good balance by Keita so far. Keita's pushing down on the head of Aljo. Oh, and he's down. Okay, he's back up. Aljo's got him down. Nice. Now this, now this is where Aljo builds on this. So Aljo was kind of like Khabib in a way. Like he, he only needs like the base of your leg, like your ankle, and then he works his way up your leg and eventually pulls you down. So he, he like you don't see him do these big double legs. You see him grab one leg and then work his way up. Chain wrestling, essentially. Right, I'm at 205, 243, 2, 1, 2 minutes. Krav Maga as a martial art. Nope, waste of time. It's not actually practical as much as they make it out like as if like that it's it's a practical martial art. It doesn't work because there's a lot of partner compliance required. Waste of time. Take a hundred I had a TikTok that went a bit viral. Like a few, couple of years ago, take a hundred Krav Maga practitioners and a hundred kickboxers or boxers or Muay Thai practitioners. The Krav Maga loses every single time. Okay, so Aljo is backpacking Calvin Cater now. So this is where you got to be careful because Aljo's back game is is dangerous. Okay, Calvin Cater standing up now. Now they're separated. Good. But now, oh, spin an elbow. That was good by Aljo. Went low jab, spin an elbow, spin an elbow. Now in Cater's mind, Aljo is going to go for the takedown again. Movement by Aljo, trying to pull him into that spinning elbow there. Good IQ by Aldo doing that. Watch Aldo go for a takedown and then fake the takedown and then do a spinning elbow. Seems like he's liking that, that spinning elbow a lot. Another takedown by Aljo, very easy. Speed's gone after that injury, could be, could be. It, it might just be he's a bit hesitant to throw, knowing that the takedown is there. But no one ever looks the same after these ACL injuries. Aljo got this, surely. Yeah, I think so. And that's why I was saying about I, I got a little bit of hate, a little bit of flack for me saying, it's oh, it's a mismatch. People in yesterday's video, in my predictions video. But I do believe Cater coming off that injury... It is a little bit of a mismatch. Ivo, look at the pins comment. Think about it. I, I, I've got to explain this every hour. For new people in the stream, I am streaming a high quality stream to you guys across the interwebs. Of course, I'm going to be behind you. There's already a delay in the stream itself. Aljo. Right, so it'll be 453, 52. 51, 50. If you want to sync up the stream, now you can do it. Aljo moving in on the takedown again. He's going for it. Not yet, though. 436, 35, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4 minutes 30, round 2. Aljo's got him down. Not quite. I 
Thanks, Leo. Appreciate it, mate. I'm on four minutes. Everyone's booing. Boo. Quite a bit of grappling in tonight's cards, isn't it? Quite a lot. Yeah, I said... Uh, I said Aljo. I think I might have said second round submission. Just keep coping. I've already started the process of getting overlays. Look, check this one out. Got that one. Took me about half an hour to set up. I'm working on the other ones. They kept glitching out before, though. That's why I wasn't able to get them sorted tonight. Saucy Ma, don't spam or I'll remove you. Nice knee by Aljo. I'm just gonna. This is just gonna wear Calvin down because Aljo can do this all night. Now, if this goes into the third round, it'll open up the striking for Aljamain Sterling. Okay, they're separated now. A bit of striking. Nice hooks by Aljo. No power in them though. Aljo looking a little bit tired there. Looking a little bit. Couple deep breaths. Good head movement by Aljo. Good body shot by Aljo. Yeah, that was nice. That was nice. That was good. Come on. Aljo threw body shot. I can explain this whilst they're doing nothing. Aljo threw the... It was the left hand body shot. And then went to do it again. And instead of it being a, like a body hook, he just went straight into the takedown. He grappled, grappled him, took him down. Got a body lock on him, took him down. Good IQ there. Aljo just loves cuddling. <laughs> yeah. I did say in my prediction I would have liked to have seen Aljo come out and do a little bit of stand up and throw some shots because he has actually got all right striking he's decent he mixes it up well but this is a strength this is a strong point here yeah Lorraine so far a little born yeah see the thing as well like Aljo is not really it doesn't seem like he's trying to get any crowns and pounds off doesn't seem like he's trying to pose a threat he's just controlling Cater. Aljo versus Usman. Usman, all day. It's too big for him. That's the thing, Ghosty. Aljo is actually sound. Like, he's all right. Like, he gets a lot of hate. But, like, as a person, he seems, like, quite cool. But yeah, definitely no bonuses of your Tim Mask. <laughs> uh, Dana White is rolling his eyes right now. Kata has got a bad rib. 
by his body language. I didn't notice that. I'll have a look now. Do, do, do. Can we get one more like to get it to 100, sorry, 330 likes? Is there one person in the chat? Is there just, just one lonely person who can give me one more like for 330? Here we go, second round. We are 453, 2, 51, 50, 49, 48, 47. I'll draw a bit more aggressive here. He's got the body lock on Kater. Trying to knee in his ass. Nice one, Deep Freeze. Deep Freeze. Shout out to Deep Freeze for the like. <laughs> uh, that's funny, that. I asked for one like, and it jumped up by 13 likes. When I ask for 13 likes, it jumps up by one like. So do me a favor, everyone. Can you not like the video? Or can, can I get one more like? Maybe that'll get me another 100. Okay. Aljo does not want this 300 grand, do, does he? Even, you can see Calvin Cater visibly frustrated there. He said, what, what, what's he doing? Ghosty. Oh yes, Lorraine. Three fifty, let's go. Remember guys, not everyone is as good as Anthony on paper Smith a fighting through grounds with knees. <laughs> What I don't understand with Aljo here is he's not trying to create space and get any ground and pound off. I don't mind grappling as long as you're trying to either advance your position or get or get some strikes in. Aljo, what's he doing? Just look at him now. Two minutes eight, two minutes seven, two minutes six. What's he doing? Okay, now he's trying to go for an arm triangle. He's, that's what he's setting up. I think he's just, he's obviously trying to set up that submission, but it's clearly not there. Here we go, Kater's up now, but Aljo's got, <laughs> oh my days, it's on a pile driver. There we go. Where's this come from? There we go. A few hard hammer fists. And he's back to it again. Back to it. Like, what the hell? Like, Aljo comes out and pile driver and then ba 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 hammer fists and then back to the cuddling again. Power bomb. That's it. Well, it's Calvin Cater's on four significant strikes. Damn. Round three. Well, it's, this fight's almost over. Uh, this 
a little bit more entertaining. Yeah, he's going for a DOS. Oh, nah, he let it go. <clears throat> yep. Pretty uneventful. I thought that would have actually been a bit more of an impressive fight, to be fair. Given Aljo too much credit, I thought maybe he'll come out with a bit of a point to prove. <sighs> Huggy bears. <laughs> Oh, man. I don't even know what to say there. Can't feel a bit deflated after that fight. A little bit deflated, you know what I'm saying? It's on fry. They need to get Don Fry to put on the BMF belt. Oh, oh, we got Yiri Prohaska next. I think this next fight will be decent. Yiri Prohaska's never in a boring fight. A touch wood. Let's listen to the booze. <laughs> Bless me. Post-fight interview? No post-fight interview? Doesn't look like it. Everyone's had post-fight interviews apart from Aljamain Sterling. That's Dana White's requester. Dana White has requested. Oh, we are is Drake has to Plessis and Israel. Dana White definitely said, don't give him an interview. For that crappy performance. <laughs> Abu Dhabi, Dubai. Abu Dhabi, Dubai. Abu Dhabi, Dubai. I'm blowed. Abu Dhabi, Dubai. Sean Jones, going up against such a bigger guy, he played it safe, I suppose. I know what you're saying, but he wasn't that much bigger. I thought uh, I thought Aljo looked pretty jacked, to be fair. You see his back, he looks good at that weight. So, he, But he definitely played it safe, though. You know, was, when you look at his fight with, with Jan, and he, like, he, he was a lot more aggressive... And you think if there's any time to go for a stellar performance and try and get a good finish. Oh, let me just actually say as well, Yiri's looking ripped. He looks in really good shape. He looks in better shape than he did against Pereira. 300 grand on the line. Do you not want... Maybe he's sitting on a good bit of dough and doesn't need it. Aljo versus Ilya Taporia. Ilya would destroy him. I think so. Ilya's an absolute monster. <laughs> Abu Dhabi, Dubai. Abu Dhabi, Dubai. Right, okay. So, that is Calvin Cater versus Aljamain Sterling. So far... The fights have enjoyed. I enjoyed this one. This one was good. Very action-packed. Bobby Green pouring on the pressure. This one was a bit... Eh, a bit lacklustre. This one was exciting. A little bit of booze in the first round, but it was good. Ended good, at least. This one was very good. Diego, Lu Diego Lopez. This one was also good. I was impressed with Kayla. 
This one was a... I feel like Calvin Keith is going to go away from this and he's just going to be a little bit deflated and a bit like... Oh, like he, He's not even going to feel beat up. That's the worst thing about it. He's going to probably leave the octagon feeling pretty fresh and just like, like you know, his daddy, you know, just got lay on top of for three rounds. This fight will be good. Sean, have I heard of Liam Harrison? Yes, man. Yes, Liam Harrison is is a monster himself. Some vicious, vicious kicks and power that he's got. Rah, 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 seeing him do them kicks. Yeah, Liam is, is a beast. I love watching Liam's content. I follow him on Instagram. Proper, like, just proper beast. Yes, bless you, Sean. Love your content. I actually listen to you more than anything else and recently started working out to your music. Hell yeah. Nice one. Down to earth, dude. Looking at the facts and the reality of it all. I appreciate that. Thanks. Thank you, Rich. Always appreciate when people come through with the positivity. Makes me day. It honestly does. I was grinding Minecraft from half ten to 3.30. Time on, 2.30 now. No interview for Aljo, that's disrespect, Dana. It is quite bad. You're going to give everyone interviews and then not Aljamain Sterling. But I think as Dana's thinking, this is the biggest card in UFC history and you're not even going to try. You're going to... I'm looking forward to Dana White's post-fight press conference because you know that he's going to say something about that fight. Rahad looks like that one dorm and you see on a night out standing at the back of the group. Doesn't say much, but all the others respect the F out of him. Yeah, yeah. Why is UFC such annoying times for the UK? Because our country is so small. Think about it. We're just a little tiny island with a population of, what is it, like something like 50-odd million, 60 million. USA is 600 million. So it's just a bigger market over there. That's why I actually, although like I don't, I'm not a big fan of the Saudi Saudi Arabia events. I don't mind it because it, the, the fights are always on at like 10 p.m. Oh, the legend Leo has came through with a donation, two pounds. Uplift your spirits after. Uplift your spirits a little after that fight. Well, I said for every pound I was going to get donated, I'm going to hit 10 reps on the dumbbells. So I've got 20 reps to do. Mm -mm, make sure I don't miss anything. Let's go. Right, okay. What are we doing? We're going to do some shoulder presses. This one's for you, Leo. Here we go. Dedicated. Yeah, 20 reps. I'll go full range as well. We'll do full range. Three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety. Oh yeah, a little bang going now. Oh, there we go, lad. There we go. That's how we do it. You know these other streamers ain't doing this. You know everyone else in the. Hey, who said? What, what did you say there? Seeing someone say, "Let's do some press ups." <sighs> everyone in the chat, let's do some push ups. Hey, listen, you know, everyone, all the other people in the other chats of the other streamers, no one's doing any press ups. We're built different here. <laughs> Tubby Rainbow has been doing them all live stream. You need to change your name from Tubby Rainbow to Shredded Beast or something.
see more you can get the pay-per-view time or round clock on your channel screen yeah I'd, like i don't know I, mean, I was trying to do it before but the website keeps crashing that you can download it from um where is it i was trying to do it but i'll probably just have to do it for the next stream to be fair or i'll do it on the next in between the next fight mark benison thanks for the one pound 49 what's that then 15 press ups 15 we'll do, should we do some bicep bicep curls let's do it 15 by i feel like i'm a performing monkey but i actually want to do these anyway Sweets. Oh man, Leo, <laughs> another quid. <laughs> right, okay, wait there. I'll do them in between rounds. Oh lads, come on. What are you doing? <laughs> oh no, what have I started here? Uh, need you fit for you fight. Okay, what I'll start doing, I'll start doing lateral raises, upright rows, bicep curls, shoulder presses, mix it up a bit. It's still there, you can see the shape a little bit, you know what I mean? Just need to pack it on a bit more. Woo! Who's doing, who's actually doing press-ups here? Put one in the chat if you're doing press-ups or you've done, like, or you've done a press-up at some point during the stream. Just so I know, because I think there's, like, three of yous. So, Legend Leo and Mark Benison, nice one for the donations. I'll hit some reps in between rounds. Sean built like a kangaroo. <laughs> Right, here we go, lads. Here we go. I'm starting. Right, go. Here we go. Round number one. Yiri Prohaska versus Rakic. Four minutes, 55, 54, 53, 52, 51, 50. Okay. we got one, two, three, four, five, six of you who've done press-ups. Seven. Okay, I like it. Good. Oh, calf kicks by Rakic. So this is what I said in the predictions video. Watch out for Rakic's kickboxing. He's really good. Them low kicks are good. Oblique kick by Yuri. Oh, that right hand's fast by Rakic. Rakic is jacked as well. Come on, Yuri. We're at 4 minutes 03, 2, 1, 4 minutes, 3.59. Oh, nice right hands by Rakic. Low kicks, they're going to add up them kicks. Look at Rakic's back and rear delts. He's jacked. Near his game, he's not on that low kick, that calf kick. Yid is changing to Southpaw. Back to Orthodox. We're at 3 minutes 30. 3 minutes 29. 
3 minutes, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10. Okay, Yiri dodging that low kick there. Oh, that low kick. Oh, your racket's almost caught him with a one-two after that low kick. Them low kicks are bad, man. Yiri struggles close. Yeah, look, he's trying to close the distance and he can't. Oh man. Yeah, so I was just about to say, Yiri struggles to to close the distance, especially with those low kicks. He kind of just starts walking in, a little or running in. Ooh, Rakic almost caught Yiri with that right hand. Come on, Yiri. See what what Yiri what. Rakic is doing really well. He's staying calculated. He's not letting the unorthodox nature of Yiri's style affect him. He's just he's just waiting, waiting. Throwing fundamentals, sticking to fundamentals. Rakic is looking really good. Oh, he's already landed about twenty low kicks. Oh, right hand by Rakic. Oh, right hand by Rakic again. He's struggling a little bit. He's struggling to to find an entry. Rakic, good movement by Rakic. He's, he's ducking out the way. He's creating angles. Rakic might be a problem for this division, you know. Oh, them right hands are getting close from Rakic. We're at 42 seconds. 40. And, and, oh, left knee by Yiri. And then... Returns with a right hand by Rakic. Oh, right hand by Yiri. Oh, rocked him. Rocked him. Oh, jump and fly me. Oh, shit. Oh, shit, lad. Come on, Yiri. Come on, let's go. Come on. Make it dirty. Oh, right hand by Rakic. This is a, this is a banger, this. Come on, Yiri. Come on, let's go, lad. Let's go, let's go. Right hand by Rakic, hit him in the chest. Ooh, okay. Right, we got we gotta do 30 reps. What are we doing, lads? What a first round that was. What a first round that is. Nice one for the donations, lads. That right hand by Yiri changed the whole course of that round. Obviously, Rakic got that round, but Yiri, man, you can't count him out. Bear with me, bear with me. I'm lagging. I'm a little bit behind. Where are you? Fucking hell. I'm behind, guys. Got to refresh. There we go. There we go. Right, I'm at 427. 
24, 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 420. Rakic's how many leg kicks has he got? 18 leg kicks. Oh, that right. Oh, the elbow. Oh, that caught Yiri right on the mouth. Wow. Is that an elbow? Yeah. Jab as Yiri throws the kick. Rakic looks fantastic. Come on, though, Yiri. Come on. He's shown that he can still rock. Rakic... Them, them, them kicks. Another good, another good five kicks to that lead leg of Yiri. Ooh! Oh, he caught Rakic. He caught him on the top of the head with a right hand. Man, this is a brawl. Rakic is swinging. No, me, me freaking, it's froze. What? <laughs> oh, shit, man. No. No. Damn. What's happening? Oh, you motherfucker. What the fuck's going on right now? Oh, man. What am I missing? There we go. At 3 minutes 12, 3 t 10, 3 09, 3 08, 3 07. Pfft, fucking hell. Uh. Oh, the head kick by Yiri. Oh, the one-two by Yiri. This is a brawl. Damn, they're proper going for it. Yiri's game. Come on, lad. Come on. <laughs> Yiri's putting it on, Rakic. This is how he's going to beat him. If if he's going to beat him, it's going to be this way. Come on. Yiri is getting a bit of a headbutt then. I'm seeing... I'm seeing some of you guys in the comments. Oh, one-two by Yiri then. Oh my days, oh my days, oh my days. Yiri's pouring it on him, Yiri's pouring it on him. Rakic is still standing. Careful, Yiri, careful. He's like, oh my days. Rakic. Oh, he's got him down, he's got him down. He's ground and pounds. Come on, Yiri. Come on. Let's go, Yiri, come on. Oh, damn, you just... Someone's donated me $5. Fuck, damn. <laughs> oh, fuck, that's 50 reps. Shit, wait there. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, come on, Yiri. That's it. Come on, it's going to finish it. Finish it. Finish it. Finish it. Finish. Come on. Come on. Yes. Let's go. Let's go. Damn. What a comeback. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Let's get some hype in the chat, boys. Hype in the chat. Come on. Let's watch this replay. Wow, that right hand there. Yiri just took it to him. Absolutely just took it to him. Wow. It's shown as grit and resilience there. That knee, the uppercuts... See, Rakic was looking great, but Yiri was like, nah, not letting you have it. Jumps all over him. Mate, are you... Are you kidding me? Are you just... <laughs> what I did, what... Are you kidding me? You are, you've got to be messing with me. You've just sent me $100. Is, it, is that like... No fucking way, you're messing me, aren't you? Are you kidding me, lads? Are you kidding me? Rich, what are you doing to me? I've already got a headache. It's 3am. Oh, my days. I'm trying to do the fight analysis here. Well, whatever. Anyway, so... <laughs> no way. Hey, let's get some hype in the chat for Rich first. First $100 donation. Hey, come on. Nice one, Rich. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. That's actually going to go towards paying for some of this PC back. Um, 
yeah, a little bit of hype in the chat for Rich. That's it. Uh, I appreciate that, mate. Thanks so much. I'm going to get some reps in right now. I'm, I can't promise they're all going to get done on this stream, but I will let you hold me accountable and we'll remember how many reps I do right now and then I'll get them done. I'll get, I'll get them done and I'll prove it to you, but we'll do it right now. Right. Fucking hell. Motherfucker, I've already got to do 50 from the other lad. What's... Uh, DDMK THFC 85 donated 499 said, let's get you into fighting shape. So I already need to do 50. Fucking hell. Right, okay. I put this on my speakers. Fucking hell, lad. <laughs> you fucking mess with me. Oh, man. I can't do I can't do full reps. I'm gonna have to do half half his reps. Right, let's go. Yes, let's go, Yeri. Let's go. He wants to take on the champion. What are you doing to me, mate? I was like 70 and I'm already dying. <laughs> oh. oh, lads. I'm grateful for the donations, but I'm not going to be able to do all this. Ain't, and listen, Musa, no way you're getting full range, no way you're getting a thousand reps of full range of motion. Got to compromise somewhere. Um, with the. I think Yiri has put a good argument. Sorry, I'm just trying to with you. Want the title? I'm happy to see Yiri rematch Pereira or go against Hill. Right, 70, let's hit another 30 right now. So we'll get 100. This is for 100. Shoeies. There's a hundred. Rich, honestly, or lads in general, I thought, oh yeah, maybe a few little like a pounds here and there, like a, a two quid, three quid, maybe a five, or oh, fifty reps, fucking hell. <laughs> Not a hundred rich. You far too can't. I appreciate that though, honestly. <sighs> Do 
the volume, like everyone's saying that the volume's high. I'm literally looking at the volume on my thing. And if I talk any louder than this, it actually distorts. It's peaking. So it's just because I've got a talk quiet. That's all. <sighs> right, so we've done, we've done 100. We're going to do another 100 now. Yeah, length and partials are, are better, yeah. But I'm not looking for muscle growth right now. you got to remember, it's it's 3 a.m. And this started out as a funny little challenge just to burn off some crisps. I'm not trying to build muscle in a scientific manner. Do shrugs count? I can just do this. Two a thousand of them, easy. It's all right, Rich. I forgive you. <laughs> uh, we can do some rows as well, actually. Not right if these were five kilograms would be a lot easier but the pure 10 kilogram dumbbells which when you're doing hundreds of reps adds up <sighs> damn <sighs> what's happening is the beef in the chat is there <laughs> oh we got a hate in the mic uh, oh. See, guys, remember what I was saying to you, right? Remember what I was saying to you about having these people who spend the time hating on others. Usually the big, fat, lazy gets with no life who sit there with cheese watsits in the belly buttons, stinking of absolute sweat with a big, fat beard, making no money, and who are basically just low lives. That's probably who this mic is. That's, that's kind of like, because what other man goes out of his way to, like, passionately hate on someone else? I just think it's funny. Remember, boys, hate never comes from above. It just uh, says more about them than it does anyone else. So. <sighs> Bro's called Mike and is talking shit. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, you're built like an auntie. Calm down. <laughs> uh, the roast of Mike. That's funny. Big fat belly. Big fat belly. Probably drinks Carlin's every single night. Cans of cans of Carlin. Uh, look at him. Look. <laughs> the thing is, though, guys, right? Don't even give him any attention. That's all he wants is attention because he doesn't get it in his real life. So he comes on people's live streams. I, I probably click on his profile and see he's probably left me about 10 comments across my other videos as well. But this is the only actual attention he probably ever gets. So, yeah, <clears throat> leave him to it, smelly bastard. <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah, fuck it. Oh. Woo! 10 reps and then that's 200 then. 
Another 10. There we go. Oh, shit. Reese coming in with another dono. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. A little bit swingy, but it's all good. There you go. There's 200. Ah. Woo. Open the window a bit more now. Leo, don't worry about it, it's all good, I don't even expect donations, but I appreciate them, I appreciate you donating, who's next, right, let's see who's next, who's next, right, let's go, we're on 200 reps so far, that was a boss fight, that, that's, there's a 300k bonus right there, Dana's got to give that bonus to Yuri Prokaska for that comeback. What an absolute comeback that was. Uh, what do you say? Sean, i got to get back in the gym tomorrow and give Etta a full Easter egg left over from Easter tonight for UFC 300. <laughs> it's all good. I've had a bunch of Easter eggs myself. <laughs> Hi from North Korea. Wow. Are you using a VPN to get on the internet there? Because I know Kim Jong-un doesn't let you, does he? Okay, what are we on then? Right, next fight, Bo Nickel. Right, I, I, so I actually predict this fight to be, I, I think I said first round KO by Bo Nickel based on his last fight, just because I thought his striking looked really good and most people were, were just ignoring it. People weren't giving it, like Joe Rogan wasn't really saying much about it. So I'm going to take Bo Nickel, and I'll be honest, I don't really know too much about Cody Brundage. I've seen his last fight. That's it, though. So I'm going to go Bo Nickel, first round stoppage. <sighs> Bo Nickel was getting booed as well at the press conference, which I didn't understand. Mm. Right, 200 reps done. Reese, no, no, I didn't watch that one. Uh, yeah, oh yeah, Reese, nice one for the donation, one ninety nine. Nervous Pereira will get caught. Your thoughts, my thoughts exactly. To be honest, I, I do... the only reason why I chose Pereira to win this fight is because of Jamal Hill's inactivity and injury. That's it. But I actually think Jamal Hill, like I think this is a winnable fight for him against Pereira, and I, I love Jamal Hill's confidence. Like he, he truly believes he's going to get this win. Um, I, I think it's completely doable for him, but I'm siding on Pereira just because of the activity. But guys, listen, you hear today first. Don't be surprised if you see an upset. I know it's easy to say that, but Jamal, Jamal Hill's not going to get dominated. I don't think so anyway. And if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. That's fine. I'm happy to be wrong because I want Pereira to win. But yeah. I think Jamal Hill's going to come out there and he's going to be game AF. All right, okay. I'm going to hit me next few reps now. Kilo, seeing your channel grow has been insane. Being here from the start, keep it going, bro. I appreciate you. It's always good to know that there's people who, who have been riding since the beginning. Oh, shit, no. Henry, $2 donation. Another two bicep curls, Jonesy, let's go. Right, well, I've done 200 so far. I'm still trying to do riches, the, the reps for rich. Right. I'm going to have to switch to rows because my shoulders are starting to get killed off of you. I just, I've got to refresh me pay-per-view. You 
you're still here, Mike. You're still here. You've not got nothing better to do apart from just come on and hate. Go and get a life, lad. <laughs> still here, lad. Still here. Admire and give me that engagement. Come on. Come on. You absolute pussy. A keyboard warrior. Still here. And that's the thing about the haters, guys. Is they still watch. They still watch you. They watch everything you do. They comment. They give their opinions. They give their energy to you. It's hilarious. Mmm. <laughs> Kevin, it feels like I'm overtraining, honestly. <sighs> I think that was 30 then. Yeah, Leo, yeah, I'll get rid of him in a minute. Dino, I'm 5'10. 5'10 gang checking in. <laughs> DP, yeah. Uh, I'm not doing any jump squats, hell no. I'm too knackered for that. I've already went for a run today. I went for a run to burn off some of these calories and I thought I'll do some curls here and there. Sean gives me 5 foot 10 vibes, yeah. That's me. <laughs> they hate us, they hate us because they ain't us, yeah. What happens with your chest, Rich? What happened to it? Oh, it's some chest, it's some shoulder presses. Chesty, I'll respond to all your messages now. Tell me about it, acid. I know. So, did you pull something in your in your chest? Did you, Rich? Like your ligaments in your chest? Oh yeah, I know what you've got. You've probably you've probably had a partial pec tear. That's probably a partial pec tear. It's quite common. Usually you've got to get surgery for it. You don't have to get surgery, but oh Lorraine, <laughs> oh man. Oh no, thanks. Lorraine Sanchez coming through with a ten dollar donation for you to not do any more reps and sit and breathe. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not going to do a thousand. I've done two fifty. I'll do another fifty, and then I'll, I'll do them, over the next couple of streams or something. But I'm a man of me word, so rich, I'll be getting the reps. Plus, it's good as well. I like a bit of a challenge. It's accountability, isn't it? Doing it in front of you guys kills a bit of time. I mean, what am I going to do? Talk about John Anik and Joe Rogan right now? Whew. But thanks, Lorraine. Appreciate it. Yeah, Rich, what you've probably got there is a partial pec tear. If it kind of looks like your pecs dug in a little bit or missing, or like a little bit stringy there, it means that your pec is so your pec comes through and attaches here on your on your bi under your bicep. So sometimes you can get a partial tear of that tendon, and then what they have to do is with surgery is they just get the tendon and they attach it back onto the bone there. Um so, yeah, you can get surgery. I've had a mate who's 
whose tore is tricep, like, but it's only partially attached still. So they said you can get surgery or you can just leave it and do a lot of rehab and the strength will come back over time, but it won't be what it initially was. I think they need to go to like a physio or something like that. Yeah, you should always go and get it checked out, but it, but it's just go and get it checked out now. It doesn't matter if like you can't say in back time, can you? Lorraine, just ignore him. Just ignore him. <laughs> he's just just a UK saying. He's being he's being crude. Keep it polite, DP. Keep it polite. Oh. Yeah, I'm going to do another 50 reps in a second. And with Sean, getting back into fighting shape was rough. <sighs> yeah. Getting back into shape <laughs> is tough. Because the thing is with me, right, is cardio is fine, but weights kind of messes me up right now. That's why I'm just trying to do a few reps here and there, and I'm not trying to, like, go crazy, because when I try and do a proper workout, my head just starts banging. So, Sean, I'm one. I'm 186 centimeters, 182 pounds. Personally, want to bulk to 200 pounds this year. What would you advise? I'll give you some advice for right now. Jaho Willink, Theo Vaughn, Mark Zuckerberg. BJ Penn in the building. Right, okay, so based on your stats, if you're training somewhere between three and five days a week, you're going to need around 3,600 calories to gain weight. And really, you want to be trying to hit somewhere between 150 and 182 grams of protein, okay? So 3,600 calories daily, every single day. So not like like Monday to Friday and then not eating on the weekend. No, every single day you've got to have 3,600 calories, so you've got to track it in my fitness pal. And, um, and 180 grams of protein. You can have as low as 150 grams of protein, and then you just need to be hitting the gym hard, getting stronger every single time, making sure that you're lifting a little bit more weights on a weekly or monthly basis for more reps, not doing too many exercises, focus on three to five exercises within a workout but going hard on those exercises not four sets not five sets two or three sets two or three hard sets and then be patient for 12 months and your physique will transform so guys just just a quick little shameless plug i am working on my app at the moment and it does all of this for you so you can literally put in on my app like right okay i want to build muscle I want to train four days a week for 20 minutes at a time, 30 minutes, 90 minutes, two hours, and it'll build out all the workouts for you. What what muscles do you want to prioritize? Do you want to prioritize explosive training for combat sports, or do you want to pr prioritize bodybuilding to improve your physicality? So my And then it's going to have all the exercise demonstrations in there. It's going to have all your meal plans. If you want meal plans, boom, it'll build out all your meal plans for you. If you just want calorie guidelines, it'll build them out for you. If you want to, if you're trying to stick to your diet plan and you decide to go to McDonald's, you can go in and swap a meal and, and, and then see all of the food list from McDonald's, every single item in Mackey's or in Greg's or Burger King or KFC, all the different items and all the calories and, and macronutrients, protein, carbs, and fats break down. So this is what my app's going to be. and does all this for you. But I hope that was helpful, um, Leo. <laughs> Sean, you're defo from height and you will. I'm from Walton, kid. Billy the Kid from Walton. Just because I'm not a little scally, I'm not a little rat. You know what I mean, kids? Oh, I'm saying, I'm saying. Just because I'm not like a friggin' low IQ little rat who walks around in North Face. I'm from a very rough area. But I articulate myself well. 
and I'm not a sheep. Like the majority of people in my own city. Sheep who all want to copy each other, wear the same shit that each, that each other wear, talk the same way that everyone talks, do the same things that everyone does. All absolute sheep. Anyway, that's just a little rant of mine. <laughs> uh, Sean, how do I get a link for your new business channel? I sent a DM on Instagram, but I don't think you saw it. Do you know what? My DMs are just being crazy. Um, let me see. I'll send it to you right now. What's your, what's your name on Instagram? Jordan. Send me another D send, can you send me another DM? And I'll send it to you. Is the app going to be free? <laughs> no. I'm putting thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of pounds into this. Tens of... Well, I'm not going to go into out, like the cost of it. But no, of course not. I've got a team. And also, I've got a team. So when, <laughs> so when I launch this app, I'll literally have a team of people working for me who are also going to help with the development of the app who are also going to help with customer service customer support if you want customized like meal plans and customized workouts or even if you're confused with your workout or, or whatever i've got coaches on board who are going to help with that i've got a full team so of course i'm not giving that for, for free man's got to make money but my fitness channel is going to be giving out loads of fitness information for free so, you know, I, I'll always, always, always give stuff out for free. But there's obviously a monet like a monetized version of it as well. <laughs> Billy the kids, you'd leg it from me, la. <laughs> okay. Why have you got a knife or something? As most of the lids do. It's the only time I'd leg it from someone is if they had a knife. Acid Rage, why 900 calories and not 500, giving him a stable weight gain? It would also help his body adapt. I went from 140 pounds to 163, then back down to 191. So the reason, the, the way I arrived at the, the number that I did is because, well, I don't know, what, what are you deriving it from? Because I took his body weight and put it through an equation that I used to determine mass gaining calorie intake. Sean, I've been thinking of making videos like Tate's and you and others, but with an orthodox Christian twist on it. Do it, man. Just do whatever you want. Like, there's there's an audience for ed anything out there. Like, 100%. Just go for it. Just commit to it and just commit a good 12 months. Mr. Beast says, do 100 videos. Commit to 100 videos. No, the main event hasn't started. The main card is starting right now in the next three minutes. Pick for this fight, I said Bo Nickel by knockout in the first round. I really like how his striking looks. You've had zero street fights, Sean. Stop the cap. I've had a couple street fights. <laughs> I 
Da war zu viel Schaden am Street Fighter wert. Vor? Vor Street Fighter? Ja, vor. James Hunt Show as well. You better be from America using Stop the Cap. And you also better be 13 years old. Because if you're not, are you saying Stop the Cap? <laughs> Come on. Right, here we go. Here we go. Main card. Let's have it, let's have it, let's have it. Okie dokie. <clears throat> Oh man, friggin' stream. Me pay, me pay per views. Four minutes. For, I have a missed. I have a missed that. Four minutes 15. Okay, here we go. Four minutes 13, four minutes 12, four minutes 11, four minutes 10. Missed the first 40 seconds there. I had to refresh. Oh, Nichol got the headlock. Right, okay, let me focus in now. Focus in. Let me stop focusing on chat for a sec. Okay. Bo Nichol's got the body lock. You have to excuse me, guys. I've, I've kind of got to refresh a few times here. I'm only on 4 minutes 20 of the first round. It's a pain in the ass, this. Bo Nichols ragdogging him. Rag, ragdog? Ragdolling him. Okay. Bo Nichols got his back. Why is Sean not showing live? What do you mean? Do you mean the live stream? Can't show the live stream. I can't. I can't even commentate on this, guys, because me, uh, me internet's acting up. 147, 146, 145. Bo Nickel rain down, raining down elbows from the top position. A lot of grappling, isn't there, for the UFC 300? No, I'm I'm not in a mood. I'm not shattered. I'm just uh, I'm just having some technical difficulties. Let's let's put it that way. There's just a few technical difficulties going on right now. But so far, Bo Nickel is dominating. 
I was assuming maybe a first round knockout, but it's not looking it's it's not looking like that. It's gonna be the case. Yeah, Brunswick is doing good in terms of defending. But Bo Nickel just is all over him. Right, end of the first round. Easy W for Bo Nickel right there. Okay, Brunswick looking a little bit tired. Did Brunswick rock him, did he? I had to refresh my me, uh, me pay-per-view. <laughs> Sean, how do you identify? Non-binary. I identify as a boss who does whatever he wants to do. Let's go with that. I ate all that, like, all that crap. Right, hopefully we're back in action. I think the internet sorted itself out now. Oh, time. Referee calling time. We're at 4 minutes 52 in the round. Something came over the ring. Right, okay. We got Bo Nickel so far winning the first round. So what Brunzer just got to try... Oh, nice body kick by Bo Nickel. And that's what I'm saying. Try and keep your eye on, uh, on Bo Nickel's striking. I'll be honest, guys, this uh, this internet connection is all over the place. So, Bo Nichols got another takedown. He's got Cody Brundage's back. I like the way Bo Nichol gets his foot in there. He's low down on the back, but he hooks his foot up high and into the air. Uh, he gets his hooks in, even this, despite him being low down on the back. Ordered the fight and I'm stuck on the toilet. Oh, no way. Make sure you, you, you wipe a few times. Snid, stop being, stop being weird. Do you know what, guys? I'm really surprised with the amount of grappling that's going on here, especially for these 300k bonuses. Yeah, Nuka, crowd not liking it, exactly. A little bit like... A bit of a stalemate, a bit, stink, a bit stinky. Crowd doesn't like this. 
rich. Internet is a bully. It lets us down sometimes. The internet makes people... Uh, the problem with the internet is that people can have private profiles and they can hide behind an empty profile. I always think that. I think, how brave, how much more brave would I be if no one knew who I was online and I was just... My me, me profile picture was just an M and that was it. No one knew who I was. You'd feel very brave. Oh, cool. uh, Bo Nichols got the rear naked choke in there. He's tapped. There you go. Bo Nichol got the rear naked choke. Round two submission. Very good. <laughs> He's doing that to the crowd. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know if Bo Nickel was doing that to the crowd as if to say, like, why he was booing, or if he was saying he wasn't happy with his own performance. Bo Nickel's now talking to Mark Zuckerberg and Dana White. Good takedowns by Bo there. Like, he, he, his wrestling is just top notch. <sighs> I'll do 25 more on the left arm, and that's 300 then. It's about, about 400 reps total on the stream. Not bad, considering I was just having a chill one. Yeah, no bonus for Bo. No bonus for Bo. No bonus for... Who else was it? Right, let's have a little look. So, no bonus for Bo Nickel. No bonus for Aljamain Stalem. Uh, no bonus for Jessica Andros. So far, bonus is going to Yiri Prohaska. All day, Yiri Prohaska. How to throw a low kick? Good question. I might give you a little demo after this. 25 reps here. Boot himself. There's three hundred reps. <laughs> nice one, Rich, nice one. I'll get more reps in on the next on the next stream. Drop me a DM on Instagram, Rich, as well, with any video suggestions you've got for that donation. I'll do a, I'll do a, a video suggestion. Whoo! Notice the haters are gone now as well from the comments from the, from the stream. No more haters. No more haters. See you later. Oh yeah. How to throw a cat? Well, I like the underbelly technique. So if you hold underneath the belly, then the legs dangle down either side evenly. And then you can get a good spring from, from the cat. As you press to throw, the cat on either side will kind of like elongate out and create like a ripple bounce rebound effect as you then let go of it. A boing, you know, like a boing type effect. And then that'll create more distance then. Yeah, Yiri and Lopez are the only ones worthy of a bonus so far. Really good, but you can make an argument for Moicano. Yeah, in all honesty, I thought maybe with the 300k bonuses, the people would have came out at, with a little bit more brutality, if you like. Like a little bit more urgency, but it doesn't seem like that. If anything, people have came out and been a bit more cautious, it feels like.
Okay, please quit. You have overtrained, Sean. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Sean, how come you don't have any stream mods? Well, it's only like my third live stream or fourth live stream, so and I don't really know how to do that yet. Don't know how to how do you how do you do it? I just add add as a moderator. So what's what's the purpose of a moderator then? Can, what what can they do? Enlighten me in the comments, boys. What does a moderator actually do? Best technique for drop kicking a baby. The only problem with drop kicking a baby is they're already low. There's Mike Tyson. Yes. So they're already low to the ground. So if you was to drop kick the baby, you'd have to jump low into it which means you have to get horizontal before you hit the ground, but you're jumping down. So it requires a lot of athleticism to go from a vertical standing position to a horizontal drop kicking position whilst also dropping down. Whereas if you're fighting a fully grown adult, you can jump up into the horizontal position and, and get that drop kick a little bit better. You know what I'm saying? Technique's a bit easier. I don't mind dealing with the haters myself, but uh, well, I don't mind. Who, who, who fancies being a mod then? Who's who's up for being a mod? And obviously, I don't want you to like just be banning everyone. Like you know, I, I don't mind a bit of free speech in the comments. Like, but maybe put a one if if you if you want to be a mod in the chat. I'll happily mod you. Oh yeah, Mark Coleman. Yeah, he saved his his parents from the house fire. Oh, what a hero! Forgot about that. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay, I'm looking at your comments, guys. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying, AZ. I might not need mods because I'm handling it well. I've only got, well, we got 166 viewers. We peaked to, like, two, oh, 190 viewers, sorry. We peaked to 285. Like, it's not like... One, what was my first stream? My first stream I had about 1,200, and that was a little bit crazier. But I think we're all right in here, to be fair. But let's see, let's see who's up for it. There's too many to choose here. Too many people to choose. Yeah, I don't. I feel like there's too many people to choose for the uh, for the mod. Oh shit! Right, okay. Right, next fight. Next fight. Right, we'll come back to this, guys. I'll, I'll just be completely honest with you. My uh, my pay per view is is jumping around everywhere. Let's see, TNT.
Wayne Shaw. Bear with me, guys. Here we go, Armand Sarukian. I was just looking at Disney Disney Plus then. What was it? Sorry, Discovery Plus. Ah oh, man. His arm and now walking out. He's going at the fans. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Armand's already starting fights with people on the way in. Oh man, I can't wait for this fight. I can't wait for this fight. <laughs> I'm going to take Charles. I think I'm taking Charles in the first round. Charles is the man, yeah. It looks like I'm going to have to... It's coming to desperate measures, guys. Desperate measures. Desperate measures. Desperate measures. Bear with me, guys. Oosh.
We're almost there, almost there. And I can't wait to watch this fight. Who you know drop the album back to back to back logic that's a fact but not because I got the cash from rap. Maybe if I was the puppy watch puppy to talk and plot the blocks of stocks of blocks. Here we go, right. We're gate right, we're on it. I'm back. Let's go. I'm with you now, guys. I'm with you. Discovery plus. Discovery plus, let's go, let's go, let's go. Sean is back. Sean is back. 378 likes, boys, let's get, let's get to 400 likes, let's get to 400 likes, 400 likes, come on, 400 likes for Rich C in the chat, man, this is going to be sick, this fight, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, mm, mm, mm. I was a full screener, there we go. Excited for Eminem album? Has he brought a, a new album? Let's go. Charles, Charles, Charles. Has Eminem got a new album? Yeah, I'm not going to do mods tonight, guys. I'll do it on the next one. I'm going to be doing these live streams quite often. Yeah, I'm going to be doing these live streams quite often, so... As we build up the live streams, we build up the viewers. Once we start getting to like a thousand viewers and all that, that's when I'll bring mods in. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Who should you bet the house on, lads? <sighs> I'm not getting trusted with anyone's money. I'm taking, I think I said Charles by first round. KO, TKO. But, it's anyone's fight. Because Armin is... A beast. Very skilled. Here we go. Right, we're on 4, 56, 55, 54, 53, 52, 51, 450. Low kick by Armin. Nice low kick by Charles. Armin with the double jab. Oh, nice low kick by Charles. Caught Armin, fell over, kind of like sweeped him. Now Charles is in a north-south position. Got him in a headlock. That's where Charles does his work. Can Charles get a first round submission? Come on, Charles, let's go. <clears throat> oh, he's got the. Oh, he's going for the choke. Charles has got a nice guillotine there. It's tight. It's tight. Oh, it's tight. Oh, shit. Come on, Charles. Sarukian's holding in there. Nah, he's he's going to get out. He's going to get out. He's going to get out. Oh, man, he's out. He's out. Oh, man, that was tight. Tight. Oh, Charles is in mount position. Come on, lad. Come on, bit of ground and pounds, get them elbows raining down. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Yeah, that was that was good. The fact that Armand got out of that position, then his face was like this. Crazy. Yeah, all them streams have been busted, I think. I'm on Discovery Plus. Damn. We're on 257, 256, 255, 254, 253. Oh, look at, this, look, at, look at the grapple and ability of Charles. He's staying 
in the mount position whilst Armin's trying to scramble. Yeah, Joe Rogan said there, beautiful flow. Yeah, it did look like a headbutt a bit. Oh, look, Armin's reversed it. He reversed it. Well done. Nice. Okay, so we got Armin on top. I'm not going to say Sarukian because I can't say it. Sarukian? Sarukian. Okay, we'll say Sarukian. Okay, Sarukian's on top in full guard. He's just throwing some small shots. Nice elbow by Sarukian. Another nice elbow by Sarukian. Charles, butterfly guard. He's, he's going to sweep him. Almost. Charles almost swept him. Oh yeah, yeah, the way yeah, the way Charles has got the overhook. So Armin's arms trapped like this because Charles has got it wrapped up. We're on one twenty six, one twenty five, one twenty four, one twenty three, one twenty two, one twenty. I'm trying to do something for the street. One sec, lads. Oh, what happened then? What happened? I missed it. Was it an upkick? Oh, wow. Pause it. Oh, Charles going to get a warning. He upkicked him. Let's see. Replay, instant replay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It got the shoulder, but then pushed off his face. Yeah, hit his shoulder first. Yeah, kicked him in the face. It wasn't that bad, to be fair. Tools output timer. Yeah, what's going on? The doctors currently... The doctors see an arm at the moment. Make it made a bit... Of... Right, what's going on? Okay, no point deduction, but they're going back into the same position, so arm and on top. Okay. So if he would have took the point, I assume he would have stood them up. Yeah, I'm on 50 seconds, 49, 48, 47, 46, 45, 44. See, now, guys, like, to be fair, this grappling's a bit more exciting because you see how they're getting shots in there as well. This is not like the Aljamain Sterling fight. This is like high-level grappling with striking involved as well. Yeah, good work by the ref, yeah. Oh, nice sweep reversal by Charles. Right, Charles got him up against the fence. Ten seconds to go. Nice knee. Oh, that knee. Nasty. Elbow by Charles. Uh, spinning kick by Armin. First round done. First round done. Come on. Who you got in that first round, lads? Comment in the chat, let me know.
I'm downloading a timer, guys. Right, here we go, round two. Right, round two. Here we go, here we go. Charles, give him a hug. Okay, here we go, round two. Exchanging low kicks. Front kick by Charles. Good job by Armin. Charles, big right hand. Charles is fast. Okay, come on, Charles. Let's go. Straight right. Watch, watch for Charles. Straight right hand down the pipe. He's very sneaky. No telegraphing whatsoever. Bang! Oh, axe kick. Axe kick by Armin. Landed on Charles. We're at four minutes ten. Four minutes nine. Four minutes eight. Come on, Charles. A competitive fight, though. You can tell Armin's dangerous. He's he's still in there. Oh, Charles was going to go for the... <laughs> what a scramble that was. Oliveira pulled Armin over him. It's high level. An axe kick is where you bring your, your leg up and slam it down like that. So you bring it up and... Usually aiming for the top of someone's head or the chest, or even to just pull the guard down. Good fight, this. Good fight. Right, so we got Armin on top. We got Armin on top. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to add a timer whilst watching the fight. I'll save it until after this fight. Right, okay. Right, so Armin's on top of Charles right now. In full guard. Yeah. So Armin Tarazukian is good at uh, not letting Charles get off any offense. Charles got to be careful with those up kicks though. The only thing with Charles though as well is that like because his guard is so good and because his BJJ is top-notch, he's happy to just lie on bottom and lie in guard, which is fine, but the fight can almost run away from you. You can lose the decision. Yeah, and what Joe Rogan said there, he said, you know, Charles is avoiding the ground and pound, certainly, but Armand's got this round. Yeah, we've got 50 seconds. Yeah, you know, Daniel Cormier just said it. You know, he's losing. Ground and pound by Armin. Oh, nice. Come on, Oliveira. Get up, get up, get up. Rich, yeah, Oliveira is a beast. Don't forget that. Oh, my words. He's cut him. Armin's cut open. Charles, he's beating him up. See, Charles needs a bit of urgency to stand up. 
He's just going to ride the rest of this round out like this. Oh, my days. Big, yeah, big slice and elbow. Okay. You could say one round to Oliveira, one round to Charles. Who is taking there? Who, what, how are you scoring the fight right now? That r nice right hand by Oliveira there, though. This axe kick was great. He actually done... Wow. <laughs> what flexibility. His leg was up there. He actually done... So, an inward axe kick. Usually, when you're doing an axe kick, if you're standing in orthodox, you will bring your leg out to the side here and down that way. But Armin actually brought it out this way and down the centre. Which is, it's rare that you see that. You could say 1-1. One, one. I'd say 1-1. One, one. Charles Oliveira and Armin Huggen in the centre. Okay. So Charles needs to act with a bit of urgency because Armin could get this fight. And I could definitely, as you guys are saying, I, I think the judges could see this as 2-0 to Armin. Nice striking by Armin. 1-2 body kick. Oh, nice one too by Charles. Charles needs to stay off the ground, especially with someone who can control him like Harmon can. See, because Harmon doesn't have to worry about the submissions because he's strong enough to control them. See, this is where Charles doesn't want to be in like the clinch position up against the fence. Charles needs a finish. He does. He, he needs a finish badly. Yeah, if this was a five-round fight, could be a different outcome. Oh, man, with a good combination up top. Charles trying to fire back. Come on, Charles. Where's that straight right hand? Oh, he goes in for the takedown. Good defense by Charles Oliveira there. This would have been great as a main event, this. Armand's oh, good. Armand's oh, going to fake the takedown, come over the top with a right hand. We're on 3 minutes 04, 3 minutes 03, 3 minutes 02, 3 minutes 01. Nice jab by Armin. Oliveira's not really doing much right now. Throws the hook, body kick, gets countered with the right hand. 2 minutes 43 left. Charles needs to finish. Charles is losing this, guys. And Armin's probably going to get this takedown. Big takedown. There you go. This is the beginning of the end, lads. Beginning of the end. Charles is most likely going to lose. Might be able to get it here. Uh... Oh, yeah. This is... He's going to ride this out like this. Armand's on inside control. He's got him in a crucifix, crucifix position. Now he's back in half guard. Now he's... So... Oh, man. Oh, uh, Armand's wrestling's good. Dominating Charles on the ground. 
dominating Charles on the ground. Who would have thought, eh? Who would have thought? Rich. All of these should have been main events. Time matters. Yeah. Yeah, Armand's doing knees to the body, so he's in like a backpack position on Charles Oliveira. Charles got no answer for it. It's crazy. When have you ever seen Charles get dominated like this on the ground? You could say, like, Armin would have been one of the people who would have put up a good challenge to Khabib, especially with this level of wrestling. There you go. Okay, Charles has got him. Charles reversed it. He needs to go for a quick submission right now. Can he get it? He's got, he's got a guillotine attempt. It's not in, though. Oh, he's going... For, oh, it's tighter now. No, 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 he's out. He's trying to latch it up. Oh, he's got it. Charles has got the DOS. Ooh. Oh, is he going out? Is Armand out? Oh, my God. Come on. Choke him, choke him. Come on, Charles. Come on. No, no, it's over. It's over. Oh, man. Wow, Charles was so close to finishing that then. Arm and money. Arm and money. Congratulations to Arm. Bear with me, boys. I'm just getting this timer set up. Figured out how to do a timer here. So I don't have to... Uh... Wow. like that. It looked like Arm went out for the moment. Did you notice? He kind of flattened out. I was like, oh, he's got it. And then like he got back up again onto his feet. The ref could have stopped that there. Imagine if the ref stopped it by accident. Oh, man. Right, bear with me a minute. Yes, I'm going to get a timer up here, boy. He's going to get a timer. 300. So percentage there. Let me just see. Let me see. Can you guys see that countdown timer? Can you guys see that in the top left corner? Yeah. Let me know if you can see that. Mm mm. Sad. Okay, okay, okay. Now let me see if this starts. Hey, let's go. Let's go. Now can I do like... Reset. Hey, I got it. Okay. Okay. Sarukian, innit? Split decision. Yeah. I thought he was going to say, all of it, right then. Good. Good, good fight, that. Very good fight. Let's see, texts. Hey, look what I can do here.
round three. <laughs> it doesn't matter, I won. Round four. Look at this, guys. I'm literally streaming whilst <laughs> editing this shit. Uh, round four, and then round five. Boom. Can't do that. Anyway. Right, okay. I'm back with you. I'm back with you. I'm back with you. Robbery? I don't I don't know, you know. I don't know because I understand Charles had them clo them submissions late in the round, but I, I I was thinking Armin. I'm not I'm not mad at the decision, you know what I mean? If it would have went to Charles, I probably would have been a bit like, oh, okay. I thought it was gonna go to Armin. But I'm not mad. I'm not mad at the decision. It was a close fight at the end of the day. It was back and forth. So, yeah. Nice one, Rich. Miles Teller. We've got Jared Leto. Who else we got on the... we got Chandler. Let's go. Are we going to get a UFC 300 announcement or what? We got Sugar Sean O'Malley. Looking flamboyant as ever. Oh, Justin Gaethje. Spider Reborn. It was a good time, lads, but I have to go. Me and my mates are hanging out in about an hour. You need to tidy up. Tidy up, my man. Why are people talking about religion in a UFC live stream? Because people just talk about religion on every single video. God is the answer. And I'm actually religious. But I can I just separate things. Have you got any plans for future fan meets? I actually have, yeah. I'm in the process with my new YouTube channel, my business channel. I'm going to, like, favour down the line. I'm only telling you guys this because how many of you... Is that it? How many is in the chat? We got 200. Oh, 210 viewers. Okay. Hey, let's get the video to 400 likes. Come on, boys. 400 likes. Don't be slacking. Come on. Um, wait there a sec. Let me just catch up. Yeah, I'm... Uh, so... Do I, do I say this or not? Yeah, I might as well. So, on my new YouTube channel that's focused around, like, business, growth, self-development, money, finances, stuff like that... Uh, mindset um the plan is in the future is to build a bit of a network of like young ambitious lads who all want to grow and develop together because i understand the power of having a good strong circle around you and it's something that i've lacked recently and so what i tend to do is that's why i go to these business masterminds in dubai and places like this to, to be around some high level players Hey, nice one. We got the likes over 400. 400. Uh, yeah, I like being around these high-level players because I understand how much of a value it is to me and how much it levels up my mindset. So my ultimate goal really is to have a good network of lads across the world who can all just network and meet up with each other. And, you know, that's like a little bit of a snippet. But in terms of like just fan meetups, yeah, I'll be doing stuff like that again in the, in the, in the future. But my... Um, my audience isn't big enough yet. I know I've got like 100,000 followers, but in terms of like a loyal core audience, it's not big enough yet. If you look at someone like MMA Guru, as I say, he's had five years of uploading almost daily and doing live streams like this for every single UFC event. So if he was to do some sort of meetup, he's got a lot more pull and power within his brand. I've had fast growth, but I haven't got long-term growth yet. So, you know, that's... You know, if I was to do a meetup now, I'd maybe get like three people there. <laughs> so it's, uh, it's something for the future. 
Yo, Sean, have you ever done a thousand push-ups in a day, bro? No. One thing that I used to do, right? So I used to do this program alongside me lifting weights, and it was called a PLP program. Push, legs, pull. Or push, lower, pull. And you do your regular workouts, but then you'd also do... You start off at, like, like 30 press-ups, 30 pull-ups, 30 lunges, or 30 squats, whatever. And then the next day, you do 31. Then the day after, you do 32, 33, 34. And you keep going up and up and up. And you do it for 90 days. And it works out the amount of volume that you'd accumulate over those 90 days alongside your regular training as well. Like, my strength on pull-ups was crazy. I could just blast out 20 dead, dead easy after, like, I'd trained earlier on in that day. And my press-ups were great. So, like, I've done stuff like that before, but I've never actually tried to do a thousand in a day. Sorry, I go on a bit, don't I? <laughs> you wouldn't be able to get to any of your meetups because you need a visa for the UK. Well, that's the whole point of me being able to travel around on that and stuff. The idea to be able to tr travel around, do a meetup, have, like, a, some little light sparring sessions, maybe do... Like, like, so train early in the morning with weights, do a little sparring session, then go to, like, a business boardroom, talk about, like, business, levelling up, making money, mindset, stuff like that, and then go out in the evening to a nice meal and have a few drinks and, and like, just all network together. That, I, I love stuff like that. It's boss. Chael Sonnen. Hall of Fame, Hall of Fame, Hall of Fame. I'll tell you what, I feel like they're putting anyone in the Hall of Fame these days. But I'm not mad with it being Shale like. What's your best meals for weight gain? Stuff with high fat, peanut butter. You know, you could you could go full fat rice pudding. That's a boss one. Just like a big tin of rice pudding with jamming. Yeah, like 600 calories, dead easy. Um, protein shakes with like bananas, peanut butter in, stuff like that. Sweets as well. Get some sweets. So after your workout, get like a, a bag of jellies. Bag of midget gems. 500 calories, is it? Yeah, 500 calories. It's all sugar, but sugar's not that bad for you as long as you're getting the right amount of fiber in your diet. People bring up like sugar all the time, but it's fine. It's it's more so people's underconsumption of fiber that's the problem. <clears throat> Leon, you've been doing YouTube since you were sixteen, and you've managed multiple hundred k YouTube. 100k YouTubers, or oh, you've managed multiple 100k YouTubers. I thought you were saying that you, you've you've built channels, uh, so you can say I specialize in that. But now I'm 22. I'm looking to favor myself more so in the fitness world. Drop me a DM on Instagram. Might be able to help you. I literally help people. That's that's what I do. My gym. I don't actually do anything with my gym. What I actually do in my gym, because it's automated. It's completely automated, so I don't really do anything with it. I actually just help the personal trainers grow in there and help them get an online client base, help them get an in-person client base. That's literally what I do. I help people make more money and build the businesses on a daily basis. Leo, you would want to have a spa with me. Maybe one day. I don't care. Chael Sonnen is the man. Chael Sonnen's great. <laughs> I love Chael Sonnen. Just devoured some Pringles at 4.20 a.m. Get some press-ups done. Put them calories to good use. Ever have too much fibre and you're shite? Don't flush. <laughs> uh, no, 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 not really, no. 
I've had I've had it to the point though where like you know you're on seven wipes and you're still going. I've had that one before. Yeah, fiber keeps your blood sugar from spiking too much. Yeah, same with protein, same with fats. People look at stuff like the glycemic index. So that's like it so it's the index showing what foods spike your blood sugar by how much. So people will look at like fruit that's got a very high glycemic index count. And they go, oh, look, it's bad because it spikes your insulin. It's like, yeah, but fruit has also got a lot of fiber in and nutrients. So who cares about spiking your blood sugar when you're getting all these vitamins and minerals and nutrients in you? Like, you can't just look at nutrition as like this isolated, compartmentalized, like, ideology. Oh, sugar in that, bad. That is bad. Oh, fat in that, that is bad. It's like, no, you have to look at the big picture of your nutrition. The best, like, the best way to approach your nutrition is just balance. Red meat won't give you cancer as long as you're not eating it every single day and you're still having fiber in your diet. Having a sausage every now and then or some bacon every now and then is not going to give you cancer or a heart attack. You know what I mean? Having a bit of sugar is not going to give you diabetes, even if it's daily. Because it, it, if you're training, you've got to you've got to take everything into context. People don't do this. They just go, oh, you have jellies? Oh, you have jellies? That's bad. Naughty. Man, I'm looking forward to this fight. Do we know George from Cryptos R Us? No. Is that you? And are you just doing that to get a clip of me saying it? I literally just have water this entire night. Good. Good for you, man. Good for you. Pa pa pa. Here we go, lads. Here we go. Mm, 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 mm. Do these counters reps rich? They are rich. And do a thousand of them easy all day. I've done 300. I need to do another 700 reps, okay? Max Holloway coming out first. That looks cool. That's a good sight, that. Look at the UFC there, that blue look. That's boss. Hawaii. Did they... I and Ali loved the video, Sean. Their boss. Thanks, mate. Here's Max. Uh, oh, the sneeze went. That didn't though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Rich, this is why I started listening to you. You have the knowledge normal people don't. And don't have. And you just give, just put it out there, normal knowledge that people don't have that can better you. I appreciate that. It's just my experience, just in business and life. The arena looks beautiful, looks good. Yeah, we see an arm and punch someone in the stands on the way in. Let's see what Max looks like here. He looks good. He looks good. He, he, his body fat percentage is low, and his chest and his delts has got more size on him. He's put on the weight good. Them shorts as well, they're nice. <laughs> Look at his back. Max looks good here. His frame has filled out more. He doesn't just look like a featherweight who's... Not dieted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good on you, Rich, yeah. As you get older, you don't want to fight. You understand you've got stuff to lose. Max is looking good. Max is looking good. Come on, lads, in the comments, what are you saying? Is he looking good? Four to five. Can we get five more likes? Five more likes to get it to four ten. In fact, no. Let me just ask for one like because I know if if I ask for one like, I'll get more. Oh, 
<sighs> squeaky wet fourth. <laughs> Man, I'd love to see Max win. I am I'm rooting for Max right now. I th I predicted Gaethje, but I want Max to win. Max, Max, Max. Yeah, Max's delts have improved a lot. You think Justin will be too much? It doesn't matter. He's fighting Justin. Max is looking better at fifty-five than he has at forty-five. Fair point. He does. He looks more filled out. He doesn't look stringy. Ian, the live streams were a little bit messed up, a lot of people were saying before. The live streams, I kept jumping everywhere. I'm on Discovery Plus, 30 quid. Need to get your weight up, you're 6'2 and 160. It's good height, very good height, six foot two. If you're able to get to like 180, 190, you look really good. Maybe get my app when it comes out, if you've got 20, 30 quid to spare a month. And it'll all be customised coaching for you. Access to me. Change your plan as soon as you need it. Also, people tend to overhype Justin's power. Thank, do you know what, right? I was literally saying this in my video, and people grilled me for it in my predictions video. Oh, you, you can't believe. Bro really said Justin's got no power. I never said Justin's got no power. I just said it's slightly overstated how much power he's got. Is he a power puncher? Yes, 100%. He would KO. 100% of us here, me and you guys in the comments, he destroys us all. But, but he doesn't flatline, he hasn't flatlined people in a while. James Vich, back in the day, who else? Edson Barbosa. Who since then has he flatlined? Dustin Poirier, his last fight, with a kick. But a lot of his recent fights, he, he just cracks people and hurts them. So I, I just, I, and I, I also think Max Holloway has got one of the best chins out of everyone who he's fought, out of, say, Justin Port, uh, out of Gaethje's last 10 fights, I think Max Holloway's probably going to have one of the best chins out of all of them. Now he's up a weight class as well. Hopefully he can take a good shot. So I just, that's why I have arrived at the conclusion that I think Justin Gaethje will get a decision win because his distance management is so good and Max Holloway's got a really good chin. Now, Forget everything I've just said there, because Justin Gaethje could come out here and get a first round KO. His back's also looking really big. It looks like he's gained a bit of muscle weight there. So I honestly don't know. You can literally pick just Max Holloway or Gaethje here, and you know no one can really be mad at yet because these are two sick fighters. Yeah, Holloway's got CTE. Yeah, it's because he's actually being hit the most out of any. Hasn't he absorbed the most punches? He's got the record for most punches absorbed. It's going to be interesting on this. You can see the blue sky. I can't yet. Six three and two eighty five. That's big. That so if you you mean two eighty five with a bit of body fat on you. You're not like two eighty five shredded, are you? So a little bit of body fat on you, but like you can still do athletic stuff. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> Someone said poor Max. I think. I think Max is going to have a little bit of problem with the distance. Look at Max's physique, though. Look at his chest, his, his arms, his shoulders. He's packed on a bit of mass there. He's looking good. I like, I like it. 
Just I'm going to knock him out round three. Okay, Hugo. We'll remember that one. It's a good prediction. What time is the Alex fight? I think is the one more fight or two more fights after this. There's Whaley and Zhang. Yeah, and then and then the main event. Yeah, we got Gaethje and Max Holloway, then Zhang and Yan, and then Alex Pereira and Jamal. Ooh. I've been streaming for six hours. How the hell have I been streaming for six hours? <laughs> Put a one in the chat if you've been here since the start. Put a one in the chat if you've been here since the start. Damn. And the highlight Gaethje downloads. I can put this here like this. Look at this. Now I'm on it, so people know what fight they're watching. Let's go. Come on, guys. Like the video. Oh, we got a few of you as well who've been here since the start. One, two, three. Lorraine's still here. Four, five. Rich is in and out. Easier though. Right, here we go, lads. Let's. Oh, shit, shit, shit. Start the fucking clock. <laughs> um, how do I do it? Start. There we go. Right, I'm 10 seconds behind. Whatever you see on the timer is actually 10 seconds behind. I might actually just pause it. Here we go with the. Yeah, I'm pausing it. 44, 43, 42, 41, 40, 39. Right, I'm lined up. I'm lined up exactly now. Oh, shit. Right, pay attention, Sean. Pay attention, pay attention. Justin threw a big shot then. Okay, Justin fakes the low kick. Goes for it there, lands it nicely. Max doesn't check a lot of low kicks. I'm nervous, man. Nervous. Max throwing a low kick. Pepper on the jab out there. Dustin, Justin. I keep saying Dustin. Justin's walking him down a little bit. Low kick by Justin. Max throwing some low kicks of his own. I like to see it. Uppercut followed by a jab by Max. Landed. Very good. Justin sweeps Max with a low kick. Calf kick, yeah. Justin's got them hard low kicks, man. I want to be wrong on this one, lads. I really want to see Max come out here and, and just put on a great performance. <sighs> Oh, nice little blitz by Max then. Low kick by Max. Oh, Justin goes low, then high with the hook. Catches Max. Uppercut by Max. That was nice. That was nice. Oh, Max caught just... Oh, my days. Left hook. Bang, bang, uppercut left hook. Max is looking sharp there. Come on, Max, let's go. Come on. Body jab. Low kick by Justin. Friggin' hell, man. Justin sounds like Dustin, yeah. I'll say Gaethje. <laughs> Max Max caught a Gaethje again with a jab. Max's box was boxing's looking sharp. Come on. Oh, 
Way, all the way, all the way, all the way, all the way. Max is going to that uppercut left hook again. So that's that looks like a combination he's been working on. Uppercut leads him with the rear uppercut into the left hook. If anything, Gaethje is struggling with the distance. I I, I think I, I, wrong. Up to now, I was wrong. Max is <laughs> Max looks good. Go Max. Hollow way. Hollow way. Can we get a hollow way in the chat? Hollow way. Hollow way. Hollow way. Max looks good. He looks away. He's he's looking patient. Kick by Justin. Didn't do much. Yeah, look at Max. Look at Max's eyes. One minute, oh three. They're going for that uppercut again. Wide eyes, looking right across just Justin's shoulders, shoulder girdle. He's away. He's switched on. I like it. He looks focused. Nice. Okay, Max is checking it now. Mm, come on, Max. Let's go. Looks fast. Okay, Justin hit him with a nice overhand right. Let's go, Max. Max's legs as well. Look at Max's legs. He, he's packed on a bit of mass there too. Hello, oh, way. Oh, Justin try. Oh, Gaethje tried to go for like a little bit of a switch and slipped there. Max gave him a little high five. That's ten seconds. Okay. Just oh, nice little spinning back kick. Come on, come on, Ed. come on. So what? Just what Max was going for? He was going for the the lead uppercut into left hook, and he caught Justin twice with it. Come on, Max. Come on. Mm, 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 mm. This is sick. This. Oh shit. Gaethje's broke his nose. Oh, the spinning back kick caught the nose. Whoa. Oh man. The jumping spinning. It was a jump spinning back kick. He's broke Gaethje's nose, lad. Come on, Max. Now, here's the thing. Has Gaethje. Been looking at that footage of Max against Dustin Poirier and underestimated Max. I just, ugh, man. How, how, I said in my predictions video, how sick would it be if Max KO'd Justin Gaethje? Okay, so Gaethje's going to be breathing out of his mouth now. Max is going to go from confidence to confidence now. Nearly took the nose off, yeah. Broke his nose. Oh shit, I forgot to... Um, I forgot to... Do the start stop. I'm going to pause for the second, guys. I'm just going to pause. If you want to pause all your streams, right? Because I fucked up. I forgot to get me timer going. So I'll let this get down to 4 minutes 20. That's where I'm at in round 2 right now. 4 minutes 20. Let's let this timer catch up. 4 minutes 20. 4 minutes 20. 4 minutes 20. Man, this fight's actually sick. I, I, I was thinking this was going to be fight of the night. And it's looking like it's living up to it. Max Holloway has broke... Freaking Gaethje's nose in the first round. Last second of the first round with a jump and spin and back kick. Here we go. Three, two, one. And we're lined up. We're synced. Come on, Max. Gaethje needs to stay on those low kicks, though. The body kick by Max.
And to think Holloway doesn't spar either. Holloway doesn't spar. I'm not sure if he does anymore. He, he, might, he might do again, but he went through a period where he wasn't sparring. Nice hard low kick by Gaethje. Gaethje's struggling with, to get his hands going. Testament to Holloway's boxing here. I just I just didn't picture it going like this. I know we're only two rounds in, but wow. Well, a little exchange in the centre then. Oh. He's poked his eye. Seems like Holloway's got an eye poke. Okay. Instant replay. Was it a poke? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fingers in the eye. Oh, that made the eyelid wobble. Oh, my weird, weird. I went to say, oh, my days and oh, my weird then. What's this eye poke? Oh, oh yes. Give Justin the, the required time there. Right, let's go. Here we go. Back in the business. Back in business. Max poked Justin as well. Oh, he did, didn't he? Yeah. Justin trying to find a way in. Fast kicks. I've got to st I've got to stop me uh, street me me timer. I'm on two minutes thirty nine, two minutes thirty eight, two minutes thirty seven, and I'll sync me clock up as we get there. I'm new to this, guys. Oh, the stream just lagged out. I'll I'll commentate for you then. Right, okay. Body shot by Max. Nice right hand by Max. Max going for the body kick. Justin circling. Trying to find a way in. Justin returns the body jab. Justin looked like his leg gave way a little bit then. Max throwing a little one two combo. 156. There we go. Starting the timer again in two, one, and go. There we go. Synced up. Synced up, synced up. Okay. Max winning this round again. Justin went in as a second eye poke, was that? Second eye poke. Max looked like he, he went in and he, he went with the elbow. It's the last thing we want. Let's see. Oh, yeah. It's the thumb. It was the thumb. Oh, it's the thumb. Ooh. <laughs> oh, man. How the hell is Justin still able to open his eye after that? Oh, you just don't want that, though, because it's a dark cloud over the fight, isn't it? Yeah, Justin's having a hard time here. He can't breathe out of the nose. I'll have to pause this again. Can't breathe out of the nose. Now he can't see out of both of his eyes. He can't even smell where Max is. Yeah, you're gonna have to do a point deduction. Justin's winging some shots there. Two, one. Right now we're synced up again. Now. Max is proper vicious. This fight. Good. That was a good low kick by Gaethje. Oh, Max. Oh, Max's legs beat up there. You can see the bruising on him. Max is looking like he's got good power as well. The power's translated. Yeah, look at the redness on his on his calf. There we go, last 10 seconds. Spinning back kick. Max has always had a good spinning back kick. 
Oh man, Max, come on, lad. Oh yes, he's game. Max is game. Yeah, man, Max is, is he's proper game. Wow. Okay. Second round to Max. Two rounds to Max. Careful with them eye pokes. See at the end the way he threw that roundhouse and then threw the punch straight after it, and then he stayed in the pocket as well when Justin tried to throw back. Max is game. AF. Oh, do you know what? I, I want to be wrong on this fight. I really wanted Max to win this fight, and he's looking good, and I'm glad he is. Sorry I ever doubted you, Max. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yep, the legend Leo. Of course, you're right. He, Justin's still in this fight. Keep chipping at them legs. Another five leg kicks. You see, if Hopefully, the camera will show the leg now. Look at Max's leg. It's not over. I'm just getting hyped. I'm just getting hyped because I love Max. Max needs to stay focused. Yeah, don't get too broadly. Oh, shit, shit. Start. Let me pause my stream a sec. I'm pausing my stream. Right there for... Right. I'm synced. I'm synced up. 449, 48, 47, 46, 45. So Max needs to start checking a little bit more or just retracting his lead leg. Justin Gaethje is fast, though, with those leg kicks. It's hard to see them coming. Time is on, Leo. Timer is on. That nose break doesn't look too... It doesn't look too bad in terms of... It's not too mangled. Nice body kick by Max. Yeah, Max's leg is swollen, yeah. You can see it. Look, oh, look at that leg. See the side of it. Man. Okay, so Max has landed double the strikes the Gaethje's landed. Max is still good in those inside exchanges as well. You think he's more of an outside fighter, but when he gets close, he keeps them boxing fundamentals really solid. This is one of the this is up to now the best version of Max we've seen so far at lightweight as well. BMF championship, let's go. Spider, you said you had Max winning. How's he doing? He's doing great. It's round three. Gaethje's landed a, a couple shots, though. Gaethje is still in the fight. Max's leg is swollen. Proper red. But Max is looking good. Sharp boxing. Yeah, Max isn't the best defensively. Oh, nice right hand by Max. Oh, and the spinning, spinning back kick. Good read. The way he does that... He went one, two, and then a spin and back kick. No one throws combinations like that. He knocked Justin down. Oh, my word. <laughs> what am I watching? I did not expect to see Max this, this sharp with his hands. You guys need to understand that one, two, and then into the spin and back kick was such high IQ. Because you could see that Justin was expecting more punches, and most people would throw more punches. Justin ducked down to avoid those punches all the way through the spinning kick, like he just did again. Oh, just Gaethje looked a little bit wobbly there. Nice right hand by Gaethje. Yeah, that's them leg kicks. Max has switched to southpaw for, for the second. Them leg kicks are bad, man. 
See that round four, round five, these leg kicks are going to start adding up. Gaethje might be able to get the KO, but so far, so far, Max is three rounds up. Touch wood, touch wood. Oh, look at Max's movement. Look at Max's movement. He's got caught a little bit then. Oh, man. Oh, low kick then. When Max put all that weight on the leg and Gaethje chopped at it. If Max just had a little bit more power in his low kicks, because he only flicks them, if he was able to get a bit more torque, he'd probably be a super complete fighter. He already is, like, of course, but I'm just saying, imagine Max Holloway with Gaethje's low kicks. Or even just a bit more pop in them. Just to add that extra dimension of a threat. Gaethje's looking a little bit off balance here. Yeah, Gaethje's looking a little bit like... Still trying to find his, his rhythm almost. Last seven seconds. We're going to see a little spin or something from Max. Three, two, one. High kick by Justin. There we go. Gaethje, you know, starts doing a little bit better then, but he, he can't really find the distance with his hands. I honestly thought it was going to be the complete opposite based on how Gaethje looked against Dustin Poirier. I thought that maybe... Um, Yeah, I thought maybe Max would have struggled with the distance, but Max's boxing is looking clean. Gaethje's getting them low kicks in, of course, but yeah, it's fantastic. This great fight. Yeah, do you know Max has never been knocked down, never been knocked out yet? No, no, that's crazy. I see Max taking this now. He's so tough. Fast forward stream. What are we on? We're on. Four minutes twelve. I'll leave the timer for this round. Right, I'm on four oh seven, four oh six, four oh five, four oh four, four oh three, four oh two, four oh one. Four minutes. Oh, oh! Just uh, Max got un ducked under then. I right, saw so three thirty-six, three thirty-five, three thirty-four. Oh, nice jab by Gaethje. I fast forward to the stream a little bit just so you know, guys. Max caught him then. What did he actually catch him with? It was it right hand? Or was it the uppercut? Yeah, DC's right. Like, Max hates him and then doesn't actually follow up. It's like he's just being patient with it. Oh, okay, here we go. And the timer is rolling. Right, we're all synced up, guys. So what you see on the timer up here is exactly where we're at in the fight. So if you want to get your stream to this time, then we're all synced. Round four, round four, this time. I tell you what, though, Max, Max is making just a miss. Yeah, yeah, good point, yeah. Oh, yeah, there you go, Justin's trying to put a bit of pressure on. But Max is out of there. He gets hit with one or two, and then, he, and then he's, he's off, out, and Justin's swinging at air. I can't believe that like we've still got two more fights to go. This is crazy. Justin going for that overhand right. Followed up by a one-two by Holloway. Do 
Oh, knees to the body. Yeah, he's yeah. Max isn't even limping. What the hell? Oh, that low kick, that low kick by Gaethje then. Oblique kick by Max. They're not really there. To, oh, the body first, followed by the overhand right by Max. Oh, Gaethje knocked Max down. Gaethje knocked Max down. Oh, shit. Oh, my days. Come on, Max. Stay on it. Stay on it. Stay on it. Just focus. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Low kick again. Come on, Max. Come on. Come on. Stay in it. Stay in it. Hollow way. Hollow way. Hollow way. So Gaethje ducks down a lot. When Max goes in with like his 1-2, he ducks down. So that's why that uppercut was working. He needs to go back to that uppercut. Or fake the punches, come up the middle with a knee maybe. Although he probably doesn't want to get taken down. Gaethje's like the white Yol Romero. Never uses his wrestling, but is like elite with it. Yeah, better round. Still... Outlanded, yeah, that's what I was about to say. Outlanded by Max, but that might be Gaethje's first round. Okay. <sighs> what a fight indeed. What a fight indeed. What what are we scoring this up to now, lads and ladies? What are we scoring it? That round then, would you give it to Gaethje or would you give it to Max? Max outlanded him, but Gaethje got one takedown. I'd maybe give that one to Gaethje just because Gaethje's still landing loads of leg kicks. Gaethje's still getting loads of leg kicks there. So he's still scoring and he got the knockdown. So I'll go that round to Gaethje. Mm -mm -mm -mm. What are we on? How many viewers... 212 can we get to can we have three more likes please three more likes let's get us to 420 i don't know if that's possible i don't know if you can take a moment out of your day to get me three more likes on the video see if that's el possible okay here we are guys getting ready for the fifth and final round and i'm gonna start my timer properly now Here we go. 3 1 max, yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Gaethje's got to go all out in this round. Expect war. Max has been going to that right body kick quite a bit as well this fight. I actually really like doing these live streams, guys. He's feeling it, he's enjoying it, because I'm looking forward to doing these again in the future. Oh, nice. There's the uppercut left hook by Max again. Just about missed, Justin, though. Oh, almost. Oh, yeah, oh, my God. Yeah, so Max caught Justin again with that spinning back kick. He's picked up on the fact that Justin ducks down. I love that move myself, spinning back kick, jumping, spinning back kick. We've never seen DC do a jumping, spinning back kick, have we? Yes, yeah, nice one, the legend Leo. Appreciate you, mate. Nice right hand by Max. Max is just on the move now. Max is 1-2. Some of the best shots. Oh, he rocked Justin. He rocked Gaethje. He rocked him. Oh, he's, he's got him down. He's got... No, because Justin's up. Justin Gaethje's up. He's piling it on him. Oh, the, 
Oh, my word. Justin's up against the cage. Right Overhand right by Justin Cagey. Come on, Holloway. Stay smart with this. Stay smart. Holloway just done like a 20-punch combination on Gaethje. Low spinning back kick again. Come on. Now he's faking the spinning back kick. Max. Oh, lad. <laughs> yes. <laughs> body shot by Max. Right hook to the body. Is sick. Right hand. Come on. Max got caught with that overhand right in that exchange. You've got to be careful in those exchanges. Gaethje, you know, he'll get you. Look at that jump and spin and back kick again. Appreciate you, lads. Appreciate you, appreciate you. Oh, that right hand then. Uh, jump and spin back at other, other leg. Yeah, DC's right there. Go back to the Michael Johnson version, version of Gaethje. Go all out. BMFs to both of them. Yeah. I'd love to see Max go a spinning kick. Spinning kick to the head now because he's he's done the, the spinning kicks. So, sorry, he's done the spin and back kick. So now if you go spin and kick, that'll be open for him. Oh, yeah, imagine Max versus Tapori. Eh? Ooh, yeah. Best Max has looked. Best he's looked. Who does this to Gaethje? Spin and back kick again. He's like Dustin Poirier with the guillotine against that uh, Bernard, Bernard Saint-Denis. Nice jab by Gaethje. Oh, almost caught him with the overhand right. Come on, 32 seconds. Oh, jumping knee by Max. <laughs> Let's go, let's go. Them low kicks are still sick. Max's leg's going to be hurting tomorrow. 14 seconds. Are they going to go for it? Oh, rolling thunder by Gaethje. Yeah, Max is doing it. He's doing it. Come on, let's go. Let's go. He's doing it. He's putting it. To go. Come on. God, yes, yes. What? Oh my days. That was sick. That was absolutely sick. Max is a G. Max is a dog. What the hell? To, to risk it all at the end. To risk it all. And he went, come on, last 10 seconds. He was up on the scorecards. Let's watch this again. Oh, my days. This, oh, my days. Max knocking people out now. Oh, <laughs> oh what? Oh, my days. Who knocks out Gaethje? No one knocks out Gaethje. Max knocked him out in the last second, threw it all on the line, said, let's throw down right now. Mm, look at his face. Right wow, he folded him, he folded him, he folded him. What? Are you kidding? Max is, oh, Max is, oh, wow. I don't know what to say. Come on, come on. What? Absolutely unbelievable. Unbelievable. What a knockout. Give Max 600k. Give Max 600k. 
come on. That's absolutely fucking brilliant. Let's go, Max. Let's go, Max. Let's go. Wow. You can't deny him. Look at Justin. Still out of it. <laughs> oh, my days. Come on. What do you mean breaking his nose with an illegal blow? <laughs> was it an illegal blow? It was a spinning back kick. Damn, man. That was unbelievable. Come on. Come on. That was... I, I can't wait to watch this back and just relive this that moment. I was so, so hyped with seeing that because I love Max. I predicted Gaethje, but I've, I've been saying all week, I, I hope I'm wrong. I hope I'm wrong because Max is one of my favourite fighters and he's getting better. He's getting friggin' better. The fact that he's... The one thing I, I just wish Max had was that KO power and what he's done in his last two fights. KO'd people. The way he risked it all there, though. Unbelievable. Mind blowing, Hugo. Yeah. No one does that to Gaethje. Man, come on. Wow, that's honestly like I, I feel like I've almost got goosebumps. It might be because the window's open, but like I'm not I'm not being gay or something. But I I could cry right now. Not that I, would, I can. You get me point. It's like just you know Mark Coleman. <laughs> yes. Just I, I love Max that much. Like yes, just it's it's just sick. Yes, Joe. <laughs> that was very special. He is him. He's him. That's that. <laughs> Um, there he is, Ilya Taporia. <sighs> that fight's a sick fight. I actually favour Max in that fight more than I do did Alexander Volkanovsky. <sighs> wow. <laughs> Love, man. That was worth staying up for. That one, that was just alone. Yeah, one of the best of all time, yeah. That, just the way he done that to Gaethje. Wow, let me just, let's talk to you, let me talk to you. Yeah, let's watch the replay one more. One more time. The fact that he just laid it all down. Uh, the way he folded them. Gaethje's got a chin. How hard of a shot can Gaethje take? And Max has just dominated him from start to finish. Then in the last 10 seconds, pointed at the floor like he did with Ricardo Lamas all them years ago and, and threw down and, and KO'd him with one second to go. Max could have cruised to a decision, stayed on the outside. Like, do you know how gangster that is to do that? Like, he does deserve the belt just for that alone to say, I've, I've won the fight, but here you go. You could knock me out right now. I'll give you a chance at knocking me out. Let's throw down. And, and he still KO'd him. Like, unbelievable. 
what a fight, what a fight, what a fight. I'm going on about it a bit too much. <laughs> I just love Max. I, I, he's always been one of my favourite fighters. Um, I, 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 this version of Max beats Alexander Volkan, Volkanovsky. Although he might just be one of those people who like struggles with the shorter fighter. What an absolute domination that was. I'm put this back on. And it's not over. Oh, we got Aiden Ross in the building. We got Adesanya, Ila Taporia. Right, let's get him. Um... Next we got Zhang, Zhang Weili. We've still got Zhang to go. Zhang and then uh, the main event. Holy crap. I said as well in yesterday's video, I made up that I kind of like, I called it. I said, how good would it be to see Max say, let's throw down right now in the last 10 seconds and KO Justin Gaethje. But I should have, I should have went with it. There was something inside of me saying, Max, Max will like, you know, go with Max. But I was just like, oh no, Justin's the safe bet. But, uh, yeah, I'm gutted that I didn't go with it, but there was something in my mind saying if if Max can do that again and throw down with Justin, that'll be a sick moment. And he done it. I manifested. <laughs> uh, Sean, is Max better than McGregor now? Oh, all day. Yeah, I, I think Max would piece McGregor up, the current version of McGregor. <sighs> Boring next fight. I don't know, you know, because these two girls are like power hitters, you know. I'm I'm always a little bit reluctant about the female fighters, but these two girls can can bang. We'll see, we'll see. I need to get a new graphic for the screen. What's what Zhang? Whaley Zhang versus Yan Xo Nan Xo Nan. Zhao Nan. How do you pronounce it? Zhao Nan. Wang Zhao Nan. Save image. Kill the debuff for now, I'm so cold. Give it your cuffs, you can't watch. Use this boy spitting the bars up on top. That was crazy, that one. That was crazy. Absolutely fantastic. It was absolutely fantastic. It was. Save. I hope it didn't wake up everyone in the house. <laughs> oh, lad. Image, uh, browse, select a different image now. View, get this one up. Boom. Time it. Tools. There we go. Professional streamer now, guys. I've got pictures. I've got pictures on the screen. I've got timers on the screen. <laughs> Professional. A be right, be right back screen. La 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 la. Tell you what, I'll go and grab a little drink now. Back in one minute. Get a little drink while we're on. Yeah, piss break. Everyone go and have your, your pisses. What are we on? Yeah, 241. Let's try and keep the, the views up as well, guys. If you can like the video after your piss. Grab a little drink myself. Mm -mm -mm
We are back. We are back. We are back. Are we missing anything here? Oh no, not started. Sound. Oh, just last couple little snacks. <laughs> Look how much of a kid I am. <laughs> Leon the Lions. Like Percy Pigs. Them sweets, like my favourite. You know what I mean? The babies steal steal the sweets all the time. My gym is located in a place called Spee, South Liverpool. But it's not it's not a, like a commercial gym or a walk-in gym. It's just a private personal training facility. So I'm it's a, it's pretty much just exclusive for clients and trainers. That's it. So we've got 15 or 16 trainers now. Yeah, 16 personal trainers, and they all just have their own client base. So we have like a lot of high paying clients come to our gym, like a lot of like millionaires, really well off people, because they value the exclusivity of the gym because they know that not anyone can walk in. Not gonna lie, I can't be asked watching this fight even. Let's just all accept, right, that we're all gonna be on a come down after that fight. Because there's no way that this fight lives up to that last fight. Maybe, maybe, hopefully, this fight and the Alex Pereira fight, you know, will they they say that's the standard, right? Let's go out there and let's let's go crazy ourselves. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. And to be honest, these two chicks who are about to fight, they are bangers, like the, the proper stand and bang. So it's it's it could be worse. Now you're hoping for Jamal Hill to get the dub. I just say it's possible. It's possible. He could do it. Hmm. Raw said he's effing flying. Leo, as as I said, it's just a um, it's a private facility for clients and trainers only. So, like, you can't actually come in yourself. You know what I mean? It's like you, you've got to sign up with a personal trainer, and then they coach you in my gym. That's how it works. Each personal trainer charges around. If it's a new personal trainer, they'll charge like about 25, 30 a session. If it's like one of the OG personal trainers who've been doing it for 15 years, like they're charging like 50, 60 pounds a session. Like I charge 50 a session, but I don't do sessions anymore. I've only got one client. Out of choice. <laughs> <laughs> what are you saying? Rich C, you stick you're sticking in there, you're hanging in there. I can, I'm literally looking, I'm starting to see the light now. But the way I look at it is, do you know what? Come this far. Might as well just ride it out to the end. Hopefully this isn't a five rounder. Hopefully they come out. First round knockout and then they can move on to the next fight. Oh yeah, Joe, good idea, yeah. Yeah, sacrifice this fight. This can be the sacrificial lamb fight. Feed and change your baby. And then come back for the real main event. <laughs> uh. The main. I'm up late by my time and you're hours ahead of me. Thank you for the dedication, Sean. I just look. I, I, you're welcome, but I just enjoy doing this. Like it's fun. 
it's something that I want to do more of. As I've said, I want to I want to start streaming all the UFC events because I watch them anyway. This is the thing I watch them, but I usually watch them the next day. But whatever, I might as well just stay up. And I don't want to do them with my mates because I'm not even going to go there. <laughs> When I watched Sean versus DDP, I did around 300 push-ups. Now I can barely do 100. Why is that? How many Leos have we got on this chat, by the way? Have we got, like, three Leos? Or is it just the same Leo with different accounts? Just trying to... Trying to help me with engagement. I'm definitely heading out for a rip on the bike after this. I do miss having a little joint myself, like, but... But I don't at the same time. I don't miss how it makes me feel. Okay, thanks to mine. I appreciate it. Much love from the States. Thank you. Thank you. Looking to automate my own online business, then go all in on my own fitness journey. Here's a little business tip for you as well. Like nothing is ever like completely automated. When I say my gym is automated, it's it's not really it's automated to the point where I can wake up whenever I want go in whenever I want, take as many holidays as I want, but I still have to manage things and, you know, show me face and help the PTs and stuff like that. I can just do it on my own watch, that's all. So no business, no income stream is ever really truly automated unless you get, like, some sort of crypto or stock pump. Property, I've got a bit of property. That's relatively automated. I believe that like a lot of people like are chasing automation these days, but the and like pa like passive income. But there's no such thing as passive income, and I believe that they, they do that because they're really not happy with the current job. If you was really truly doing something that you actually love, you wouldn't want it to be completely passive. Like you'd want to put it this way: like imagine if you had all the money in the world, what are you gonna like? Okay, you go and sit on a beach drink margaritas, some cocktails. How long are you going to do that for? A year? Two years? There's going to come a point when you will get bored. So you got to, you might as well do something that you love and earn money from it. So you've got a purpose to, to keep going. Mm. Do I read books such as Think and Grow Rich? Yeah, I've read Think and Grow Rich. I've got a lot of books up here. Got a lot of books up there. All business books, uh, fitness books, marketing books, all sorts. I've got like a shelf up there. You can't really see it right there. Let me see if I can show you. It's all business books and that. Yeah, Think and Grow Rich is good. It's okay, it's a little bit... It's a little bit uh, woo-woo, bit hippie-ish. Like, think, manifest, stuff like that, like dead basic advice. But, you know, better reading that than watching trash TV. Rojo Taco, yeah, man, I, I was getting goosebumps as well. What a fight. <laughs> Passive income exists if you own Google and Apple at the same time, in case one fails. Yeah, but that, that's what I was saying as well. Like, it does exist... Like, if you're doing, like, some sort of stock or crypto, like, pump. But usually, you need enough investment in it because you're only making marginal gains. You're only making, like, 1% here, like, 2% there, like, like 7% over the year. That's what you're going to get most. If you invest in something like the S&P 500 or, like, an index fund, you can get, like, 7% return a year. Okay. 
So if you've got a hundred grand, you're gonna make you need to put a hundred grand in to get seven grand that year. You can't even live on that gain, on that seven grand gain. So you need a lot of money to make passive income that you can live on passively. Is Max too big to fight O'Malley? Yeah, yeah. Like even though Max looks small, he's five foot eleven, same height as O'Malley, but he he's he's got a lot of a bit. He's got a bigger frame than O'Malley. I can't even speak freaking hell. Automation can reduce the amount of mental tasks, menial tasks that we are subjected to, but ultimate automation remo removes the, any ability of creative expression, which is arguably where the money is made. That's a great way of putting it. I like that. You just love welding. Awesome, man. You can build a business around that. Educate people online. Make a welding course online. Max and Islam or Max and Tuporia. I think Islam beats Max, but I think Max beats Tuporia. Anyone else thinks Tuporia looks scared after the fight when they showed him on camera? That's often overstated. Like these fighters ain't scared of each other. These are like absolute badasses. Like it's it's very easy to read someone's surface level face as like a deep emotion when it, sometimes it's just not that deep. Right, okay, let's watch this. Right, okay. Oh, shit, shit, shit. shit. I'm 10 seconds behind, but who cares? <laughs> it says 4.53 up here, but I'm watching it's 4.40 now. Come on, can we get a first round knockout, please, so we can get to the main event. Oh, nice right hand by Jan. Oh, nice low kick by Zhang. Body kick by Zhang Weili. Two strong ladies, these. What do you mean, Rich? Am I being spammed with comments for commercial use? Max beats any featherweight right now, even Volk. Yeah, that's what I said. I, I think this version of Max beats Volkanovski, beats the current version of Volkanovski. Oh, left hook by Zhang. Wei Li. Oh, James, nice, nice. You was able to re retire at 42, just take jobs that interest you. Boss, man, boss. That's amazing. Good on you. <laughs> Hugo, still in shock. Yeah, man. Oh, that left hook by Zhang Weili. Oh, bad, mad takedown by Jan. That was big. That's the type of takedown that wins you. <laughs> Mate, at my screen, it's 120. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry, yeah. Let me fast forward it. I didn't realise I had it on pause. Here we go. I'm on nine seconds. Oh, damn. She's got it in a rear naked choke. Four, three, two, one. There we go. I didn't realise I had a, I had some pause in the... Oh, she out. Oh, look. Look at it. Let me rewind that. She was out, yeah. Oh, damn. Damn, she was actually out. That fight should be called right there. Oh, shit.
Wow. I didn't realise I was like three minutes behind. That's the fight there. So what you do in that case? We're in between rounds here, guys. So I fast forwarded. You give her smelling salts to wake her up? What? The referee give her smelling salts, was it? Yeah. That's like the Greg, Greg Hardy inhaler situation. What the hell? So, Jan was out. Out cold. And then she was sitting on the stool. And then they give her smelling salts to wake her up. Nah, that's, that's not right, that. Definitely not legal. Whaley's so strong. She's on her back again. Whaley's on a, she's a little bit high on the back. A bit high. Young Shao now. How now, brown cow? That's what I'm going to call it. How now, brown cow? How now, brown cow is on bottom. Whaley is on top, obviously. Oh. How now, Brown Cow almost reversed it. But Whaley's still on top. <laughs> Leo. <laughs> oh, that's great, that's great. <laughs> the ref couldn't tell if she was out because of the closed eyes. <laughs> oh, that's a great comment. <laughs> oh it's just a pressure point in the nostril yeah yeah I only said sm smelling salts because that's what Joe Rogan was saying or Daniel Cormier weird okay Zhang Weili's just kind of dominating it here Zhang Weili's in a side control position Yang Shan Sha How Now Brown Cow has got no, no no answer. She's she's trying to yeah. How how brown cow using the fence and everything. <laughs> oh my days. Young China. Oh, okay, she's got a flattened out. So, okay, Zhang Weili's got a flattened out now. Ground, pound on her head in. Oh, yeah, some hard punches there. Come on, get this fight on. Come on, we want to see We want to see Alex Pereira. Come on. That's it, come on, Zhang. Get it out of there. That's it. Stop this fight, stop this fight. Oh, yeah. She's cracking it. Boom, 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 raining down from top position. How now, Brown Cow's flattened out. Now she's back onto her knees. Stop this fight, stop the fight, stop the fight, stop the fight. Three, two, one, stop it. Oh no. Oh, she got the choking? Oh no. Ugh. I'm surprised Bo Nickel got the main card and Yiri didn't. I know, like, that was the narrative all the, well, the last few weeks, innit? Doesn't make sense. The white Chinese is done, yeah. This is yellow on yellow crime, this, isn't it? Oh, is she gonna get it? She got the the arm triangle. Oh, 
Oh, she's sneaking out. Jan is sneaking out. I can literally see the sun coming up. Oh, damn. Jan is reversed. Now Wei Li is on bottom. But Wei Li is good, though. Now they're going to be both knackered from that exchange there. As Wei Li. As Wei Li burns her arms out. Oh, nice right hand by Xiao Nao. A bit of nice exchange at the end there. Okay, fair enough. I can see the sun. I can see the sun as well. <laughs> I'm literally looking at it right now. <laughs> oh, damn. Oh, damn. And uh, what about the fights in the summer as well? It, it's going to be it's gonna be sunny by now. But it's all good. I'm not doing anything on Monday either. I'm not going into the gym on Monday. Who's still with us in the chat? Everyone can every we got two hundred people in here or around about that last time I looked. We're two hundred people ish. Who's in who's with us in the comments? Who let's see your names. Just say hi. And see who's active. Right, round three. Get ready with the timer. And go. Boom. Getting on it with this timer now. Let's see who's here. We got Kean Hudson, we got Rich C, we got Lorraine Sanchez, we got Leo Isaac, GGD7, Mr. Beats, Aaron, Nuke, Sam, Krusty Hairlines, nice sidekick by Jan then. Krusty Hairlines, 96, what a username that is. I am George, Rob the Rich, Novo. Ghosty, Sample Poo, J Moses, Scott Guy, J Moses again, Power Box and Promotions, Sam Pavey. Squedge, Squedge is still here. Oh, oh what was that by Whaley then? She, oh. <laughs> okay, we got Reese. They're three is. Everyone's here, everyone's here. Oh, really? Oh, Jan hit with a right hand. Wei Li is down. Have you noticed the Chinese fighters as well? They even like shout in Chinese. Like when they go, oh, yeah. ah. they, they sound Chinese when they exert themselves. They exert in Chinese. Like, how can it? Ah! Sound Chinese, but it does, doesn't it? You know, just listen. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, that was a bit strange, wasn't it? Ha ha! Ha ha ha! Ha ha ha! Oh... I'm taking Alex Pereira for the main event. Nice body kick by Whaley. When I was younger, I used to watch all the Chinese Kung Fu movies and the way that they moved their mouth differently to the dubbed, the dubbed voices. I think Zhang Whaley is going to win this fight. 
Oh, they both clacked each other. They both hurt each other. Who is going to defeat who? Zangwili. No, it's there. Zangwili. you got to do the voice as well, because that's how they speak in those Chinese films. You killed my family. Oh, Drake bet 670,000 on Pereira. Charles Oliveira fight was great. Bit gutted Charles lost them. Okay. <laughs> you need your bed, bro. <laughs> hello, hello. I'm silly. I'm so silly. Yang Shao now seems to be winning this fight. <laughs> she is starting to take over. I have noticed. Her sidekicks are really good. There is only 26 seconds left of this fight. At the end of the day, this, this card was going to be long just because of how stacked it was. There was four fights on the pre early prelims, four fights on the main prelims, and like four or five fights on this. <sighs> Ghosty, yeah. Still recovering from the most goated performance I've ever seen in the sport. That might be one of the performances of the year, and it's only April. Yeah, Zhang does look tired, doesn't she? I'll be honest, Whaley doesn't understand what he's saying. She's like, can you say it in Chinese? <laughs> there we go. Can you say it in uh, Chinese? Right, there we go. You need to get that scene too, Fetty. Yeah, Nuka, she's doing good, isn't she? No one yet, Rojo. It's um, round four. Oh, I didn't even see that then. Let me see. Oh, whatever. I was checking a different tab. FFC. It's only the fourth. I know. Take a 15 minute nap. <laughs> Bro's speed running getting cancelled. It's all right. I've got a Chinese second cousin. I actually done a song with a lad who was Chinese when I was like 17. So I think that exonerates me from any wrongdoing. Okay. Maybe I should actually try and commentate this a little bit. Come on, Sean. <laughs> I'm 
I'm trying to save me commentating energy for the main event. Appreciate it, Ryan. Oh, yeah, Ryan Sample. He was here the other night. Nice one, man. Bet that room smells like farts. No, it's all right. I've got the window open. It's ventilated. Very well ventilated. <laughs> Anyone else seen Taporia's reaction to the KO? It was pretty funny. No, no. If you can send us it on Instagram. Is it on Instagram or something? If you can send us it on Instagram. The link is in the description. My link. Always put it in my video tomorrow. No, I'm not going to drop the song. It was it was years ago. I've got 450 likes. Sound, sound that. Do you think we can maybe get to 500 likes before the end of the stream? What are we on? 451. wonder if we can get to... F Is there still 47 people in here who haven't liked the video? Try and get us to 500. 500, 500, 500. The only thing with the girls as well is they do tend to grapple a lot more. Which, as we say, you know, grappling's fine. Hey, she's holding the cage. She's holding the cage. Jan. I don't see the main event going the full distance. I think I said KO by Pereira in the third. Can I say chicken and a can of Coke? Yes, I, I sure can, my friend. Chicken and a can of Coke. Is that okay for you? If you've got that chicken and a can of Coke thing from that black lad who's from Liverpool, <laughs> funny, funny story, I was actually training with him like a couple of months ago, in the place where I train. I didn't realise it was him. We were training together, we were partners up, and the instructor said, oh, yeah, Sean, uh, you and him, he's on social media as well. And then I was like, oh, right, okay. And just, you know, just had to laugh about it. But then it, And then it popped up, a video of his popped up later on. And I was like, oh, damn, that's him, that's the lad. He's, he's like smashing it on social media. Him. What's an acker? What's an acker on? Did you have an acker on? No, Rich, I mean like a video. So, well, it's what time is it now? It's 6am Sunday, so I'll probably put a video out later on tonight, Sunday. Like 5, 6 p.m. or something. Uh, five, five minutes left. Oh, an accumulator better. No, I don't bet. I don't bet, really. I did. I, I, I tried a little bit in the past, but I find that when I start putting money on fights, I, I, I don't have as much fun with it. because I, And I, I can't think properly as well, because I'm like, I'm thinking to myself, oh, I've got money on this now, so who should win? And uh, maybe this person will, and I can't, I can't think clearly. Whereas instead, I just like to go. I think this person's going to win by this, and then if I'm wrong, I'm wrong, and I don't have to worry too much about losing money. And I always get more predictions right when I don't bet, and then when I do bet, I always get them wrong. So it's like the money side of things makes me overthink things more. That's just what I found. Oh, yeah, accumulating, yeah, yeah. I'd show you outside, man, but um, some stalker will be, like, hiding in this chat and will find out where they live and everything, and they just can't trust the internet these days. Sorry to hear that, Mogster. Right, here we go. Oh, fucking hell.
Right, okay. How long do you think before they take each other down and have a little roly-poly? Ah, uh, three seconds. <laughs> uh, I don't mind the grappling. I was just hoping for the finish so we can get to the main event sooner. If this was the next day, I'd just literally fast-forward all this. That's actually been a little bit of the detriment of my knowledge, to be honest, with MMA is because I've just been fast forward and like non exciting fights. And I just kind of sometimes I'll skim through the prelims. I never used to do that. Sean, I'm having a discussion with my friends. I've been training boxing for six months and I'm six foot one, 200 pounds. My friends think I would lose to either of these women in a street fight. What do you think? No, I think he'd beat them. There's, when you go... It, right, okay. If it was two men of their skill level and their body weight, they'd beat you, 100%. But when you go man versus woman... It completely changes the game because a woman can be jacked on the steroids and she can still not be as strong as like an average man with an average amount of muscle mass who doesn't even go to the gym. So like the man versus woman side of things completely injects a whole new dimension to the argument. So and that's something that I am very well versed in because you can go on my channel and type in men versus women and see loads of example videos that I've done on it. You'd, you'd dominate them. Or well, maybe not dominate them. You know, they might be able to grab your leg a little bit and all that, but the size advantage, the strength advantage, bigger hands, bigger frame, more muscle mass, more testosterone, better centre of gravity, like a little bit of training as well, six months worth of training. Yeah, yeah, you'd beat them. Have I been to York yet yeah, years ago? Absolute years ago when I was about 15 or something. And it was nice. Very green. Yeah. Do I think Hill will be successful on, on the stand-up with Alex? I actually do. I think he's going to pre present a few problems for Alex. Oh. Dude, forgot you were streaming for this. Max is insane for that. At the KO, I jumped up so quick and nearly passed out from the head rush. Honestly, we were all going crazy. I was like bouncing up and down in my chair. An average man beats a professional female fighter. Yeah, yeah you said it there, yeah, yeah. See, someone like Clarissa Shields, it muddies the water a little bit because she's kind of like a man. Like, she, she's thick, she's heavy. These girls are little, remember, but Clarissa Shields is a bit of a tank, isn't she? So it does, and she's actually world-class striker. But still, like, yeah, a, a lot of men would. To be fair, like... That's where, as I say, it muddies the waters a bit, just because she's got more physicality, because that's the difference. It's the physicality difference. I've never been to, never been to Belfast. I've got loads of friends who are from Derry, Belfast. And, uh, yeah, Derry, Belfast, where else? Just them two places, actually, that I used to work in the bars with. I've never been there, though. Hill will dominate this fight. It could happen. It could happen. I, I'm actually, I've actually said that people are underestimating him a lot. I think Alex will get it, but I do think people are underestimating Hill. There we go. Finally, friggin' hell, finally this fight's over. Yeah, Leo, you got Joker the Knights. That was a good one, that.
Suma, this is this is a part of the debate, right? Because there's there's a lot that goes into it, of course. Like, and I know what you're saying, and I actually agree with you. Like, a lot of like average men are clumsy and dopey. What I was saying is that an average man, this this is my argument, a jacked girl on steroids would not be able to overpower an average man with an average amount of muscle mass. So I'm not saying low amount of muscle mass, I'm saying an average amount of muscle mass who doesn't go to the gym. So I'm saying overpower. I'm not actually saying beat in a street fight because there's too many variables that go into that. I'm saying in terms of just like overpower. That's it. Okay, because it's, it's, it's one metric of being in a street fight is who can have the physicality advantage. So that's what I'm talking about. Like Because yet there's so many individual variables, like loads of men are clumsy. Pereira wins the round two with a flying knee. Oh, yes. Whaley, Whaley got it. Okay. Um, why would a 70 kilogram woman not be able to beat a 90 kilogram dude? You've answered your own argument here or your own question. I'm six foot, 70 kilograms, skinny. A 95 to 100 kilogram guy ran into me. I got him in a headlock. Could smash his back. Why wouldn't a pro woman do that? Because... There's different. It's not just about weight when it comes to um, men versus women. When it's men versus men, size doesn't matter as much. But when you talk about men versus women, you can take a 90 kilogram man and a 90 kilogram woman, right? And the 90 kilogram man will be stronger nine times out of ten than the 90 kilogram woman, even if the 90 kilogram woman lifts. It's just the way it is because it's not just about weight. It's about loads of different variables like bone density, frame, size, um, weight placement across your body, center of gravity, joint thickness, hand size. I might have said that. Uh, androgen, uh, androgen, androgenic hormones such as testosterone, growth hormone, insulin-like growth factor. These hormones that we have a lot more of in our body than women that contribute towards strength. We have um, better nervous system explosivity, so we, or explosiveness, should I say. So we have a lot more snappiness within our nervous system than women do. So a lot of these factors go into it. So it's not just about, oh, 90 kilograms versus 90 kilograms, or I'm 70 kilogram man. A, a, a 50 kilogram woman could definitely beat me. It's not about that. It's like, it's... It's just loads of other factors. It's quite it's quite late or slash early to be talking about this stuff, but I hope that makes sense. I am a misogynist. I am. And women love me for it. <laughs> uh. Women love a misogynist who they are attracted to. That's how the world works. Women don't want a yes man. Women want a man to be like... Listen, bitch, do the dishes. <laughs> I believe in gender roles, but let's not go there. You have all the studies that I wish I knew. Although I'm a little bit out of shape, fitness has been my life. Fitness, like coaching people, has been my life for the last 13 years. Leo, I do. Because there's people in the comments who genuinely want to know who aren't educated on the level that I'm, I'm giving them. Because, yeah, it's easy to say, yeah, a man can beat a woman. But then I'm also explaining why. It's not as simple as, like, oh, if a woman weighs this and a man weighs this. Kamaro Usman. 
Tom Aspinall. Oh, bring this. We got Masvidal and DDP. Yay, Gracie. James Huncho, I'm sure you was in here about three hours ago and you dropped some sort of nonsense. <laughs> You're obsessed. <laughs> oh, some people are funny. I know, I'll go back on Sean's stream and I'll see what he's saying and I'll say something to him. And then I'll come back in two hours again and say something else. I'll show him. I'll show him who's boss. <laughs> uh. Late to the show, Max slept him and he was still up for the hand raise. I know. When is the hill fight? Any moment now, in the next five, ten minutes. I hope it's not 20 minutes. Friggin' hell. Appreciate you, Mama Dukes. Defo dislikes all your videos, yeah. <laughs> Honestly, I, I find it uh, funny, like, it's proper funny. I sometimes, I'm sitting there on the toilet, squeezing one out, just, like, laughing my head off. <laughs> Who wins, Aspinall or Jones? I think if I, had to, if I really, really had to put money on it, I'm going with Jones. But I think Aspinall's got the best chance and the best shot out of any heavy heavyweight right now. Or even for a, for a while. There's no heavyweight even on the come-up that I can even imagine testing Jones. Tom Aspinall, I do actually think so. I always wondered, is John Jones, is Sean Jones your actual name or a play on John Jones? Hmm... <gasps> And they're on to me. Yeah, that, that's it, Orion. Aurelian. Aurelian. So many variables. When you said my name earlier, I may have dribbled a little bit. Where from? I have five people that hit dislike on every one of my videos. Pretty sure it's my ex. Do you know what, right? The people who dislike your videos, especially when you're only in the early stage of getting views, they are always people who you know and just trying to be haters on you. It's the way it is. You will never, you will always get... Right, here's some game for you, lads, right? I'm 35. I've been around the block. In real world business, online business, you will always get more support from strangers than you will friends and family. That's just the truth. And a lot of people don't realise that. And when it hits them, they're like, oh, what the hell? You know, and even I sometimes, I'm still a little bit like, friggin' hell, come on, friends, come on, family. You don't, you can't even like me videos, yet I've got some of you guys on my Instagram who like me content every single day, react to me content and that. And I don't expect it at all, but you will. You'll always have those haters, and a lot of the time, it's the people closest to you. Because what it does is it reflects within their unhappiness. It's like they see you making moves, putting videos up, putting yourself out there, and it just reminds them that they're not moving towards their goals. First fight, I was nervous. Didn't realise I wasn't breathing on my strikes until like the third round. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 
Yeah, and the guy who said about Amanda Nunes with Batami, you've got to remember, Amanda Nunes got put out by Juliana Pena. And I know that was just one fight, I'm just saying, like, you know, Juliana Pena. Like, Amanda Nunes got knocked out by these punches. Right? Or knocked down by those punches. What would a good solid... <laughs> 950 on the punch machine, right on your nose, do to you. I like Amanda. Why does Alex shave his head and facial hair when he fights? He looks better with hair. I think it's like because he does the whole tribal thing, doesn't he? Like he paints all his face and it's like going to war. It's like a, like a, a shaving it all off. Like a ready for battle. Do dislikes count towards engagement? I'm sure people tested this on YouTube and they don't do anything. That's why YouTube have removed them. You can't even see them anymore. It's pointless. So people <laughs> people dislike the video, like it's a waste of time. You you just yeah, you just get more engagement anyway. The the, the thing that dislikes are good for, and especially something like like I go on YouTube to learn how to do stuff a lot of the time, whether it's like with my website or, or whatever it might be, how to do this, how to do that. Sometimes you guys know you'll click on a video if, if you're looking for a how to video and it might be a shift video. But the video's 10 minutes, and you don't know, like, sometimes you don't want to waste the 10 minutes to find out if the video's worthwhile or not. B but then you can look at the dislikes, and if you see that there's, like, 2,000 dislikes and 100 likes, you know, oh, right, this video's crap, there's no point in me wasting time on it. Now they've got that, rid of that, it's a little bit more of a pain trying to figure out sometimes if the video was going to be valuable or not. So that's where dislikes were helpful. How juiced up was that beard who smashed Holly? Yeah, a lot. Not juiced up now, but definitely being on the gear for the majority of a career. All those Olympian athletes are because they have four years in between each competitive season, in, in between each Olympic Games. So they can get on the gear and, you know, duck and dodge the tests and then come off it close to the event then. <laughs> nice one, Seymour. Yeah, YouTube had the most disliked video on their own platform. The YouTube Rewinds video. And the fourth, nah, if this, we're going to remove the dislikes. That was a while ago, though. That was that was years and years ago that that video came out. They removed the dislikes recently. Jamal Hill's doing good for himself, isn't he? Here we go, guys. So Jamal Hill's walked out. He's about to get ready. Oh, wait there. Change this. <sighs> Downloads. Alex. Save image. Boom. There we go. Turn it. Scripts. Ready. <sighs> Hill looks flabby. Yeah, that's just, he's always been like that. He's always like, if anything, I think he might have actually gained a bit of muscle, you know. He looks like he's packed on a bit more size onto his chest and delts.
No James. Stop being a divvy. I've said Alex Pereira to win. I just said don't underestimate Jamal Hill. People are underestimating him. Like as if he's got no chance to win this. But I'm taking Alex Pereira by third round TKO KO. Do you need that anymore, clear lad? Hey, little hater. Hey, little hater in the comments. Back for more, are you? <laughs> mm. Here's Pereira. It's coming out. There we go, 229 viewers. How many likes we got? Try and push the likes to 500, boys, before we finish the stream. We've got 229 of you in here. There's definitely 27 of you who haven't liked the video. Let's get to 500 before we end the stream. Let's do it, let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. Oh, I love this walkout. Here we go. The way he walks. <laughs> I remember when he first done this, I was like, damn, that's a bit mad. Is he going to do the bow? Ah! Oh, yeah, he'll do it now in this corner, won't he? There you go. Listen to the roar. And then he always does that one. Ah! Sick that. Oh yeah, look, it's Phil Downing in the chat. Phil Downing Fitness Show, you're getting up for the fight, are you, Philly? Send us a donation, Phil. I'm only resting. <laughs> Phil, did you see uh, did you see the Max Holloway fight and Justin Gaethje fight? Did you see it? So sick, it was so sick. I was going crazy. Just know it's about it's about twenty thirty seconds behind the stream, um, but yeah, oh, how sick was Max's knockout? It was so good, wasn't it? Uh, I said Pereira by third round, Pereira third round. I would have actually picked Jamal if he didn't have the injury. He's because he's got he had a, an Achilles injury like less than a year ago. It's quite a bad injury, so but. I like Alex because of the activity. He's been active. And he hasn't had all that time out. That's why I'm going with Alex. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> nice one, Seymour. Yeah, he gets a little bit crazy. get focused again i'd be like that but i've got people in my house unfortunately i'm not like him we'll live at home alone there we go of the evening here we go here we go oh my words what the hell It's going to end in the first round. It might. It might. Ah. 
oh, stayed up for this whole thing. How many hours have I been on this stream now? Like eight hours or something. I've been streaming for seven hours, 50 minutes. Like the video, come on, get it to 500 likes. I've been streaming for seven hours, 50 minutes. Push it to 500 likes. I know there's a bunch of you sitting there like that right now. Not liking the video. So just like it. Nah, I'm not, I'm not doing it. Been waiting for... How sick would it be at being there right now? It's time. Undisputed. See, like wait. What's that, Rich? What you, what you mean? What are we on? What are we on? 4.96. You have four likes to go. Come on. Four likes to go for an eight-hour stream. Eight-hour stream and you can't even give me four likes. Four likes and three likes and three. There we go. Oh, my word. Uh... Defending. Undisputed. The introductions to these fighters is as long as the Zhang Weili fight. Well in, Dylan. Nice one. Alex Pereira. Rich, are you kidding me? Are you absolutely kidding me, mate? What are you doing? <laughs> what? Oh, my days. Shout out to Rich with the $200 donation. What? Are you, what, lad? What? Oh, my days, man. Hit me up in the DMs on Instagram. I need to speak to you. Message me on Instagram. Oh, my words. Nice one, Rich. Appreciate that, man. I can't be doing 2,000 shoulder presses, though. <laughs> wow. Oh, Rich, legends, absolute legends. Right, okay, let's enjoy this together then, boys. Let's enjoy this together. Here we go. Right, boom. Scripts. There we go. Couple seconds behind. <sighs> Rich meant to give $2. Yeah, fucking hell. Wow. Okay, let's enjoy this, boys. We'll come back to, to Rich's legendary donation in a minute. Watch out for these low kicks of Pereira. Jamal throwing a couple back. Nice. Looking for that body kick of Jamal as well. The head kick, actually. Look out for the, the left high kick of Jamal. He likes to throw it from Southpaw. So when he's in this stance, watch out for his left high kick. Pereira likes to hold the hands down as well, like this. So that left high kick's there. So Pereira could... Uh, sorry, Jamal Hill could throw the right hand and then follow up with the left high kick behind it. So see that right hand there? Follow up with the left high kick. We all know what Pereira's going to do. Just wait for his perfect moment. Oh, right hook. Jamal Hill coming out with some good leg kicks, though. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, they are. see, this is the thing. You know, people talk about Pereira going to heavyweight, but Pereira doesn't look undersized anymore at light heavyweight. From kick by Jamal. Pereira just stalking, just stalking, waiting, just waiting, waiting for his moments. Don't boo, come on, don't boo, guys. People booing in the crowds, we're only two and a half minutes in. And the stakes are high right now as well. You know, 300 grand bonuses on the line. <sighs> yeah, look out for Pereira changing that jab into the left hook. As he said, he done that against Sean Strickland. Boom, and then fake it and go high with the left hook. Mm, man. Oh, cup. Okay, Pereira's like, nah. <laughs> There's like, oh! Uppercut by Pereira. Pereira's crazy ground and pound right now. He's KO'd him. He's KO'd him. Oh my days. What? Let's go, buddy. Pereira, Pereira. Damn. Chama, Chama, Chama. Damn, lad. Damn. You see that? So he went, no. Because he got kicked in the balls and then went straight back in with the uppercut. Oh, my days. Oh, what are we saying? What are we saying? Pereira, man. Come on. Come on. Absolutely sick. Oh, my days. Is a Hill now. Hill doesn't know what happened. <laughs> saying in the comments what are you saying what are you saying oh wow oh my time is still going and everything yeah so he calls him there and then he says no to her team he's like no it's all good and then straight back in so the first shot he threw was it oh leads up a cut mm. he's like this hands fighting and then bang oh wow it was, like a, it was like, a, like an angled uppercut hook. That's the thing with Pereira. He throws like weird, like a weird angle hook. That comes up almost. And then these, yeah, these grounds and pounds. Pfft, that was it. Chama. <laughs> That's great. He's like, you see this? You see this? Do you believe me now? And don't go down on me now. Oh, lad. Come on. Come on. Absolute sick knockout, that. Wow. Hill's leg bent under itself. Pfft. I thought Pereira knockout round three. I thought maybe Hill would have been able to have lasted longer, but incredible. <laughs> I love the way he's on that. Like, like. You notice with every subsequent fight the Pereira's in, like more of his personality comes out. Look at what he's accomplished. How many fights? Is it nine fights? Or is it less? I think he's got nine total wins. Let's have a little look. Alex Pereira on UFC.com. Mm. 
let's see, how many total wins has he got? Seven wins by knockout. Got ten, ten total fights, ten total MMA fights. Knockout and still. Oh wow, that's crazy. Two bangers of a fight there in Alex Pereira and Max Holloway. Sick, absolute sickness. Wow, just wow, just wow, just wow. Just wow, indeed. Hey, we've done all right for the the viewers as well. We've been like at a peak of two hundred and eighty, and we've averaged like a good two hundred ish over the last hour, last couple hours. Didn't expect that to be honest. Phil, you still here? You still here, Phil? Did he just steal the BMF fight for the bonus? There's, there's a Rich, there's four bonuses available. So Dana White's given out four 300k bonuses. So he's 100% getting one. Max Holloway, Alex Pereira, give them 600k each. Absolute stellar performances. We got Alex Pereira come out in the first round and destroy Jamal. We got Max Holloway in the very last round, in the last second. Like two complete polar op opposites, yet two incredible performances. He needs to learn some English, man. That I just like take him to the next level in terms of just stardom. This is definitely like one of the best events there's been in a very long time. Can we get the Alex Pereira stone faces in the chat, please? Alex Pereira stone faces. Chama, Chama, Chama. Get some stone faces in the comments. Alex Pereira. What's he saying here? He wants to fight a heavyweight. <laughs> Nah, heavyweight lad, that's... Who's he going to fight a heavyweight though? Rankings, let's go on the rankings right now. Ugh, shaky. Got an excitement quiver. Yo, let's actually take a little look right now, boys, before we uh, before we wrap up. Let me show you. They're just having a little mess around in the cage. Let me show you, right? Okay. Here's the heavyweight rankings right here. Who 
who would he fight a heavyweight? Tom Aspinall. That'd be crazy. Joe Rogan's literally saying right now that'd be so wild, but that's a big difference though. Big difference. Let me take the headphones off so I can focus right away. Tom Aspinall. I think Tom would I think Tom would actually kill him. Um Siddle gone. Nah. Sergey Pavlovich. I actually like that matchup. Sergey Pavlovich versus Alex Pereira. That would be a sick match. Stipe Miocic, he's waiting for John Jones. Curtis Blades are just taken down. Holding down all day. Alexander Volkov is a bit of a kickboxer. That would be a good matchup. Jailton Almeida, he just takes people down. So keep Alex Pereira away from him. That's pretty much it then, isn't it? But the Tom Aspinall fights, that would do big numbers. That would do big, big, big numbers. What do you think? Everyone's saying that. Let me see the comments. What are you saying? Let me have a little scroll up. Thank you so much for staying late to do this. You're welcome, Ryan. Let's all, once again, give a big shout out to Rich C. Because he's hit us with a $100 donation and a $200 donation. And that is a first for the channel. We've had four live streams on the channel and Rich has hit the personal best for donations out of anyone. $100 and then, yeah, uh, $200. I think the most we've had donation-wise was like $30 or $40 in terms of a single donation. Big shout out to Lorraine as well. Lorraine, she, she's she been fantastic with the donations, donating on videos. Um, But yeah, yeah, big shout out to you guys. Uh, Everyone's saying Aspinall, Alex versus Aspinall. Who's going to tell him no? Look, I'm all for it. He wants to fight Aspinall. I just, Aspinall's a, he's a monster, man. Mm. Sean Jones, bro, torn, predicted it. Chat is frozen a bit there. Yeah, he cuts. Yeah, this is the thing though. Alex, Alex Pereira cuts from like two forty ish, two thirty ish, and then he steps back in the ring around two twenty. So he's cutting down to two oh five, and then steps back in the ring at two twenty. Aspinall's like two sixty, two fifty, cutting from probably about two seventy. It's a big, big jump. You look at Aspinall's frame. Look at Alex. Right, he's not wide. He's very narrow. Big long arms. Big head. Like, you know, fairly big legs. Like, but you look at Tom. He's massive. His frame's big. His, his back is thick. His glutes, his thighs, everything's thick. It's a different level of physicality. But look, I'm all for it. I'm not, I, I will not doubt Alex Pereira because I love him and I want him to win every fight he goes in there with. Right, okay, everyone post in the comments your fight of the night. What's your fight of the night, okay? Last five minutes, let, let's do this. Everyone post in the comments your fight of the night. Who are you giving the 300k bonus to? If you, you're the owner of the UFC, who are you giving it to? So let's see, who's everyone saying? Just sending some messages. Everyone's saying Holloway and Gaethje, yeah, fight of the night. 
Every, were you given the 300k to Max and Justin? It's got to be Holloway. I agree. Everyone's saying Max, Alex. See, here's the thing. If you had to choose between... If you had to pick fight of the night, Alex or Alex Pereira and Hill or Holloway and Gaethje, for me, it's a no-brainer. You've got to go Holloway and Gaethje just because, like, you went through a proper roller coaster of emotions with that fight. You know, like, the Alex Pereira fight, we, we were barely even getting into it. But yet the... The Holloway fight, it was like, where's this going? Where's this going? And then at the very end, you could not even get any... Like, it was at the very, very end, the last second, Holloway comes out with a knockout. Holloway doesn't knock out people. Justin Gaethje doesn't get knocked out. Like, no one could have predicted that. So, proper sick. Yeah. Oh, man. Absolutely fantastic. Okay, boys, what did we peak at there? We peaked at 284 viewers. I'm going to do these regularly, okay? A little bit of a killer, but I want to start doing them regularly because I want to start building my channel around more MMA content. So just make sure that, like, when you see me MMA stuff, go on my YouTube channel. Give it a little like, comment on it for the engagements because... It, they always get less views. Like, my video tomorrow will probably end up getting, like, 5,000 views or something. But then we're doing a little bit of different stuff again next week. But I definitely want to start building in more MMA content. So, just make sure you support it if you want to see it. Because if it's not getting any support and not getting any traction, it's almost kind of no point in doing it. But I do want to actually keep this going. So, appreciate you all. Thank you guys so much. We'll leave the stream there. Rich, appreciate you. Boss donations. Incredible. Uh, drop me a little message on Instagram. Uh, me Instagram is in the bio. And Lorraine as well, thank you. And everyone else, thank you for your donations. Appreciate you all. And uh, yeah, I'll see you for tomorrow's video to recap the entire event. Peace out, people. See you later.